is granted. Ahoy! Oi, oi! Welcome indeed. How you doing there, folks? <laughs> you did make me giggle there. Hello. You certainly are, excuse seven. Hey, there no more, no more cowboy game. But you're excited, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> I know, Ryan. What am I like? Crying out loud. Those producers, they need to, um, they need to grab hold of me. And give me a shake. Oi, it's what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> uh, how you doing, folks? I hope you're well. It is Jack. How you doing, Jack? You well, buddy? Um, well, the the plan, Ryan, is regardless. I want to try and make some quality quality content out of it anyway. What should I say? Um, you don't want to be surrounded constantly surrounded by mediocrity. Seven. I don't know what what is the solution. Um, hey, that's why you're here, isn't it? Because of that. Um, I, uh, I don't know what to say, so I'm gonna move out. No, I shouldn't say that. I don't know. How to, I don't know your situation. Uh, <laughs> but you know, that such is life. We do not always get what we want. But, yet here we are. And yet, let us press on and, uh, do what we can to get what some of what we want. You might not always get all of what you want. And in fact, uh, looking at it from a philosophical point of view, it's impossible to get all of what you want. Because once you get it, you'll just want something else. Um, but how you doing, Jack? I hope you're well, buddy. Um, yes, the lollipop of mediocrity. One lick and you will suck forever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I can't, it's hard to stay away from lollipops. Um, what's wrong with it, Scotty? I don't know. I don't know. Um... Nothing. I've heard it's amazing. I've heard it's a it's a cult classic. Uh, I'm I'm very excited about it. I'm I'm pretty hyped, in fact, regardless of uh, appearances. Um, I'm glad you're good, Jack. Thanks. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I just I have no I have literally no idea what to expect. I've got an idea in my head about it, but that's not uh that's probably gonna be completely different to the reality. But oh, God, yeah, the um. There's nothing. I don't. I don't know. You know, apart. You know, apart from like uh, you know, base um, biological functions. I don't know if there's a greater um, leisure in life for me than that moment of anticipation before you start a brand new game. I say. I say brand new. This game was released in 1998. Was it 1999? It's not new. It's not a new game, <laughs> but it's brand new to me. And my God, I'm gonna. As literally my um happiest childhood memories, it was either like a birthday or usually Christmas. I guess Christmas would be more likely. Um, brand new video game. The smell of it when you like unwrap it and take the uh, cellophane off it. And, like the uh, it used to come with like instruction manuals back in the day. Smell of that freshly printed um, gloss uh, little booklet. My God. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. Tank controls, right? Yeah, I'll, we've we've played the old Resident Evil, so we should be fine. 
I hope. I hope we'll be fine. But yes, no, everyone was just joking, I hope, uh, Sky. Certainly Ryan was, because obviously this was uh, Ryan's choice. And thank you, Ryan. Um, I'm uh, very pleased about that. Um, yeah, we should, in that regard, we should be fine. It's just um, getting used to nuances of the game. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll do all right. Um, but yeah, so we finished, uh, finally, we finished Red Dead 2 on Friday. And my God, uh, I know... You know, certain people who are just like, you know, I'm not into Cowboys by Seven. I can't recommend it to that, the people who are just not into it. But, um... But if you're just, like, into it, you know, you're not... I'm not too concerned about the setting of a game, necessarily. I do have... We all have, like, slight biases, slight preferences. Um... You know, like for Red Dead, I'm not like excited that it's in the Wild West, but I'm not put off either. I'm like, this is, it's different and interesting. Um, same with the fantasy setting, same with the sci-fi setting. Just, you know, it's, it's all of interest to me. Uh, but as a game, as a video game, Red Dead 2, uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's, it's almost perfect. It's almost a perfect game. Maybe it's too large. Maybe there's too much to it. Um, that's not something that, I consider a problem. Uh, I know some people feel that certain games drag on a bit. I know the slight of game said he felt like, say, The Evil Within. He felt it was slightly too long. I'm more of the mind where, you know, if it's, if it's a good game, you just want it to keep going. Um. <laughs> Perfect. Seven, that's, that's, so, that's appropriate. Yeah, there you go. You recognise it's not a technical assessment. It's just your personal preference. Uh, yeah, 100% right. It's got to be... It has it does have to be immersive. Yeah, if you're doing something that's uh, very long and it, it, it just feels like a chore, that's the thing I'll say about Red Dead. I, I, I don't even know how many hours we spent on it. I'll say this, folks. We spent 17 streams on it. I think that is a record for this of the show. I don't think we've ever spent... We've, got, we've spent, I know on some of the Final Fantasy we got to like 14, 15, 16. But I think we got all the way up to 17 before, but, um, you know. Yeah. Indeed, Seven. Yeah. And, you, you know, I'm preaching to the choir here because, you know, you guys all were here for most of it and you saw it. And, uh, you know, like Jack, Jack is one of his favourite games. Um, but yeah, I did. I did, buddy. I'm so, I'm so glad I finally got around to playing it. Um, yeah, and of course, uh, yesterday we are on Scotty's channel. We uh, had Calm Violence, the premiere of the new audio drama, and uh, yeah, Scotty, well done. You um, did a fantastic job putting that together. So uh, it's a lot of fun to be involved in it, and and hear like the final product because obviously I only got you know the script and my own lines recorded. Completely different, you know, the the final product. It's far different from what I could have imagined it to be. Yeah, no, you did, did fantastically, sir. Looking forward to uh, more from you in the future. Don't pressure yourself, Scotty. I know you've got... I, do, I know you have so many different projects going at any one time, Scotty, and you work full-time and the rest of it. I um, I just don't want you to feel... Uh, I know I know you've said to me, you know, you, you like to be busy. Um, uh, you know, you like to have projects on the go, stuff to do. But um, you know, it's, and who who? It's not for me to say. Or just, you know, just don't bite off more than you could chew, so to speak. I just want you to um, you know, just I want you to just keep enjoying what you're doing and not ever for you to feel like it's a chore. That's all I say. Red mage, yeah, <laughs> oi, yeah, mitochondria. So do you know have you have you you played this game, Red Mage? Do you know about it? Um I hope you are uh, I hope you're well, sir. Um so Ryan, so let me ask you, Ryan, with your votes on this game, I assume this is um <laughs> I uh I assume this is an old favourite of yours, Ryan. So did you play this back in the day when it was released, or did you come to it after the fact? Um so yeah, from my own perspective Oh, excellent, Scotty. Well, I'm always here if you ever need me for anything, sir. Um, from my own perspective, um, 
Parasite Eve was never a thing around here in the UK when it was released. Um, you know, Resident Evil was a big deal. Um, all my buddies are like, oh, if you play Resident Evil, yeah, Resident Evil, oh, Resident Evil, so good. Um, that was what it was all about. I don't think I even heard the name Parasite Eve until well after the fact. And uh, even then, I think uh, I, I never investigated the game. It was just, it was just it's the name, literally. The name itself is recognisable without knowing what the hell it stands for, what it means. Um, ah, nice, Ryan. Scotty. That's his name, the seven. I'm not against the letter T. I think it's quite a nice letter. I think it's quite a nice letter. <laughs> it's just, you know, I feel T stands um, so strongly on its own. It doesn't need me to prop it up. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. Um... <laughs> um... Ah... <laughs> yeah uh, yeah so okay red mage so you got parasite eve based on the strength of resident evil and um you uh of course you know the square name you're like oh it's probably good and yeah if we look at square i mean honestly throughout their history but certainly back in that era square were like they were a name where you could be like god damn this is you almost know it's going to be a good game. It's like they didn't put out bad games. So yeah, I'll get that, buddy. So anyone who doesn't know what Parasite Eve is, this is my vague uh, understanding of it. Um, it's Square's uh, take on Resident Evil. They obviously played Resident Evil. They were like, damn, this is a good game. How about we do our own game like this? So they did. Uh, and of course, because Square are known for RPGs, uh, they made it like turn-based combat. How, how innovative! You know, good on them. Um, yes, the mate, the protagonist, Aya Brea. Aya, Brea, Bree, Bray. I think it's Brea. If uh, this was a Jap, this is a Japanese game. I, I assume Brea would be the correct pronunciation um so yeah Aya Brea is a police officer is set in New York City uh presumably in the late 90s uh and then you know, when we start the game we'll see things kick off and uh we'll, we'll see what happens I guess so yeah so it's a Resident Evil style tank controls as Ryan has pointed out um with uh turn-based combat so I have no idea what to make of it um you say Brie. Yeah, do you, I don't know. I guess there's no voice acting in the game. Or well, there might be. They did start including some. I remember in like, Resident Evil uh, 1 and 2. The, the superb voice acting. Jill! Let me give you this lockpick. As you are the master of unlocking. <laughs> Who doesn't like a Jill sandwich? Um... It, you know, you know uh, so who knows? I don't know. Um, are you Brea? Are you Brea? Okay. Yeah, I mean, maybe. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> excellent. Thank you, Red Mage, for checking out for me. Um, <clears throat> the civil rights of the letter T. Letter T doesn't need anybody's help. Seven. That's why, you know, that's why Mr. T. Do you know what I mean? He's saying because he's drink it that's what he's drinking you know what i'm saying he pities the fool who worries about the letter t you know so you know it's fine I sh i'm not teist is what i'm saying i'm just you know ill educated you know and of mediocre intelligence you know that's what's gonna happen seven if you come around here and lick the uh it's near lollipop then you know you're gonna that mediocrity is gonna uh Rub off. Um, 
yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it, Red Mage? You know what I'm saying? Everyone, it's, it's okay. I'm not a linguist. I think you've all realised that by now. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I have too much more to say about it, folks. So, um, thank you all for being here on this Monday morning, Monday afternoon. I know Mondays, you know, I hope everyone has a, I hope have a good man, Monday. I um, appreciate you being here. Uh, and I hope you all have a good uh, weekend. It's, um, yeah, Tidus, Tidus. Yeah, I always, everyone called him t uh, Tidus because it sounded right, but no, it's, it's not. <laughs> but uh, it's fine. Are you Brayer? Um, yeah, and obviously Red Mage, like, so, because, um, God, do you remember looking at these, um, PS1 graphics? Like, oh my God, she's so hot. And now, yeah, and you look at it, and it's just a bunch of, like, Lego Man polygons stuck together. <laughs> uh, um. Did they? There we go, Seven. I wonder if that's just them, um just being cool about it generally speaking uh, <laughs> um excellent ryan so if i get stuck one i'll be relying on you sir but yeah i think um i think we should get into it i don't know if there's uh anything else i need to say but of course however excited i am to look at this cult classic game um i'm here for you guys uh primarily so you know just get at me if you need anything um <clears throat> Oh, yeah, Lara Croft, Croft with the, you know, <laughs> very pointy uh, chest, pointy chest. I never um, played too much of the um, the early Tomb Raider games, but I do remember. And everyone was like, oh, my God, how sexy. And now <laughs> it's all it's all relative. Uh, the real Lara. Yeah, seven, seven on test. <laughs> um but no, yeah, no, that's the I'm old as well, Ryan. So I've got that old school appreciation. Oh, yeah, I should just probably mention, um, I want to thank uh, Handy Capable Sean for dropping a follow. That was nice of him, wasn't it? He didn't do that. He's, uh, you know, he's quite a big streamer, relatively speaking. Um, you know, we raided him um, on a whim on, um, on Friday, uh, and he seemed like a nice lad. Uh, first time probably like hanging around his stream. I only knew about him from a few months ago because Scotty was like, oh, this lad who plays video games with his chin, he's playing Doom right now. And I thought, like, oh, damn. So I just stopped in and um, gave him a follow. Then we gave him a little raid and, um, you know, gave him a little shout out on uh, Twitter and he, uh, he dropped a follow. So that's uh, very, very generous of him. He didn't need to do that. But anyway. Let's go. Um, I think I've got the right screen set up here. Let me have a look. Oh. Oh, it's, uh, the music's very loud. Let me turn that down slightly. Oh, it's got a nice vibe, though. Right. The new ones are whining, little bitch. Do you think so? Seven, I feel like she was a badass. Maybe that's just because the original Lara didn't really say anything. I don't know. Right, so I literally just got to the main menu, and I'm just in the, uh... There's new game or tutorial. So I'm just going to look at the tutorial. I'm going to breeze through it and just get a gist. I'm sure I'll work it out. Um... I'd choose the controller. I mean, let's have a look. <laughs> Right, okay, on the field screen, yes, uh, D-pad to move around, uh, select messages, the menu, and, uh, so, yeah, so in your menu screen, move your cursor around, and battle screen, move your character around, okay. So I guess it's, it's got three different screens throughout the game. You're walking around in battle and in your menu. Um, so I'm pressing start to pause the game. Makes sense. Um triangle to open up the menu and open up the menu in battle as well okay all right x to talk to people open boxes execute dialogue options activate switches okay so the, that's the standard use item use item use button 
um then of course also for selecting commands in battle and the menu makes sense uh skip a command in battle for square hmm maybe tell her to do something then you want to abandon it or you just want to spectate your turn not doing anything I have to I have to see what not the the real use of that um Yeah, no, do you know him, uh, Seven? He seemed really nice. Do you know, some, like, larger streamers can be a bit, like, standoffish. You know, you can drop, a, like, a small raid on them and they'll be like, oh, yeah, thanks for the raid. Anyway, he was like, yo, hey, hey, hey buddy, how, how you doing? Um, yeah, what were you playing? Oh, Red Dead, have you played Mega Man? Oh, I was like, no, I'm not playing Mega Man. He's like, no, I only just start playing Mega Man myself and all this. So I was like, yeah, he seems like a genuine guy. Yeah, do you know what I mean? If I... If I had, didn't have the use of my hands, I don't know how I would be able to keep going on the stream. You know what I'm saying? But Sean's like, you know what? I can play games with my chin, bruh. Bring it on. Um, <clears throat> uh, what else have we got? Uh, okay, so circle. All right, press while the character is moving, the character will run. Oh, okay, back to the old school those tank controls you gotta hold the button to run i have to remember this uh this circle there um also uh, it's cancel for your menus and cancel for your, your commands okay okay that's the controls very straightforward what you, oh no it's got more controls so we got sticks i don't know if the sticks are set up properly but because this is like a ps1 game and the sticks running in the dual shock and i technically don't have a turn the dual shock sticks on i don't know how the retro pie will interpret these but either work perfectly or they just won't work <laughs> but anyway you've got your left stick is another you know use of movement um okay and it's cool you don't need to run you can hold the run button you can it's just uh you know pressure sensitive we'll see if it works though <clears throat> Oh, it would have been overlays. I guess this is telling the two sets of controls whether you're on the dual shock or not. We'll have, we'll have to see. The fact that the D-pad works in the menu here, and the, I don't know if the stick does. We'll find out. Yeah, look. No, to use the analog mode, press the analog mode switch, and the LED will turn red. We have no analog mode switch or LED. Uh, <laughs> um, so you know. We find out the music's kind of chill and ominous at the same time right so my left stick all right Steve, they're doing precisely jack all in a minute um did you run i don't know anything about it i just bought one that seemed like a good effect you know relatively good bargain and although we've got a decent amount of use out of it we've we have got the whole slew of retro gaming doom at our fingertips um for the you producers to tap into any any which way you want yeah so i looked a little bit into making them seven i was like this is no this would be on me anyway moving on about icons very you know, information there we go so have a look at the uh the game screen there go oh, check check those um Check that's pixelated PS1 graphics. Beautiful. Uh, uh, displays all the items you have. Uh, items in use are indicated in blue. Uh, enables you to use, discard, or move an item and reload your gun. Okay, cool, cool. PE icon. Um, I don't exactly what it's referring to, but. Uh, uh, displays parasite energy pe usable at your current level select the pe with the directional button or left stick to use it okay well directional button um uh p in gray indicates the pe gauge isn't sufficient or pe cannot be used at that location okay Is there like special abilities uh, weapons icon okay so this is um 
So it's like your menus, just that drop down list on the, the left there of little icons. We'll figure it out. It's not really an issue. Um, displays information all weapons in the inventory. Can view additional effects of each weapon and compare the equipped weapon to others in your inventory. Excellent. We're switching the field and during battle. Good. It, it kind of sucks when you can't change your weapons during battle, regardless of the game. Armor icon. Nice. So it's information all armor in your inventory. But I mean, already that's an upgrade from Resident Evil. You know, you could upgrade like storage capacity. You know, your inventory capacity. But there's no armor in Resident Evil games. It seems like a very simple thing they could have added in, doesn't it? Um, uh, can view additional effects of each armor and compare the equipped armor to others in your inventory. Switched in the field and during a battle. That's very generous. Slick Mick. The tall boy cam, yeah, that's, uh, that's how we do a retro. Because if we're rocking, uh, if we're rocking a, a 4 by 3 uh, aspect ratio, as we will for any retro games, I used to have just, like, random junk, and I was like, hang on, I'm the star of the show, matey. Just have me up in here, so that's what you got. Um... <laughs> Sick me. Um... Yeah, no, indeed, Slick Mix. Have you played Parasite Eve, sir? Uh, or know anything about it? Okay, so, oh, we've got a bit more. Okay, here we go. Uh, system icon. Uh, adjust the sound position of the cursor and the window color to personal preference. Okay, I don't know if we need to do any of that, but. Um, sort icon. Automatic sort eyes, uh, items, sort inventory in order of weapon, armor, item, armor item weapon or item weapon armor i wonder how important that will be but we shall see um tune up oh okay using the the tool item <laughs> what um what fantastic invention is the tool we're like a tool don't we what kind of tool is no just a tool <laughs> you can add or remove parameters and added effects on your weapons or armor you get customized equipment. oh wow so you can upgrade your weapons and armor wow again i mean i suppose you could upgrade weapons in uh resident evil 2 certainly but that was um was like usually a one-off you'd find the component you'd combine them there you go this is sounding like you get various upgrades spread around um if you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor that equipment will disappear when it says equipment i assume that means the upgrade not the weapon or armor so you don't you can't mix you can't you can't temporarily equip it's like you equip this and then that's there forever and if you lose it it's gone yeah no well, thank you scotty i appreciate that um <laughs> Uh, the number of added effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots on it. You can increase the number of slots by getting your equipment modified at the NYPD weapons department. Okie doke. Sounds good. Do you have to pay for that? Because it's like, you know, you, you think you just take it in. Hey, Bob, can you take my uh, 9mm pistol here and uh, upgrade it so it's got infinite slots on it? And Bob's like, what are you even talking about? Oh, yeah, I don't... I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> oh. Right, BP icon. Uh, battle points, bonus points. I got bonus points. When you gain a level. Oh, so we're, level, we're literally leveling up as well. XP. God damn. Um, you get bonus points, BP. One BP counts as one point, no doubt. <laughs> and can be divided up between parameters and item capacity. The more damage taken during battle, the less BP you will receive. Okay, so that's literally your XP, which you spend on your stat and your carry capacity. Interesting. God damn it, I wasn't expecting this at all. Um, hey, parrots. How you doing, parrot? Are you right there, sir? <laughs> I hope you're well. Um, have, have you played this game, parrot? Uh, we should have a little look at the uh, the tutorial here and get a bit of a gist about it. Okay, so that's given me a, a lot of insight there. Right, the battle screen. 
let's have a look at this. For most important, we're getting attacked. Oh, not too much on the screen. Monsters. Shooting fireballs around by looks of it. Not sent you a wee ban. Oh, wow. I'm surprised you even know that phrase there, Parrot, honestly. But, um, yeah, interesting. Cool, cool. Oh, well, you have. Yeah, it was not a thing over here. Um, anyway, when you enter battle, the AT, HP, and PE gauges are displayed. So, hit points, right? Your parasite energy um, is, like, I guess it's like your magic points, essentially. Right, avoid enemy attacks using your uh, directional buttons or left stick until the uh, AT gauge fills up. So that's your literally like your time gauge before you can attack. The key is to keep enough distance to avoid being hit, but to stay close enough to attack when your AT gauge is full. Okay, cool. So just when you get in a battle, I'm watching a little gauge fill up slowly. And while it's doing that, I just have to run around and avoid attacks. And then when it's filled, I get to, to have my attack. Or do have my move, have my go. There we go. When it's full, press the X button to get into the attack mode. You're more likely to miss if the enemy is outside the green hit range dome. Yeah, you see that little wireframe dome? It's got reasonable um, range. Not too crazy. Because if you're using, like, you have probably got, like, a handgun or some kind of pistol as, um, a main firearm. And if you, and if you're a good shot, you can be accurate with that from quite a distance. But if you're shooting, like, crazy monsters, you want to, in the survival horror situation, you want every shot to count, and you don't want to miss. So, that seems reasonable, looking at wireframe there. Um... Uh, you can select which enemy to attack by moving the red target marked to the left or right using the D-pad or left stick. Probably not the left stick. Um, okay. So that's, again, playing into the stay cl Don't stay too close to the enemy so that you get hit, but stay close enough that you're in range. So if I was running around to the bottom of the screen there, trying to stay away from them, then it's then it's Aya's turn. And I'm like, yo, Attack! And it's, um, I'm out of that, that dome there. Well, I guess the dome is constantly around her. The, rather, the enemies are not within the dome. Uh, the area of effect, the effective range. Then I've got like a, um, you know, a, a, a penalty to presumably accuracy. Wasting bullets. I do that. The, qu the question that would come to my mind, of course, is if I activate the attack mode and I'm not in range, can I cancel it and quickly run into range or are you committed once you've pressed that button i have to wait and see i guess we'll um i'll get used to, i'll get a vibe and i'll get used to where you know that optimal range is that i want to be not stood next to it like she is in that screen there a few more feet away i feel um right here we go when the attack okay i'm gonna yeah 80 i'm guessing it's gonna be attack gauge it's full you can also uh, use an item Open the menu screen with the triangle. Select the item icon. Just an item with a directional button or left stick. Use the X and use the item. Okay, so rather than attacking, you can use an item. Okay. Uh, you can also use the weapon or armor icon to switch equipment. So I guess it takes a turn to switch your equipment. Very reasonable. Um, oh yeah, here we go. This is what um, uh, Brian and... Uh, red major referring to you can cancel one excellent so it's in your best interest to as soon as that gauge is up here because i assume it pauses the action so then if you're not enraged it gives you a second to go okay i can rejudge cancel it run forward two feet here again What are you, you guys eating jelly beans? What's going on? Oh my god. Ah, so that 
the range of that dome, Ryan, oh, thank you, sir, for confirming that. It depends on the weapon you have equipped. That makes perfect sense. So, yeah, if you've got sniper off, you can just kind of hang back. Let them come to you. Yeah, he's sending me some then, Seven. I'm joking. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry. Yeah, the mitochondria. Mitochondria? Excuse me. Inside Aya's body gives her special powers called Parasite Energy, or PE. Choose your PE, open um, uh, the menu screen with triangle, set the PE you want to use, and press the X button. Depending on the PE gauge's condition, some PE powers may not be usable. So, in English, if you don't have enough magic points, you might not be able to cast your spell. Right, got ya. Um, when you encounter an enemy, you can avoid battle by opening the menu screen with the triangle button and selecting the escape command. If successful, the battle will end and you will not receive experience points or bonus points. So they're two different things. Interesting. So I wonder if she has an, it looks like it. She has an overall level, like an XP level. And the bonus points are extra e form of XP to do other things with. Right. If the escape command is unsuccessful, battle will resume. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you, not much like any JRPG, you can flee from combat. It doesn't always work. That does kind of suggest that the monsters are just not out in the open like in a Resident Evil game. They, you know, you, you are, you get thrown into random encounters. We shall see though. Right. The game is over. If Aya's hit point reaches zero during battle, of course, uh, you need to use medicine items and some PE powers wisely in order to restore her hit points. Also, by saving your game at various save points in the game field, you can start from where you left off after the game is over. Excellent. I need to save again, don't I? How to save? Okay, this is important. Now, because we're playing RetroPie, I can use save states whenever. We're not going to abuse that. Now, we have had issues with me losing save files, mostly through my own stupidity. So I may use save states, but I, they will not be abused. They will not be, they'll be used basically in conjunction with the save f function in the game. Um, you know, we've had instances where save files have, inbuilt save files on the retro boy have just not been there once we've loaded the game back up. And so, whereas the save states seem to be fairly reliable. So uh, we'll do a little bit of both. Um, you, you can save game data by using the phones in the game field. Right, so you see a telephone. That's the save point. Move in front of the phone, press the X button, and you call uh, NYPD headquarters. You can select, select which file to store the data and save your game. There's several types of phones throughout the game. They all look different. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, baby. I think that's... Uh, I think we're good to go now. Let me grab my uh, liquid. Oh, my God. I'm empty. Not empty enough. We're good to go. Oh, how exciting. Oh my God, guys. <gasps> New game. New game. Oh, my God. Never, never apologize, Seven. <gasps> Trying to lovely cutscene. Check this. Staggeringly good. Oh, Empire State Building. Uh, Empire State <laughs> Statue of Liberty. Uh, superb graphics for PS One. This would have been mind blown when this was released. Yeah, Ryan, you're not wrong. Look at this. Check this. We would have been gushing over this as kids. It doesn't it? PS PS One, folks. PS One. Yeah, no, you you're saying right, sir, because you know. So I trust you, Ryan. Okay. Rockefeller Plaza here. Prometheus doing his Merry Christmas, nineteen ninety-seven. Okay.
Why? Why? So, sorry, Capcom. Uh, way, way better than Resident Evil. Uh, <laughs> hey, smarts cannot hear us. That's fine. I assume that's uh, Aya there in the middle. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. I'm just going to leave it say. I want to see if it rolls along. It's not. It's allowing me to read dialogue properly. Excellent. Cool. We're going to get some little bit of voice acting here, folks. Uh, I'll try and do it seriously. I'll try and rather than do it like a, a, a ridiculous fool. Um, <laughs> uh, but thank you, Smarts. Thank you for the luck. I appreciate it, my dear. Um, There you go. I am Brea. 25 years old. Police officer in the New York Police Department. Oh, you can change your name. I don't think we need to change your name. That is her name. Why do we want to change your name? And call it Isnib. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Seven. You're such a gem, Seven. I don't know. I just... You're right. I'll try to have more fun. Okay, she's zoning out there or something. So she's come to the... Uh, I guess she's off duty, right? She's... <laughs> she certainly looks like she's dressed like she's off duty. She's come to the opera with uh, her boyfriend, husband, um, brother, buddy, dad. I don't know. She, she's uh, come to the opera with somebody. He's a, he's a man. That's his name. Okay, date. Possibly. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? Huh? <laughs> oh, I even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. Because I'm the big... <laughs> I'm the big man. I get my dad to do stuff for me. <laughs> what, yeah, what a lad. What a lad is. <laughs> oh. So lighten up. We're going to have a great time. You'll see. <laughs> this guy. Okay, here we go. Cool, cool. Okay. So it's, um... Yeah, stick's definitely not working. It's, uh... It's not a. Uh, obviously, I'll get, I wonder if she's like running, walking a, a little bit slower because she's got heels on at the minute. Um, I assume she's not be wearing heels the whole game, or maybe she will. Who knows? Um, that's her running. That's her walking. Uh, it's not strictly tank controls at the minute. It's uh, directional. Please take your seats. The show's about to start. Okay, I'm already uh seriously enjoying this. Uh, it's been a been a bit since we've done the, anything this retro. Um, enjoy the show. Come on, we better go inside. All right, buddy, let's go. Is that you got new uh new professor smarts? Damn. Oh my God, you know it. Oh look, here we go. We can open up the menu already. Sweet. All right, okay. Yeah, there you go. I, uh, uh, level one, next level three. I assume that means the amount of XP she needs to get to next level. All right, she's got, uh, some kind of handgun there. M84F. So it's got six rounds in the magazine. Um, and N vest, normal vest. Uh, there you go. So bonus point zero. Uh, offense, defense, P energy. No, oh, sorry, pet penergy. <laughs> P P energy. I'm gonna call it penergy. Uh, <laughs> status recover. Okay, active time and item capacity. All at one. Now we we some of this we can uh, 
Okay, so offense is obviously going to be the strength of our attacks. Defense is going to be how you know, damage reduction. Uh, your penergy is going to be either her max magic points, or it could be the effectiveness of her spells. Now, status recover is that her resistance against debuffs and things. Don't know. Active time. I feel that's possibly how quickly her attack gauge fills in combat. An item capacity, that's how many items you can carry, I guess. Now, that, just because it's one doesn't mean you get only one item. It might be relative to, uh, you know, it might be um, just representative. But we shall see. Um, Ryan, do it. Do it, and you can help me out, buddy, when I get stuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good power. I can't imagine. That's like that could. That's at least three fights right there, isn't it? <laughs> three XP. I'm not against that though, power. Uh, when you like, you know, you you've probably you've played some JRPGs like me, buddy, where you know you're level one and it's like two next level, twenty billion XP. And you're like, oh, 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 we're starting with some large numbers over here, aren't we? <laughs> um i i'm not against um i'm in fact i'm a fan of um all num you know keep your numbers relative but reduce them down as much as you possibly can um you know but uh yeah i'm sure that's just a bit of a gimme there anyway what else have we got change weapon damn this is like proper rpg isn't it okay so called the stats there Okay, cool. So, yeah, there we go. So, um, what's that? Times two? I don't know what that is. But anyway, so. Okay. Right, so she's got, um, nightstick there. Club one. Melee weapon. Attack and range both ten. Let's give her a gun back. Right. More, yeah, more attack. Uh, twelve and, uh, yeah. 51. So, I guess melee may be a choice if you run out of bullets. I guess. I wonder how difficult recovering your hit points is. Like, if it's fairly easy to get your hit points back, maybe there's a benefit to saving bullets and just going melee against weaker enemies. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah. Could be seven. I don't know what kind of debuffs are in it. Um... Anyway, there we go. So we've got normal armor. God. Yeah, can't go wrong with normal armor. How's your armor doing? Oh, it's, it's normal. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess the, the plus, it says there, the plus one to defense. Um, like crit as well. Oh, these are the slots, aren't they? I don't know where the plus is from. Yeah, so we go back to the uh, gun there. Rate of fire, two. So I guess that's... The, this here, she's got two slots on that gun, and one of them's filled up with increased fire rate. Okay. I think I'm getting this. Uh, system preferences. I guess we want to be on stereo, right? Um, cursor, I guess we'll just leave on default for now. Uh, window color, doesn't matter. It seems... It seems reasonable. Screen position. Let's not mess around with that. We've already got the stream set up. Uh, range items. Um, I guess as time is paused, when you're looking through your menu, it doesn't really matter too much. So I guess we'll leave it on a weapon armor item to start with. And then attack power seems reasonable. Okay, here we go. Ah, of course, that's our, uh, our actual items there. So we've got medicine. We've got medicine restores 45 hit points. And we've got ammo crate. Six more, but it's not a crate. <laughs> crate of ammo. Uh, I guess it's an ammo crate because you can get, for one inventory slot, you can probably get a lot of bullets. That's what I'm guessing. But we've got, you know, so we've got six in the, the gun, another six in our ammo crate. Um, and our total 
is that's five items out of ten. So we can carry another five items. So, um... Probably spending our BP in increasing our inventory capacity is probably not a terrible idea. To start with, at least. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how important that is as we go along. Um... Okay, interesting. All very interesting. Now, what I am going to do right now is I want to do a little save state just in case we're thrown into some kind of combat situation and I completely fluke it up just so I've not got to start the game up again. Let me just do that then. Um, there we go. Um, ah, so one action, she fires twice. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Excellent, Ryan. I mean, you hope you wouldn't waste ammo, but if you're fighting monsters, I guess you're not too concerned about it, are you? Anyway, we're going to the opera with uh, a date here. Man. What a guy he is. Let's get to our seats. They've already started the first act. Already? Yeah, there's not... I guess we've turned up late. Let's get in here. Oh my, seriously, smarts. Wow. Lecturer. It's like, yo. Yo, Kitty Winks. Did you play D&D? &D? Oh my god, look at the chandelier. Father! Please give me permission to marry Ava. Are you supposed to? I'm supposed to be singing this. I'm, can't, I'm not trying to sing it. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand, Dad. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil! God, grab her and burn her at the stake! What, what opera is this? <laughs> Father! If you are sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward. It's pretty dark, uh, dark story we've got going on. Wait, why is she evil? I bet the king, uh, you know, is covering his tracks. Assume people are not supposed to be. Uh, this is not. It's not part of the show, is it? See so that guy just looking at his hand on fire. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. People are. Spun, yeah. We. I mean, we'd already read the. Um, Oh my god. Something that's happened to this lady. It seems to be out of her, her control. And uh, she's setting stuff on fire. Are you Brea? To the rescue. Okay, she whipped her gun out. He's a badass, basically. Jesus! I don't want to... Oh my god! I... I... Go. Get out of here. Now! Ah! <laughs> that was pretty cool. Did you see that? She's like... Ugh. Bruh, you're useless. Get gone. 
um yeah interesting yeah i mean did some people get away ryan or literally is everyone dead i don't know either way i'm just gonna um attack one of those again um <laughs> red mage <laughs> Uh, I assume we're not just running away. Oh, it's let me run away. Oh my god, dead person. I assume we're confronting her. I'm try gonna try and arrest her. I don't know. It's not really her fault, though, is it? God, I'm nervous. Yeah, I wonder how he got that. <laughs> He's useless though, Red Mage. He doesn't he doesn't earn any red magic. God, she she looks pretty good. Uh, side split dress like that. Understand why Red Mage is uh got a thing for her. Freeze! NYPD Hmm. You're the only one who seems to be fine. What? You should be awakening soon. Oh. Oh wow, that music. What? What are you talking about? Listen. Your cells are trying to communicate. They're... Calling out. Oh, we're fighting her. Here we are as well. Right, yeah, she's a little bit out of range there, isn't she? There we go. Right, are we, sh are we uh, shooting her? Ah, oh, there we go. So I've selected one bullet. So I actually can choose your targets. Okay. I think so. Maybe you don't have to reload. So I'm going to shoot her twice. As she's about to... Uh, yeah, she's about to try and burn us by the looks of it. <laughs> now, if you shoot someone and they just laugh at you, I feel uh, maybe you've got a bit of a problem on your hands. What's happening? My body, it's... It's getting hot. Calm yourself, Red Mage. Just as I thought. What is this? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'll wait for her to do a blast. Oh, yeah, there it goes. is uh i'm scared okay i seem to be avoiding an attack pretty well but i just shot her with like the five bullets and she's just like me um oh there we go so she does have a her um a, a, a heal one restores 30 hit points looks like it uses most of her pe Put a few bullets in her. That's cool. But this is freaking cool. <laughs> Ryan, it's freaking cool, bro. <laughs> Good choice. Um, our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating? What? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you will become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? Eve. Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. 
you should know me well. What? Oh my god. Well, what's going on? Got a little flashback here. What? What is this? Hey, Kiro. Welcome in there, bud. Yes, my first playthrough. I don't know. We just, just started, and I don't know what is going on. But uh, <laughs> the first five minutes, I'm already hooked. Uh, so welcome in, friend. Um... What was that? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. Uh, she's gone. Just like that. Are we chasing after her? I guess we're chasing after her, right? Oh, do, do I need to uh, reload my gun though first? Okay, no, it looks like it's already automatically reloaded. Oh, damn, did she... <laughs> the footstep sounds like... <laughs> That's right, out of this and evil. Oh, sorry, I'll skip that. Let me... Oh, sorry about that. I think it's just been like, look at this big hole. Check this big hole. Um, yeah, Kiro. Um, so, so, I never played it as a kid. And it was never a thing... I never had any friends who had, had it or played it. Um, it's just a kind of the the name of the game I was familiar with. I just never got around to checking it out. But here we are. Um, okay, so Ryan, let me ask you this. Not that I'm going to necessarily go out of my way to get that gun or... Um, Or, or just for the sake of it anyway. But because it's an RPG, can you, like, grind? Can you, like, avoid following the main thrust of the story and just, hey, I'm just going to spend an hour running around this area fighting enemies just to get level up? Um... <laughs> uh, okay, so... <laughs> Fair enough, Seven. Uh... Sounds like my backup's arrived. Jump down, forget it. Oh. Jump down there, just like that. Okay, I mean... Should we go and see the backup first? Seems crazy just jumping down that hole. Let's say forget it for now. Okay, I want to... Oh. I know she's down there, forget it, no. I want to just like have a little look around first. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Ah, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Maybe sit, get back up and tell them what's bloody happened. And look, there's a freaking... Is that a box there or something? Yeah, check that. Medicine. Yeah, I mean, you know. Um, let me ask you this, uh, Ryan. Do you get, like, storage? Or do you... Okay, and that link's up there. Um, do you get storage at all? Or is literally... You just have your own... Aya's own carry capacity? Because um, if you don't get storage, then it makes it even more important to level up her own item capacity as soon as possible. And you could very well find yourself in a situation where you're just carrying around stuff you can't even use, which would be quite uh, quite tragic. It's not much, yeah. So I just picked up that medicine there. Now, obviously, we don't know what the enemies we're going to be fighting are like. They could be, like, super tough. Um, and I could need to use that medicine. But it would be tragic to get into um a situation where you know that i couldn't get out of because of that like you know i don't want to be throwing things away is what i'm trying to say yeah i feel like i'm supposed to just jump down that hole and go after her even however insane that sounds but realistically, you wouldn't. She'd like... Especially with the, the superpowers, you'd go and check in with backup. You don't know what she's walking into.
Oh, wow. So you can literally... As as, <laughs> so you, it's perfectly possible, Ryan, to just not do like a... Just not take any damage if, you, if you're on the ball. God, burnt corpse. Okay, well, um... Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. That was... That felt relatively simple to um, avoid her attacks, but I assume that's just the intro to the game, isn't it? So I don't know. Interesting. Wait, I'm a cop. I'm with the NYPD. What? Hold on. I'm going to take out my badge. Don't shoot. Oh, damn. She had a... <laughs> oh, it's probably on a chain around the neck. I wonder if that thing's called, um, spon spontaneous combustion? Who knows, huh? huh. You think we'll, uh, be on TV? What? This paramedic. Well, I guess everyone's dead, so he hasn't got much to do, but... Hope this becomes a TV movie or something. Let me patch you up. What? Okay, I was at free heal. You hope it becomes a TV movie? My god, bro, you need to... Hey, why don't you have any injuries? Don't ask me. That's something I want to know. Everyone's got them burned. A lot of them. Probably won't make it. Indeed. Hey, I've got the same gun. I've got bullets for you if you want. Uh, yes. Cool. Oh, he's... Hang on, he's not giving us infinite bullets, is he? Oh, sorry, uh, menu. Wow, he did as well. He gave us, like, how many has he got? Hang on a minute. Is this guy just going to give us infinite bullets here? This seems a bit, like, not appropriate. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Yeah, sorry. I'm just uh, checking out the reload function. There you go. I got it. This seems weird. It seems like I shouldn't abuse this, but also, if it's right here, I shouldn't not. This is part of the game. Um. I assume, oh, so they say, oh, well, you're out. Can't give you the ones having this gun. Okay. God, he, he gave us a chunk of bullet. He's like, here, have all this ammo, lady. Okay, it wasn't infinite, but God, yeah, look. We got 59 bloody rounds now. Okay, I mean, I'm not. I'm glad I came back out here and didn't jump down the hole. <laughs> right, okay, so I guess. We're, yeah, okay, so that was just. Um, I guess it's if you, um, if you know the game. Or maybe if you don't, that's like just like the easy mode. We're now playing easy mode because we've got loads of ammo. Basically. Yeah, I don't see any reason why not to, Ryan. You know what I mean? It's... Yeah, so I guess... Um, yeah, well, I guess we're out of choices, aren't we? We've... Uh, we've uh, got to get down the hole after Eve. So whatever Eve is, some weird entity... Who apparently knows uh, Arya from her past. Which is curious. Which may be related to why she didn't get spontaneously combust like, uh, combusted like everyone else. Um, what What is she? We've got to stop her, haven't we? Okay. Let's get to it. Oh. Random little girl. Oi. Sorry, the cat's wandering in. I might have to yeet her. In a minute. I'll just leave her alone. Um. Are you alone? It's dangerous here. 
You should go. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, creepy little child. What's seven? What's all that about? That girl. It couldn't be. It's not her younger self, is it? Freaking cat. Wait. Don't you dare come over here. Oh. Scary music now. Let's see. There are iron rings on the side. Uh, I can use them to climb out. Okay, so we can go back the way we came. Right, okay. We're in kind of at the basement of the opera house, aren't we? Now, let me just check i want to make sure i've okay yeah but yeah wasn't sure if we'd uh which direction we were coming from there is that a thing no so all the doors i guess we'll sit be systematic about this sorry guys hang on the kitty cat is misbehaving thing is you climb up here and then she would like lay on my keyboard and then that will just screw the stream up or so right now she's jumping up on my laptop i want to beat her up in a minute i'm sorry about this folks i'm gonna let me just chuck her outside i've lost my freaking chat there we go. Do my in one second. Red Mage. Uh, I'll send you my copy, but that's unfortunately not an option. Oh my god, I'm. can't explain my excitement right at the minute folks right okay let's um all right that door's locked okay that door's locked okay the music's already it's immediately resident evil inspired and and very much in a good way okay that's the door's locked as well okay Oh. There's a rat. Oh no, what is this rat doing? The fuck, look at the fucking graphics, my god. I right, say, so, um. It's, it's mitochondria is popping off. Oh dear. I don't. I feel like rats shouldn't do that. Oh, oh my god. What the f I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna kill it. Excellent. Okay, cool. Two XP. Nice. And one item we got. More ammo. Okay, cool. And that take oh there you go so that takes you out of combat okay cool cool so there's weird rat things two shots we can deal with them oh my god ryan this is so good <laughs> jesus did eve do that to the rats what is going on here what's going on are you bro is uh you uh in a, a superb retro uh, video game my dear all right let's keep exploring then I said for this way. 
<laughs> yeah, okay, so even people this this is like the dressing room, isn't it? Even people not in the uh the the auditorium, the main hall of the opera house, even people downstairs in the basement in the dressing room got spontaneously combusted. So it's not like um a line of sight thing. It's just like an area of effect kind of thing. I'm going to look in all these lockers. Looks like there's not going to be anything in them. It's very cool that it's... Oh, medicine. Nice. Uh, it's allowing us to check all of these. Because in a Resident Evil game, it'd just be like, oh, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. It'd just pop up with a little message, wouldn't it? <gasps> uh, uh, is that guy still alive? Uh. Oh my god. You're still alive! Hold on, let me call the paramedics. M Melissa! She's a monster! Don't try to talk now. Melissa? Melissa? You mean the main actress? Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Melissa was the, uh, lady who turned into Eve. She probably got to Suzanne's, too. We'll have to stop her. No, please, wake up and get in there. Damn, I, f I mean, when you're that kind of roasted, I, f I feel, oh my God. Right, okay. So is it a reason it was that so the question becomes, um, did Melissa turn into Eve or Eve like possessed Melissa because um, Melissa happened to be the center of attention in that opera house, therefore the best candidate to kind of like kill everybody? Or is Melissa special? Is Melissa somehow related to Eve? Interesting. Atheline, Legion K, Professor Sean. What are you doing there, folks? Sorry to keep you waiting now. I'm just I'm just a bit overwhelmed at the minute. Oh my god. Uh <laughs> how you doing? Uh it's going very well, Cage. We've literally just started. Uh th Sean, this is your favourite horror game ever. Oh my god. And the only horror game you've ever played. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, Sean, I feel that oh, maybe horror's not your forte. Uh how you doing though, my dear? Um are you uh how's the um you've already moved haven't you yeah yeah last time i spoke to you I'm trying to keep up are you settling in is everything going well so far <laughs> well af being an executive producer af you get to uh you get to, you know you, you decide what games we play my dear so this is the retro setting uh you know i believe the game is more important than me I know I have to be on the screen, uh, but you know, if we're playing the full screen game, you're just going to get my stupid face. But if you want a full body, it's got to be retro. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, well, if, I'll, t I'll take that seven. I'm solid six, seven. God. Um, keep him busy, I, Sean. Oh, sorry. I thought he'd already moved. I'm, I do apologize, Sean. I just. It's hard for me to keep up with everyone. It feels like it's been a minute since I spoke to you. But how, are you doing all right, though? Keeping busy. Finish your summer classes. Bless you. I wish I could, I wish I could be there to help you move. But obviously, that's not a thing I can do, obviously. Um, <laughs> you, you, your very own eyeball, Seven. Your very own eyeballs. Well, who am who am I to second guess your eyeballs? But no, bless you, Seven. In all seriousness, I appreciate that. Um, people have said it before. I, I don't know. I, I, I'd like to have nicer skin. I've got that like greasy skin, black head, rid, riddled nose. You know, it's just always got acne and spots, and it's like it's. I just. I used to be. I used to be cute when I was a kid, I guess, and then puberty hit. And here I am, almost 40 years old, and I'm still in the throes of puberty, uh, apparently. 
Uh, <laughs> Put up eerie low lighting. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it could slick, Mick. I don't know. All I could really do is just literally turn down the um my light in the front there so I'm not as brightly lit. But, um... um <laughs> Oh yeah, you use cages eyeballs. I don't even, I don't even want to say. But anyway, thank you for being here, folks. I, I, I hope you're all well. I had no idea, Sean, that this was a favourite of yours. Uh, my uh, good friend Ryan chose this for us to play, and God, we're only like five, ten minutes into it, and I'm like, I'm super hype about it. Oh, God, the atmosphere. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay, let's try this door. Yeah, that wanker filter. God, yeah. Oh my god. Ah! Here! Take it! Take everything! It's all on the counter! Okay. Some bro dressed as, um, kind of like a clown jester kind of look i guess it's part of the costume for the show now why, why wasn't he combusted don't scare me i'm with the nypd you're the one that scared me lady i was just getting ready you know only staff were allowed in here so he literally has no idea what has happened there's an incident here you'll have to evacuate what? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See ya. What a sus fellow. <laughs> That's a bit random. Why is he not dead? Um. <clears throat> yeah, fair enough, Sean. It takes uh, a lot of getting used to. Oh. Something get him? God, we should have maybe escorted him out. Oh. Here we go. Oh, nice. There's a crit there. Oh, damn. Oh, check that. Oh, stat increases. Oh! Oh, yeah. Bonus points, everything. And ammo. Oh, my God. We're, we're doing well. This is, um... This is rather exciting. But I'll get level two. I need two more XP to next level. Okay, so first things first. Let's, um... Uh, I need to reload. Is that under items, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Reload. Okay, yeah. So we got one extra item capacity. Yeah, there you go. So it's uh, for every point, gets an extra slot, I guess. Now, how do we spend those bonus points? That's the question. Okay, so she actually got an increase of more uh, PE and also hit points. But that's not healed up. That's fine. That's not a problem. Um, now, maybe we're not at the point in the game we can spend you BP. Yeah, because there's no... Uh, none of those would be the case. Yeah, well, I want to see what happens to that guy. Unless he's just... Oh, there he is. Oh, right. Okay, this is interesting. It's that clown from the dressing room. Well, this is intriguing to me. Um, so not only do people not have to be in direct line of sight of Eve... They only have to be in the vicinity. It seems that even when Eve has left the building, so to speak, they can still be combusted. 
by the her residual presence, so to speak. Ah. How curious. I'm sorry you died, buddy. But this thing, even if we escorted him, it wouldn't have helped, would it? Interesting. Okay, let me finish checking his dressing room. God, the atmosphere is, um... On point. Plenty of bullets. I'll tell you that. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else in there. That door's locked. As is that. Okay, let's uh, try left first. <clears throat> yeah, 100% for seven. You've got to open them all. Doesn't matter if there's anything in there. Damn, look at this, bro. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Bless her. What's this key? Ooh. Right, dressing room key. Now, um, okay, it does take up an item slot, but where it says SP next to it, is that special? What I'm getting is that that's like a, a story quest item. That's not, you know, random uh, thing to, uh, it's not like a supply, it's not medicine or ammo. Okay, that's telephone there. Let me um, some look around there. Another medicine. All right, we'll flush your medicine. Drop an item. Oh, oh wait, hang on. Is that drop an item in the item box for to come back for later? Oh, it's a freaking parrot. Hot, hot. Help, help. Oh, Mr. Parrot, you wanna come down here? I can help you, buddy. Have they got a pet parrot in the... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I do want to use that telephone, though. I better notify the department about what's happened here. You save your progress. We shall. Right, I'm going to uh, test uh, this theory, maybe. If we'll uh, put a medicine in the one we picked up back in that box. Is that our storage box, maybe? It follows us around. Let's give it a go. Yeah, where'd that parrot come from, Seven? What was all that about? Now, is this key for all these doors? It is. Oh, is that a different parrot? It must be. What's with all these parrots hanging around? Hello, buddy. Hello, friend. Merry, Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it took some damage there. We killed it. That's fine. Right, okay, I'll see. <laughs> What's going on, Seven? <laughs> right, so... What, the, the effect that Eve has in her wake is not only 
spontaneously combusting people, but turning animals into monsters. It's uh, all a bit of an issue, isn't it? Oh, sorry, I missed what that said. I failed to pick that up. Is that an item, maybe? Or if it was, I don't know. I don't think there's anything else in here. This is freaky. <laughs> well, thank you, Af. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's basically what he said, Sky. Yo, Mike. How you doing, Mike? You alright, bro? Are you keeping well? Oh my god, excellent, excellent, Sky. You got, you got to take inspiration from everything. That's what I feel. Understand that every story has already been told. It's just telling your own version of a given story. Uh, right, I'm gonna. We've got an extra medicine there. I do not already go in this door. I thought we went in this one. I thought this is where the first parrot was. Maybe not. A diary? November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theatre in Central Park. I took all that uh, medication to get here. I have to get the lead part medication. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. Is this what has on some level happened interesting Melissa was like best one out there November 17th Monday uh, the cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast I want to play the part alone but everyone knows she's good uh, 21st I think I'm overdoing it my body is getting hotter than ever for some reason. Uh, I better take some more medicine. Okay. Uh, December 6th, Saturday. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through this show. Uh, December 10th, Wednesday. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I better take a lot of medication tonight. Interesting. Okay, December 11th, Thursday. Uh, Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the part so bad? God, forgive me. December 17th, Wednesday. It looks like I'll be the lead. I better take more medication and work it. December 23rd. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. I assume today's Christmas Eve. That's what I'm assuming. Uh, and I have the solo concert the next day at the park. So I'm not feeling well. I better shape off if I want to get through this. I better take more medication. But for what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Oh, uh, <laughs> another key. Okay. Rehearse key. Rehearsal room key. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Um. Uh. I, d I don't remember specifically, Mike. It's been, uh so long it's been several well it was whenever it came out it was a good few years ago now wasn't it five or six years four or five six years i don't remember mike just have to keep watching it buddy um but yeah i some people think i'm crazy but i i, I think super is better than um than uh z um Yeah, but I, yeah, this medicine is, which I assume 
the medication that uh, Melissa is talking about in her diary that isn't our medicine that we've got around. So I don't, I, I doubt I can uh, just chuck that at um, one of those parrots or rats and help them out. But yeah, so it seemed like yo Phoenix, how you doing there, bro? No, have not. The first playthrough just started with very early doors on it. Uh, how you doing, Phoenix? You're right, bro. Um. So something was happening to Melissa. So th this is leading me to believe that whatever Eve is, she's directly related. In she's intrinsically linked to Melissa. It wasn't she was. Um, oh, I'll, I I want to burn some people. Let me take over that lady over there as she's the center of attention right now. She was. Something was happening to her. Um, or something happened to her. You know, anyone who says, I'd, I'd make a... <laughs> I'd sell my soul to... The, you know, I'm like, oh. Yeah, don't do that. That's... We're off to a bad start, aren't we? <laughs> um, oh, I know uh, there's a novel of this uh, originally. Did uh, did the movie come after the uh, the game though? Or was it? I'll have a look at that later. Sorry. Um... <laughs> uh, uh, Toast Show. We'll get your name there, right, buddy? Yotos. You let. Uh... <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh... Hey, didn't there, my friend? Welcome in. Yeah, I assume you're a fan of this game. Um, yeah, so I don't... That's what it seems like to me. Uh, and the fact that... Um, her uh, compatriot, the other lady who was playing the same role as her, like, you know, was hospitalised. Is, is she hospitalised? She died? Yeah, she was caught in a fire. The fact that this is something that's manifested over a couple of months. We, I guess we have to start to get to the root of it, don't we? But Okay, let's uh, keep exploring. Getting there. More ammo, excellent. Chad, to get your... Uh, your pronunciation of your name there right buddy Sh Shotos Shio um yeah I don't know if anyone else has seen um anytime they make a movie based on a video game not anytime they're usually trash usually trash uh the Doom movie very very bad in my opinion um um what's the uh I can't remember the name of the game Alone in the Dark. They made a movie of that with uh, Christian Slater. I tried to watch that movie. I'm not familiar with the game, but just based on the movie, I got like half an hour in and I couldn't watch any more of it. It was, the movie was so bad, it's almost like they purposely made it bad. Um, it's, it's never good. Ah, aff, okay. So the, the book was originally... The first one, then they made a movie based on the book, which was trash, not the book's fault. Uh, and then this is the sequel to the book, which obviously I guess we don't need to have played. Um, interesting. There we go. We got mixed opinions here, folks. It doesn't matter. That's what we're all about. Um, I want to go see this other parrot again. He returns into. Oh, did he vanish? Am I... This must have been the same parrot then. I don't know. I just want. I, I'm, what I'm doing here, folks, I feel that the way to go is the final door at the end of this corridor. And that's probably the rehearsal room. I just want to make sure I've not uh, missed anything at all. Okay. I think we had one locked door back down this way. Oh. Oh, 
Ah, that's unfortunate. Not too much damage. Three points of damage. There we go. Got a nice little crit there as well. Level three. Get our bullets back and everything. The uh, the transitions to random encounters are fairly straightforward. I'm not against that at all. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to. Um, you get in the wrong freaking room, I think. Let's get back where the um, the room with the t the telephone. I'll just get to that little box and see if I could stick another medicine in it and see if that was our item box. Oh, damn. The frequent encounters. That's fine. I'm not trying to grind here, folks. I'm sure you understand. A fiery rat. Damn, it's very generous with the items dropping. I will say that. And you can carry a lot of ammo in your ammo crate. Now, do you have different ammo crates for different um, ammo types, maybe? Yeah, I'll j okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Seven. Hey, I just want to check these uh, rooms off down here. We'll go back up that way. Oh, here we go. Damn, check the uh check the heart there. This is like an old storage prop room, isn't it? That's odd. This wall looks like it's about to crumble. Oh. Oh, secret room, eh? Oi oi. Freaking skeleton. I, sh I hope that's uh, not a real skeleton. Ah, is that new armor? Normal armor, normal armor. Yes, okay. Uh, So Ryan, I don't know if you know or anyone else knows. Um, yeah. Entertain you, Cage. I'll try my best, buddy. Um, yeah, no, I did. I did, uh, Severin. I will look for it. I'm just getting, you know I mean? I'm easily confused. Um, Yeah, I might just literally leaving stuff in these boxes. It's not gonna. Yeah, I think I think there's no difference, is there? Um, in fact, uh, yeah, that's the vibe I'm getting. So I think maybe there's not, but yeah, what I want to do is check my armor, don't I? Yeah, much improved. So I guess crit on stat on armor is protection from crit hits. Now can can you sell? I guess sell. You don't have money in the game, do you? But Ryan did say something that you can turn junk items into some dude. So maybe old armor counts as that. I don't know. An armor doesn't degrade or anything, does it? I assume. Um, this cabinet here, you have to be like right in the exact spot. Uh, show toast. I don't know. Seems like it doesn't want to do anything. Oh, a fence plus one increases attack by by plus one. Damn. Nice. Okay. I guess we probably want to use that because we've got run out of inventory space. Um,. I don't see why not. I'm just going to do it. I think with those weapon upgrades, I'm just going to use them for on whatever as we find them. And if they're lost, then they're lost and whatever, basically. 
Okay, I think that's it. Junk is specifically labelled junk. Excellent, Ryan. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, the show toast. So I, I, I gave, I gave it, uh, I gave it a go there. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna stress it. Uh, more medicine. I've got like, too much stuff now. That's a bit of a problem. Oh, damn, we got rats and parrots. Oh, dear. There we go. It's fine. Damn, we got too much stuff, though. It's very, I feel it's, the combat's cool. I like the combat. Uh, I feel it's very generous with the items it's given us though. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but. but I'm going to just pop one of these medicines, I guess, because we've got so freaking many of them. Um. Smarts, thank you so much for being here, my dear. I appreciate it. You have a good day. And uh, we'll see you soon. Isn't it, Affy? It really is. Wow, look at that. So this opera house is pretty freaking weird, if I'm honest, isn't it? Get there. Unlock the door. Okay. Right, okay, and that brings us out there. Okay. Right, I think we're back on track. Somewhat. Does it, Phoenix? So, people... Well, my good friend Red Mage... Oh, that was a bit clumsy. <laughs> I thought... I didn't think it was going to spread out that much. Um, it's obsessed with the uh, Vagrant story. Uh, but Legion Cage... He, uh, he tried Vagrant Story and uh, he got like stuck on it. He was like, oh, I can't, I can't do this. And like Cage is smarter and, you know, more hardcore than me. So I'm like, uh, maybe I should be staying away from this myself. I don't know. Um, you do get less stuff as you go along, Ryan. Okay, cool. It's because we're at the beginning of the game, isn't it? Basically. So I shouldn't stress the fact that I'm getting loads of items right now because we'll get to a point where I'm going to probably need them. So yeah, Mr. Parrot, you're not freaking out, are you? Good boy. Yeah. So I think these case, these uh, chests are just literally a place to dump items if you've got too many. I don't see it being anything more than that. Okay, let me uh, make another little, little phone call. Just because we've done a few bits and pieces. It's a stupid game, says Cage. There you go. There we go. Okay, this parrot wants to be friendly. Or at least chill. Right, okay, let's um let's move on then. So I assume that final key we got allows us to get through this door at the end. The rehearsal room. There we go. I think we got everything back there. Apart from that uh that cabinet that um Choto said. Oh Hello. Melissa Eve you uh gonna come with us? I'm Melissa. 
I'm... No, I'm... I... I... I am... Eve. Apparently. Oh, I'm... I'm getting... Hot. She says as she keeps playing the piano. <laughs> uh, nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? What indeed? Uh, uh. Oh! Oh dear. Once again. Oh my god, look, she's a proper monster. The day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. Alright. I guess we're going to shoot you. I guess that's what we're going to do. Oh my god. I'm scared. Oh, oh. oh geez. Okay, I'll see. Okay, not too much damage. That's uh, far more difficult to avoid than uh, last time. Oh my god. Oh yeah, she moved out of range there. I, oh dearie me. Okay. This is like a, our first serious fight here, folks. Okay. I think I want to try and stay close to her when she's doing that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I should have done. Not kept her distance so close. And as she's about to fire, just get around the back of her. There we go. Yeah, ATB, Red Mage. That's what it's about, basically. Um, hey, Brayden. All right there, Brayden. How you doing, bro? You all right? Welcome on in. I hope you're well, young sir. I'm doing very well, buddy. I'm doing very well. We, um, apart from life, just been awesome. We, uh, recently streamed and completed all of, well, I'll say completed all of, uh, it's 17 streams on Red Dead Redemption 2. And now we're taking a little uh, trip back in time, getting on back on the retro train. Uh, Parasite Eve. It's uh, rather... We just started. It's rather good. Um, looks like you still need some time, girl. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria? What are you saying? I don't understand you. I'm glad... I'm glad that uh, I is in the same boat with us. What? Where is this? Is that... Is that the little girl I saw? No, it's... It is the little girl you saw. The creepy little girl. The seven didn't like. A doctor? Wait. Okay, so whatever Eve is, she's directly, somehow directly relinked to Aya. Even, even more so than Melissa, seemingly. Curious. Mitochondria? To be free? I don't know. Yeah, a bit of a Hojo vibe there, Red Mage, wasn't it? It really was. I was like, for a minute, a second there, I was like, oh, you creepy doctor, stay away from that child. Um, okay, so I managed to survive that. I took some hits there. But, uh, you know, look how much medicine we've got. Not to mention I've still got a heal that I've yet you know, to use. Oh, scan. Oh, maybe I should be using that. Yeah, analyze enemies' hit points and weaknesses. That's probably the first thing I should be doing in a boss fight. Anyway. Yeah, so that wasn't the most graceful there, but that was the most, like, a, a, a JRPG kind of fight going on there. Um, oh. Another hole to jump down. I think we have to, because I don't see there's anything else in this room. Let me just uh, double check briefly. Yeah, it's completely empty, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I 
Moving on. What is going on? Wow. What? What? Oh dear. I mean, technically, I should uh, probably um, fire at one creature, then at the other, because sometimes we'll get a crit, but sometimes I don't know. It's fine. I've seen these rats, though, are a bit random. They don't necessarily go straight for you. Nice. Level up. Perfect. That's all that's here. All oh, that freaking ammo. Insane. I mean, awesome, but a uh, cra crazy amount of ammo. Okay, we got an extra, uh, extra capac item capacity. Um, I wonder when I can, I can spend these bonus points, though. I can't do that. What's that thing? Let's uh, nip the rat in the bud. It's a giant frog thing. Oh, damn. Got out of range. too bad yeah this um this combat's very satisfying i know it's very simple at the moment but um yeah this is this game is cool af oh we got here oh this is new gun Hello. Significantly improved. It's um, obviously... Uh, I don't know what those upgrades are. Yeah, because we've... Uh, yeah, rate of fire increase. Thought I'd put an extra uh, thing on it, but... Rate of fire 3. Excellent. Overall, it's... Uh, an extra. Uh, I assume it's using the same rounds. Must be. Um, okay, let me head up these stairs first, I guess. Where even are we? Oh my god, this is all, oh my god, this is intense. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay. Oh. Oh. You get three ramp. Oh, you get three bullets. Three shots with it. Okay, that was clumsy. Go out, folks. And a level up. Oh, damn. Nice. Revives. Restores life when you die. Do I only pick up one of those because uh, I've got full inventory? That's a pain in the ass. I did as well. I've got to be careful of that. Right, okay. I'm going to definitely be a little bit more careful about things. Should I throw away these keys now? No, you can't move. Okay, let's just move this position. 
in your inventory. Um, hmm. <laughs> Bye. Now, thank you so much for choosing this, Ryan. Uh, so I see another little case down there. Is that a door underneath us? Another little case down there. It looks like this just loops around and links back up, doesn't it? I don't see anything else up there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she's going to need to change her clothes by the time she gets out of here. Yeah, I'll probably... So, I'll probably what I could have... Yeah, you can just discard things, uh, Seven. And I probably could have in that menu. But I just can't say I cocked it up. So, how does... Is, is that like a auto life? Auto phoenix kind of thing? That just gets used when you die? Um, you're the little girl I saw at the theatre. Are you lost? I feel like that's a younger version of herself. I don't know, as a ghost or a memory, I don't know. Wait, little girl, don't go. A bit late for that. Sorry, I'm just getting uh, the right position here. See the case there. This is just like that uh <laughs> that cabinet back upstairs. I think there's one of the other yeah, there's one on the other side there as well. It's not because I've got I don't actually technically have a full inventory at the minute. There we go. Ammo, cool. Um let's try and get back over to this one. It's further away than it looks, is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ceratos, thank you. Ooh, offense plus one. Mm. Good call, sir. Um, yeah, that's, the, that's the only problem with these kind of more old school retro games. With um, yeah, These graphics are f fantastic to me. And hopefully you guys as well. Um, but, you know, they can be a little bit limited on... See, you know, your perception of how things are, etc. Um, anyway, let's, uh, I guess we're getting this on a new gun. Why wouldn't we? Makes sense, right? Okay, I guess we're going to know where that little ghost girl went. Oh, it's not the case there, wasn't there? Hope I can go back and get that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Atheline. Reese up there. Six months. You don't have to doubt my dear. Thank you kindly. I do appreciate that. Being an executive producer of the show, I certainly don't expect you to sub on Twitch as well. But, uh... Thank you kindly. Have you been... Do you set up your stream? You've been doing a... Stream a little bit of Final Fantasy, did you? It's a test. That was sneaky. You didn't tell me you did that. Told me you were thinking about it. Didn't tell me you did it. Uh, uh, excuse me. I'm not going to shoot a child, Seven. Evil child, yes. But you perceive that child to be evil. I perceive it to be a little lost ghost. And anyway, if, if it's a ghost, you can't really shoot it, can you? So... Here we go. More ammo. Excellent. Okay. Didn't want to miss that. Moving on. Yeah, the, um... The, uh... The little treasure boxes. That very dark grey. Hiding in this very grey background. It's, uh... It's a bit of a thing, isn't it? Oh. Okay. Alright, two big froggos. Chunky boys. It's fine. Nice.
Yeah, I've got too many freaking items. Ryan. Uh, oh, no, you, yeah, sorry, I already asked. About to ask you this. Well, you, you can't discard those. It's a problem, isn't it? Um, now, should I just throw this away? I, okay, it won't let me throw away. I feel like I've got to just throw away some medicine now. Honestly. We've just got too many items. That's unfortunate. Oh, was it? It's probably Evil 7. I don't know about that. I like to give... I'll just give everyone, including ghosts, the benefit of the doubt. Inclu including children, even. There's a switch and an emergency phone. Emergency phone, as in safe point. Your loss. <laughs> I don't know about that. The seven. <laughs> Giving people benefit of the doubt. No, that's the right thing to do. In my opinion. I'll right, press the switch. Can I open up that gate there? Nice. Ever onwards. Still think it's evil. That's right. You can think what you like. Eve ill is right here. Eve! I'm going to shoot you some more, I guess. Hold it right there! My buddy. My buddy's getting hot again. Yeah, Red Mage, he, he knows. Ha uh, ha <laughs> <laughs> Ah, he was ready to take me on just by herself. Well, even if you did have more people with you, they just burn, right? What is going on? Everyone else but you. You are somehow related to this whole thing. Tell me, Eve. Why? Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out. Eventually. Even if you don't understand. Don't worry. Your mitochondria will. They've always known. I'm going to give you some time. Some time to think and some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive when you will awaken. What does that mean? Oh, she's so freaky. Insanely good graphics for PS1. Looks staggeringly good. Oh. Oh, we got some freaking crocodiles. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, electric crocodile mutant mitochondria. There are two targets. What are the uh okay. Is that its head and its face? I don't know which which one should I be going for. Oh, is that its tail I'm targeting? That's his body. Oh dear. Yeah. I guess we're trying to take its tail out first. Oh my god, I keep missing it. Oh. Let's try one more time. Oh. God, I might need to heal in a second. now
Oh, oh dearie me. Do I get it? I thought I was going to have to get yeeted though. Oh, we on a... Okay, just kind of uh, moved around a little bit there. Oh, okay. I think I've destroyed its tail. I can only target its face now. What on earth? <laughs> Going the wrong way, buddy. A little bit out of range there okay so range it uh if you're out of range it, i mean it may change your accuracy but it looks, seems like you get less hits in basically there we go take that big cocky boy nice battle music freaking excellent Parasite powers have evolved. Slow. Oh, we've got a slow debuff we can use. I was, I was supposed to scan that big boy as well, wasn't I? Never mind. I shot him up. Oof. Oh, that was cool. Uh, uh, and we've got a new vest there. Kevlar vest. Ah, that was cool. Went. I will awaken. Just tell me what you want, Eve. God, this is so freaking cool. This is cooler than I imagined it was going to be. <laughs> We're live in front of Carnegie Hall, which has become the scene of complete chaos. Miss, you're the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? I... Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Please, just leave me alone. This incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively. Wow! What punch that guy had. Take him from behind like that. <laughs> uh, My god. Are you crazy? Jim! Did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy. Daniel. This is like her boss or colleague. Partner, maybe? Sorry, I'm late, are you? Aya, you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Yes. Oh, but my date. Heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, Aya did tell him to run away. Uh, sorry, your date didn't go well. <clears throat> It's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places, the opera, there's a story. Ha! Huh. <laughs> um, so why the opera, huh? Is that the in thing right now? I saw the ad in the paper. I don't know, just caught my eye. Hmm. Don't tell me you won to this case. Ah, so you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? <laughs> maybe. Maybe not exactly cop instinct, but instinct nonetheless. Instinct. Daniel, shouldn't be with you, you be with your son. 
It's Christmas Eve. He knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. But this is one hell of an incident, huh? Yeah, one hell indeed. Mitochondria. Mitochondria. Symbiosis? When was I in the hospital? Hey, are ya? You sleep? Oh well. Don't blame ya. After what you've been through tonight. Right. Okay, so Daniel's either a partner or, uh, or just a, co a colleague of some kind. It all started with this incident. The six days that were to become a nightmare for all. People eventually forget and go on with their lives. But I will never forget it. It was pure terror, but... It was also six days filled with familiar memories. Mm. How mysterious. Are we taking uh, Christmas Day off? Maybe. <laughs> day two, fusion. Okay, so this is Christmas Day. You save your progress. I believe we will. Oh my God, I'm so uh, into this right now. Um, I think. Uh, I think I'll, I might go and get coffee early. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I suppose with everything that's happened, you wouldn't be like, oh, well, it's Christmas Day today, so we're having the day off. <laughs> you wouldn't, would you? You'd just be like, okay, let's let's get to it. Hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives. And no close friends. She was sick often. Always on some kind of medication. The people at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident. Hmm. So we have no info on her medication. So what's this spontaneous combustion stuff all about? Alright, that's Nick, some random detective, police officer. It wasn't actually spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Uh, Warner, the other guy. Oh, come on! What? Like one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, I is the only witness so far. If you're gonna take on a suspect like that, you better ask Baker for a better sidearm. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Is this the Baker, the boss? Be the captain. Um. Uh, be friends with that. Um. Well, the ghost seven, the uh, the big crocodile thing. What? What are you talking about? Um. I read your report. Still hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department and give this permit to Torres. He'll get he'll help you out. All right, mod permit. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Uh there we go. Uh thank god. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, but Melissa wasn't a freaky monster to start with, Seven. <laughs> uh you know.
I'm not going to get an another new gun. So do all guns use the same ammo? That's an in that's interesting. And, and Ah, we got new armor, didn't we? Of course we did. Right, okay. So that's given us more penergy. And, uh, and a lot more defense. But it's uh, lowering uh, our crit protection. But overall, I feel that's presumably going to be much better, I would say. You know, lose a few points of crit defense, but eight points of defense. Um... Yeah, no, seven, but, you know, just because, um, you know, just because you didn't have any friends, you know, that's not related to being a freaky monster. Right, guys, I'm going to, um, I'm slightly gasping for it. I'm going to go get a refill and make coffee. I'll be as quick as I can. I'll be right back.
Right, sorry to keep you waiting there, folks. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, that, that's something right. I never, I would never uh, play a game and stream a game that I didn't enjoy. But obviously, there's a lot that I've just never played. I don't know if it'd be fun or not. Like if I start this and um. I was like, oh no, uh, this is really trash, and I couldn't get into it, then, uh, you know, that'd be different. But uh, no, no, I, 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 my senses for things are usually pretty good. Um, Sween! Yo, Sween! How you doing, my dear? Oh, you well. Uh, so this is on a uh, retro pie, uh, Red Mage. Um, I guess wait, is re retro pie is the term of the physical thing you make? Oh, I didn't make it; that was made. And retro arc is the the system. Is that right? I don't know. Cage would uh, would know better than me. Um, Sorry, Sween's doing the thing. The thing, as in the streaming thing, because she's just moved when she's set up. Um, unpacking and stuff. Oh, my God. I, I weirdly find that satisfying, Sween. The moving part is obviously not good, and it's stressful. Um, and it just all takes a lot of work, unpacking everything. But it gives you like, like a, a proper like reset. You can make sure everything is like nice and some bit OCD, like you know, nice and tidy, and in its proper place. It's like a lot of work, but you know, some people don't care about doing that stuff. And if you don't, that's fine. You just live out of boxes or chuck your stuff wherever. But get on your swing. Got you. Thank you for the confirmation there, Cage. So the retro arc is the the emulator itself. The retro pie. Is the user interface. Yeah, because I've seen on yours, Cage, it's exactly the same as mine, isn't it? Got you. Yeah. But I guess the kind of, you know, for the technical terms, not technical terms, but uh, for layman's terms, it's, the terms are kind of interchangeable. Like if people say, what are you playing on? And I say either of those terms, they they know what I'm talking about. Um, um, seven Seas on the internet. D just don't buy one from freaking China. Uh, Red Mage, I'll tell you that. It's strange, strangely, the one I found um, over here was uh, actually built in, because you guys know I live near a city named called Portsmouth. The next other big city near us is a city called Southampton. Uh, the company who made this literally based in Southampton. <laughs> uh, so I could have, like, gone... Yeah, I guess they probably don't have a store, but... Um, I could have like gone and picked it up, but um, interesting. I'll, yeah, I've never had any problems with it. But anyway, moving on, folks. Sorry, let me uh, control disconnected. Right, okay. Uh, so Baker's our boss, I guess. Come back later. Okay, official thing, boss. I'll have a little look, poke around your office while we're here. Nothing here. Uh, I like her um, a change of outfit. It's appropriate. Uh, God, she's got long legs on her. Uh, jeans. Black sneakers. White t-shirt or tank top and black leather jacket. She's like, I'm just ready to go now. I'm not, you're not playing games now. I assume she's a detective rather than a police officer, but we shall see. Let's look around the office. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I don't know, buddy. I don't know what we're going to do. I think it's, uh, I think you probably don't have to do anything, buddy. I think it's all Naya. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. Okay, you, you, you do whatever you like, sir. <laughs> um...
And I've just saved it. So I don't really need to save it again, I don't think. I need to tie it up there. <laughs> so typical. Uh, police uh, detectives in fiction. They just The desks are a mess. Absolute mess. Because of course they are. Daniel got for us. Yeah, I believe her. After all, I is the only witness so far. If you're going to take on a suspect like that, you better ask Baker for another side arm. Yeah, okay. We got that. Okay, so I think we just... Uh, I don't think there's anything else in the office, though. department you didn't hit your head last night did you it's right downstairs oh, <laughs> oh kathy thank you well, uh, we'll have a look around looks hopeful. Let's just take your stuff there off the desk, right? Wayne. Hey there, good looking. Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy? Who knows? Hey, has he got a problem with people out here? Wants to slap this, Wayne. <laughs> so what'd it be? Shotgun? Rocket launcher? Rocket launcher? <laughs> You'll be off for a few, will you, Seven? Well, it's always a pleasure to have you here, my dear. See you in a sec. Take care of what you need to. Just hand out a freaking rocket launcher. What the hell? Exactly, Parrot. This guy wants a slap. Wayne! Y yes, sir. Why do you call him a baldy? This guy's got a full head of hair. <laughs> Idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay, sheesh. <laughs> Random. <laughs> You got receding hairline, maybe. Let's make you a baldy. Jeez. Torres, I need some equipment. For last night's case, I heard it was quite a mess. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you. But I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. Guess I can't send you off empty handed. We're not empty-handed. We do have two various uh, handguns. Here. Here, this is the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. Oh, okay. God, it looks pretty damn good. M Wait, an M16? Rifle? Oh, yeah. Captain Baker already notified me. Show me your modification permit again. Okay. Where is it? Odd permit there. Yeah, I wanted to... I'll compare those in a minute. Okay, do they use all use the same bullets? They, they do. And you only need one gun at a time, don't you? Which gun? I mean... Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, and the damage and the range is massively up. It's by far our best weapon. Now, it is only fine two shots compared to three shots. But overall, it's staggeringly bad. So, I guess we'll mod our new rifle. Add a slot. There we go. Hell yeah. 
Oh, wait. Just wait here. All set. But just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. Psst. Don't tell Torres. But you can use your tool. Tune up your guns. Use me tool. Um, this, is <laughs> this is not power. It's absolutely not. <laughs> um, you can rearrange equipment parameters and added effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. All right. Even if he's a bit of a dick. Even if he's, even if he hates me and power because we don't have hair. Um, yeah, I already read this, didn't I? You got it? Trust me, you can never have too much firepower. Of course, can't use them without bullets, so you better make sure you always have your club. Hmm. Just in case, you know? Yeah, I feel if we run out of ammo, we're trying to use our baton, our nightstick, to, uh, beat up a boss, and I feel maybe we're not in a good situation, but you know, who knows? We've got so many rounds at the minute, but like Ryan said, maybe the random loot you get from random encounters just lessens as you go further through the game. It's kind of like start out, you know, that's like the, the difficulty curve. Now why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Ah... Store equipment and store items. Excellent. Okay, so Wayne, even though he's a dick, uh, <laughs> he's where we store stuff. Excellent. Uh, sort items. Yeah, we want to do that, I guess. Yeah, a little tidy up there. Uh, tune up stuff. Uh, distribute the bonus points. Mm! Oh, yeah. Okay. Um... So bonus points. I thought this was your stats for your uh, your actual stats. So it's not it's your storage. Okay, let me um, let me store the uh, stuff we don't need. So I assume your ammo absolutely is uh, it's the same, isn't it? Between uh. Oh, is that because we currently got that equipped? I guess it is. So I assume we just store all this because... Uh, oh, silly me. Because uh, you can't... There's no sell or dismantle or anything like that, is there? Um, okay. Okay, it's going to let us store those keys, because obviously I assume we're not going back to the theatre. There's no reason to, is there? Okay, so I will, um... I think we'll keep one medicine and one revive with us. That seems reasonable. Okay, now let me, uh... Check this. I need to reload it, do we? No. Um. Yeah, we go. Change weapon. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Now, if I talk to him again. Now I can uh, store that. So I assume it's using the same ammo, isn't it? Um, it's not really too much of an issue. Alright, let's go to the tune up. Right, tool zero, super zero. Okay, so whatever, we have to get some kind of something to use the tool. So we have the tool. 
we don't have uh, anything to do with it at the minute. So, uh, so I thought it said your bonus points. Um, I thought you could spend those on your stats. Because I and I kind of don't really want to put bonus points into gun damage or armor defense. If I can spend them on uh, stats instead, that makes sense. Oh, there you go. We've got the tool now. And the tool is there. Excellent. And we've got one tool. You can see down the bottom there. But it's, uh, assumingly I need more than one tool. There we go. Distribute bonus points. Here we go. This is more uh, item capacity or active time. I feel that maybe item capacity at the early stages would be more useful. Right, okay, it's a hundred bonus points to get a single point. Let me check that there. Yeah. And there as well. Now, the, your active time, I assume that's how quickly your uh, ATB gauge charges, but we'll go with item capacity to start with. Perfect, I'm happy with that. Um, right, and again, it seems... Uh, you need 100 points to get a single point. Okay. Okay, that's cool. So you've got some choice in how you level up. Um, okay, cool. I think we're... Uh, we're good to go. Here we go. We've got a new assault rifle. We've got a Kevlar vest. We've got a little club. We've got our equipment tool. Uh, we've got one medicine, one revive, and a hell of a lot of bullets. And 10 uh, equipment... You know inventory slot spare so i think we're good to go where wherever we're going because we don't really know at the minute do we right, another medicine probably store that Uh, I do not. Yeah, no exceptions. Okay, so if we get any more per these permits, we can uh, use these, but we don't have any at the moment. That is fine. Onwards. Let's have a gander through here. Oh, doggos. Hello, buddy. I love to just watch them. I always come here after my shift to relax. All right. Miss Hello. Little doggos. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything else here. No. Okay. Good to know where the dog guys are. Oh. Authorized personnel only weapons department. Okay, special weapons. I guess. Oh, okay, back upstairs. That seems to be the exit to the building, which I didn't actually mean to go through there, but never mind, eh? Oh. Yeah, no, that's reception, isn't it? Yeah. Music is excellent. We 
because your seven's not here. Another freaky child. Hey there, you lost? Ah! Ben? Oh, it's Daniel's son, is it? Daddy! So this is Ben. Ben! This is Aya! Now, what are you doing here? Here. Tickets? Oh, yeah. The concert. Sorry, son. Daddy's real busy today. I promise I'll make up for you. You. It for you. Fine! My God. Ben! Alright, oh, Daniels might be a good cop, but he's a, sh he's a shit dad. And to be fair, Ben seems like a brat, but. Yeah. <laughs> Guess every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father too, after my mother died. I'll always be very grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, Daniel? You can do anything. <laughs> okay, that's uh and his son just turned up at his work and was like, yo dad, it's Christmas day. How we got here, I don't know. Um, let's go to the concert. His dad's like, I've got work to do. <laughs> right, okay, this is the conference room. Right, I don't know if there's anything here though. Of uh, specific interest. I guess we're gonna have a little look upstairs. Right, it's just like the actual uh, jail cells. Sorry, only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Oh, okay, fair enough, buddy. Got no re real reason to be there anyway. You got anything else new to tell us, Kathy? You met Daniel's son, Ben? Daniel divorced his wife last year. This was before you were assigned here. He kept saying every boy needs a father. So he fought for Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt if he has time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. Right, okay, now we have to go back and see the captain to get our lead. Let's try heading out to reception first. What a case to have on Christmas, huh? Or, or any time. <laughs> For that matter. Okay. Oh, we can head outside. Yeah, what's in it? What's in a cage? Oh. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. So you're like on the world map here and you choose your uh, destination. Okay, I guess we'll... Uh, the only option is to go back to Carnegie Hall. So, um... I guess we'll uh, go and see uh, the captain first. Unless he's going to ask us to go back there to look for clues. But I like the fact that um, I has told them about the you know spontaneous combustion and Eve and stuff. But um, not mentioned any of the monsters she'd had to kill. <laughs> You were looking for me? 
Yes. We're having a press conference now, and I want you there too. Me? That's right. You'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. But you only answer when I ask you. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect. So you let me do the talking. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet the press. Okay. Again, weird it being on Christmas Day, but then when something like that would go down, they probably would be all over it. They're not hanging around, are they? Um, so you're saying this could be the work of a terrorist? That is what we currently speculate. How about accounts of officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? That was... That was due to a rare, highly flammable chemical which was used to start the fire. Another question. Then how did Detective Breyer survive without so much as a minor burn? That is a result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. She... She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. Ah, oh, you're just like, yeah, it's just that. Have it out the truth. Ah, oh, yeah. Your mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa. No, she said she was Eve. But according, but according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body had been taken over by this... Eve. What's this Eve? Some kind of an alien? <laughs> yes, well, I mean, I guess, in a way. Um, people, please! She is very tired and we are still investigating. That will be all for today. Uh-oh, we pissed off the boss. The boss man is not happy with us. I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. That is not the point. Who's going to believe you? You only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only... Baker here. Who? What does he want? Well, put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Meet? You'll have to speak up. Yes. What? Yes. All right. Some Japanese scientist, I think. Couldn't understand his English too well. <laughs> He was raving about some Mito something. Says he's coming over here. Mito? Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing in the cell that makes energy from oxygen? Might have heard about that in school. That's what Eve had said. It's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I was reading that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking Aya to go talk to this researcher. Go. Better get there before the media. It may explain that phone call too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. Right, okay. Weird. All right, so we got... Japanese scientist phoning up the police department talking about them who seemingly know something about it. And there's a researcher at the museum public recently published some paper about the mitochondria. God, it's all happening, isn't it? Um I'll bring the car around. Meet me at the front. Alright, no worries, Daniel. So we're not gonna worry about that scientist at the minute. We're going to um 
head on over to uh, the museum and see the researcher. Yeah, the music is on point, Red Mage, isn't it? How did I never play this game as a kid? I don't... I don't know, I missed it. Flew under the radar, I guess. Here we go. So we could go back to Carnegie Hall, but I don't know that there's any need to. At the moment, at least. Uh, let's just head over to the museum. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. Hands clamp. Sorry. <laughs> Dr. Clamp. What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria something. But it's, it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd. To have a PhD and be working in the museum. Well... He's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great. We're going to have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel. Why'd you kiss the chief's butt? <laughs> you two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Kiss his butt. <laughs> Tee hee. American Museum of Natural History. Let's go. Get in there. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of um, story and like kind of um, dialogue to it. It's not just. There's obviously a lot of thought gone into it. Um, it's been a while since I've visited the museum. Yeah, you can have dinosaurs there. Excellent. Dinosaur exhibit. Loved these things when I was a kid. Hmm. Looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see what that security guard can do for us. Indeed. <laughs> Crunch of the snow. The fact they went to the effort. I right, respect it. Yeah, okay. There's nothing there over there, I don't think. Dragon King Slice Redemption. I think I've I think I've probably took took it out, Cage. So it's just like not on demand. Basically. I'm sorry if that's upset you. Um I just want it to be a bit more spontaneous. Like if I felt there's just a random reason to do it. If that made sense. Got you over nine thousand, Cage. But uh I don't know if maybe that doesn't do the same you know, hit the right spot, buddy. I don't know. Um It's gonna be um New redemption at some point in the, f the near future, um, but maybe not not before that. So I do apologise, sir, if you're missing it. Hey there, how you doing? Doing okay. Pretty cold day though. How about yourself? Well, with the NYPD, we're looking for Doctor Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. <laughs> sorry, sorry, fellas. I just felt it was, um... A little bit... 
like distracting like if we're in the middle of something i didn't like the whole let's just drop what we were currently doing to you know be uh performing circus seal you know <laughs> they, oh they're fun it's just the the vibe the vibe of it was a bit you know i do talk like a pirate randomly i do chat dragon king slice randomly but um sorry fellas I, you know i find something else for your points <laughs> yeah. um thank you it shouldn't take long apart from all the monsters that are gonna be in here we're gonna have to kill maybe place is pretty creepy i missed that right? you find him in the research lab on the second floor all right okay cool thank you mr security guard he's been pretty busy for the past few weeks doesn't come out ever thanks yeah <laughs> it's uh i'm sure i'm sure um uh, it's not that i don't want to do those things it's just that i didn't want to do those things like on demand if that makes sense um which i don't mind for the over nine thousand. that I'm, I'm quite happy with that but uh oh by the way did you sign in it's policy let's just keep track of who comes in thanks aya gee daniel you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself <laughs> notebooks on the counter thanks right okay no worries mate I can do that. Is that it? just my name? Yep. That should be enough. Unless you want to leave your number too. Uh, uh, <laughs> nah, I don't. I, th I don't think. Uh, Uh, no, no, uh, Cage. Yeah, no, you've, I think you've probably got more points on this channel uh, than any, anybody else, Cage. So I'll, I'll have to find something for, uh, if you something, think of something, uh, worthy for you to, uh, redeem them, you know, use them for. Um, no, I didn't, Cage. It was a pull up, pull off there. Um. Oh, then that's a remake. Oh, sorry. I just uh, mentioned the... Um, I never played the game. I never played Alone in the Dark. I heard it was pretty good, though. Um, the the original. I don't know about any of the spin-offs and remake... Not true remakes, but... You know, n name reboots. I think there's like an Alone in the Dark on the th Xbox 360. I don't know if it's any good. Um, just the movie with Christian Slater, which I could not sit through. The first 40 minutes of it may have been the worst movie i've ever seen um but no yeah so the, the are they doing the remake of it cage interesting cool if it plays anything like this or uh any other classic survival horror i'm sure it's gonna be very good um yeah i don't think she wants to leave her number for you buddy no offense telephone Excellent. Let's save our game. Yeah, just Cage. I know you're you're quite a movie buff, um, far more than I am. I could almost issue you uh, to you as a challenge for you to try and watch it and see how awful it is. But um, if you're ever in the mood for watching something that's specifically bad, just so you can rip on it, um, maybe maybe that's some, something you could do scotty um with what you what you do with joel and wonko where you rip into movies that could be a definitely a, a potential candidate i feel but yeah um something, something to consider now i assume we can't wander around the ground floor of the museum with the elevator no i think we just gotta head up these stairs now maybe we can come back down here and do stuff I just want to make sure there's nothing else on the desk here. Oh, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's head up the stairs after Daniel. Um, Olmeca Dark Rose. Hi there, Olmeca. How you doing there? 
my friend. Uh, welcome on in. I uh, hello to you. I assume you're a fan of this game, bud. Um, my God. If if you are and you're familiar with it, you can probably recognise where we are. We're very we we'll just start day two. We're very early on in the game, presumably. Uh, my first playthrough. We're freaking loving it so far. Uh, still trying to get the grips with it. Um, we shall see. Um, you do it, will you, Cage? Well, you let me know. I'm not. I, it. The thing, what Cage? Because you you've seen more movies than I have, and we've all seen a lot of movies. And you know, there's there's almost like um a pla You know, there's some degree of satisfaction in watching terrible movies because you can rag on them. You can be like, oh my god, I can't believe how awful this is. Um, but honestly, Alone in the Dark so bad that it's painful to watch it um unless that was just the first 40 minutes and it got really good after that point but check it check it out sometime cage like i said i'm not issuing it to you as a challenge but um if you're ever looking for something along that those lines check it out sir i'd, I'd be happy to hear what you say about it um um did ya Oh, Mecca. Good. Well, good on you, buddy. I, I, if I never did, uh, obviously, I, um, it, nobody I knew as a kid had the game or knew, we never even knew anything about it. It's only in later, uh, years where I heard the name and, um, yeah, it got added to the list. One of our producers, uh, voted for us to play it. So here we are. Um, only a little way into it. We're going to, um, got another solid four hours of this on today's stream and we'll be right back on it tomorrow so i mean i assume we're not going to complete it today i'm sure if you know the game you can speed run it quite quickly i'm a speed runner first playthrough plus i'm jibber jabbering in between and you know doing a you know a little bit of uh narration and stuff um but i assume the game is not that long so who knows we might complete it tomorrow i don't know we should see one of the most underrated games ever. This is what the fans tell me, Olmeco. Um, I can I can already tell you for the little bit we've seen with the story and the combat that I am extremely enjoying it, and I'm very excited to see what's coming up. Um, hmm. Excellent, K. Just don't blame me if it's too much for you, sir. Um from what i understand could be candidate for worst movie ever um hey aya over here all right daniel before i get over there i'm just gonna okay so that's the elevator more stairs going upstairs that are locked uh door we can't get through i've got some dinosaur bones Okay, can't really look at it. Oh, anyway. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Cool. All right, maybe Dr. Clamp is uh, through here. Excuse me. Hello? Hey. Dr. Clamp. Dr. Clamp. I hear you. He just doesn't want to respond. <laughs> um, well, old Mecca, let me tell you this, buddy. Although I didn't play this, I played a hell of a lot of Resident Evil and Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. So you've clearly got excellent taste, my friend. Um, yeah. Well, that's the thing. That could be funny. That's the thing. It, it would be absolutely painful, Cage, to... Um, sit down and watch it on your own with the thought of enjoying a movie you'd feel like your time got raped out of your life you'd be like what the freaking hell have i just subjected myself to but if we watch it on the conflux uh with a group of people knowing what we're getting into it could actually be quite a fun experience to roast the absolute living hell out of it um Maybe I actually thought about adding Metal Gear series to the list as well. As I do have a few of them. Um, 
God, yeah, old Mecca, you've you've got a uh, excellent taste, my friend. And, uh, yeah, so my my name's Isnib. Uh, yes, you can see that. You can call me Is. Everyone does. Um, I'm pretty dedicated to streaming. I do try and stream five days a week, Monday to Friday. Um, this is what we just started today. We're playing at the minute. You can, if you look down the panels, you see all the games we've covered over the past two years. Um, we, uh, I do have a preference for retro and uh, JRPGs. That's probably my bread and butter. Uh, but we do play everything. For example, we just literally finished doing a full playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. So there's modern games thrown in there. Um... But yeah, you're more than welcome to join us anytime, buddy. But no pressure either. Can I sit here? Bless you. Of course you can, buddy. I do appreciate that. And, and um, you know, although we're exploring the games, it's primarily about chat. So if there's anything you want to tell us about yourself, or if there's any questions you want to ask me, feel free. Uh, or if you want to hard look, whatever you want to do, my friend. You just enjoy your time here. Um, <laughs> uh, Red Mage is a fan. Uh, no, no, so, um, oh, Mecca, th this is, uh, on, uh, Retro Pie, uh, on an actual separate box, as opposed to, uh, a PS1 emulator on PC. Um, and of course, I, I own this, the original copy of this game, obviously, so there's no way I would emulate it without owning the physical copy. It's just packed away up in the attic. So if Square want to come over to my house and check, then I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, anyway, onwards. Um, with the NYPD, we'd like to ask you a few questions. E no. no. <laughs> Dr. Clamp gives precisely zero flying marks. Uh, <laughs> Professor... We're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? No, of course not. What? This again? What is this? Oh, it was Dr. Clamp. This man. I know him, I think. So he is actually involved. He's the one who put the mitochondria into Aya when she was a child. Was it experiment, I don't know. What's wrong? Are you okay, are you? Y yeah. We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since you mentioned mitochondria, we are hoping you could supply us with some info. Ah! <laughs> you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? Yeah, total dick, Ryan. I'm gonna slap him. Look at his stupid face. The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own... Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Did you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat. 
than the combustions from last night were. For a human to burn and melt, 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? Ha ha ha! You have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in essence, dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates 10 times faster than cells. Of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria mu multiply, energy production level decreases. The decrease in hu energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> uh, uh. But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria could mutate 10 times faster than normal cells, I also meant that they could evolve at a rate 10 times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. God, you're telling us a lot, bro. <laughs> There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria, and it may have been me. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name. Just incredible. Eve. The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve. Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. Daniel. Forget it, let's just go. God damn it. Right, yeah, I mean, weird, okay. Got some kind of weird insight there, though. Right, okay, so we're just leaving the museum, eh? We can go back to Carnegie Hall, but... 
I guess we report back to Baker first. Hmm. Indeed. Indeed, Olmeco. Um. <laughs> it's Dojo. <laughs> Indeed, Red Mage. Uh. Okay, she's not very helpful, but, um. Weird. Let me move inside. Let's go back to the, uh. Police precinct first. Oh, Red Mage. Yeah, I can only imagine. Look at that. That's probably blew your mind as well. What the hell is wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. Yeah. Uh, so it seems that... It seems like Dr. Clamp may be the scientist who maybe messed around with Aya's uh, mitochondria when she was a child. And why she's not susceptible to Eve's spontaneous combustion. Mm. That man... I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. Aya, so we've got to break in the case. What? We've got to get back to the station, Aya. Hang on. I'm kicking this into turbo. <laughs> Kick it into turbo, Daniel. Kick it into turbo. <laughs> yeah, mitochondria powered turbo. It sounds like it's over 9,000 as well. Well, I guess we're going to straight upstairs, see Baker. Yo, Kathy, how you doing? The whole place is going nuts. I wonder what's happened. Oh, what's, uh, what's Daniel doing down there? Let's go see Daniel instead. Oh, sorry, I missed what you said there. Let's, let's go, folks, maybe. We're starting the meeting. Oh, right. Okay, we're having a meeting. In the conference room. <laughs> oh. Yeah, what's going on, boss? I'll tell you what. The, um... Like, the character models... And the, the kind of the animations, they remind me a lot of Final Fantasy VIII, actually. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident, and the concert was cancelled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. In case Eve is, were to turn up there, obviously. The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park! What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine. They're at that concert. What? Daniel! Oh, Screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. Daniel. Aya. Yeah, okay. So we'll go ahead over there to keep an eye on things. Watch his back. Yes, sir. Oh, mod permit. God damn. All right. I guess we better use that, right? Yeah, I guess, uh, who knows, maybe we're going to get much better, um, much better guns at the minute, but this M16, I feel we should, uh, just double down. I'll get the vibe that you can't really, like, go wrong. It's not like, oh, you, d you didn't save that upgrade for the later gun, and now you can't complete the game, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? So, um. I don't know, uh, Olmeca. Um, I've uh, I'm playing this on a uh, Retro Pi, so it's like on a separate box. Uh, just running through my capture card. Um, I don't know. I do. I was directed towards the PS2 emulator. Um, because unfortunately, the uh, Retro Pi doesn't have PS2 games. 
Um, and uh, the PS2 emulator seems to work very well on my PC. I've not had any issues with it. That being said, we've only played uh, one game on it, and that was directly from the disc. So, um, but yeah, I bet you do, silly mate. But yeah, I'm, I'm not fully up on it, but um, if you if you have a little look, Olmeca, I'm sure there are emulators out there. And maybe it's the same emulator, it's just what's it called? Uh PCSX two. So I guess there's a PCSX one or just PCSX. Uh which is uh the PlayStation emulator. I think emula when I was looking at emulators, this was like twenty years ago. Um I think they've got come a long way by now. So I'd have a little look. Yeah. But um if you can't if you have trouble figuring it out, I'll make I'm sure we can uh even if I can't help you, we can find someone who can help with that. Um so yeah, just have a little look. Do you red mage, my god. Well that's the thing, I'll um It'd only be more modern games Sleep Me Cod need, do you know what I mean? So, um, the number of games I've got on here is pretty ridiculous. Like I say, it goes on to PS1, uh, Dreamcast, um, DS and PSP. I think I've even got PSP games. Um, so it's, um, It doesn't have everything, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, if if we come across something, Slick Mick, that's a little bit more awkward out of the way. Like for example, I don't even do they even have GameCube emulators now. One game would be um another Zelda game that we've yet to cover. That's probably the one I would most like to get to. Would be um Wind Waker. Um, but I don't I have no means to actually play that at the minute. Um. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, NES, SNES, and N64. I've already got all those covered, Slick Mick. So. Ah, I'll make a. Yeah, talk about old school, buddy. So I never played uh, WoW myself or EverQuest. That's even more. That's even more old school. Um, but uh, I understand the appeal. I. Uh, Back in the day, I got sucked into Final Fantasy XI. That was uh, what I went for. Um, yeah, Red Mage, that's like that's out of bullshit. If you, I, I'm not against a digital version of a game, but you have to own it independently of a, a, a you know a company server or the internet at all. Do you see what I'm saying? Then you, if you don't have that then you don't own it but anyway onwards um when are you gonna let me tune up the guns i didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day you know as long as you see guns as toys you'll never touch them hey i know i can make a stronger gun than you guns aren't supposed to be stronger you numbskull uh it's supposed to be safer Fine, you geezer. <laughs> oh, these two. Um, yeah, oh my God. I wonder how much further we go before you just don't get physical at all. I assume you still get physical discs on PS5, don't you? But like, like PC games, it's all just on Steam, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, what's going on here, folks? You're right, Wayne. Man, I could do so much better. I could turn that gun into a cannon easy. You want to leave something here? Um, I don't I think we do. No, we're all good on items. Oh, more bullets hanging around. Cool. Sorry, I uh, didn't mean to make a scene. That goes for you too. You can never be too careful with a gun. You have an equipment modification permit with you. We do. 
Which gun? I guess it's going to have to be the uh, M16 again, right? All right, just wait here. You know what, Olmeca? Yeah, I'm not um, clued in. I, I mean, I did study this back in college, like, over 20 years ago. Uh, like, the hardware of PCs. I wouldn't have the comfort level to, like, upgrade a PC. I, I, know, I technically know, like, what part is, which each part is, but I'm just a bit nervous about the whole thing. But I will say this, buddy. Uh, for not much more than a PS5, you can get a decent gaming PC, and it will serve you, in my opinion, now far better than a PS5 will. Now, we play a lot of stuff on console on this channel. Uh, we do do some games on PC, but um, the flexibility of a decent rig to PC is, I mean, I understand, I appreciate the simplicity of consoles, and that's why we mostly play on them, but having a decent pc um you can't you can't go wrong um interesting slick mix so if we if you can i will definitely just add that to the list straight away um oh chotos you are the xbox series x is broken bro what the fuck what the fuck I'd send that back to him, bro, and be like, yo, can you give me some fucking fixes or give me some fucking money back? Um, yeah, it's a problem, Red Mage, isn't it? Yeah, I'll mecha. I understand the technical process of it. I'm just like super nervous of breaking stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, f yeah. Feel free, Slick Mick. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, PS4 though. God, that's um. If I had a PS4, I bet there's loads of PS4 exclusives of that would be right on my alley. You know, it's all those like lovely JRPGs that just fly, fly mostly under the radar that I would love to. Yeah, the PlayStation exclusive, but you know, we'll so yeah, if um Show Toast and Olmeca, uh anyone else is new is it? Yeah, so I'm like I went the Xbox route, not because I believe Xbox is superior to PlayStation, because it's probably mostly not. Uh <laughs> it, that's just the way it worked out. I was gifted a three sixty and then it just went from there. Um the, the Xbox and PlayStation are comparable to me. Yes, maybe PlayStation has better exclusives. Maybe Xbox has a better uh, online subscription service in Game Pass. I, I ain't, I ain't playing no, and I ain't, yeah, you know, no PC master race. Video games are to be enjoyed by everyone, you know. And that's not Ryan. Yeah, Bloodborne. I'm a massive fan of the Dark Souls trilogy. Um, looking forward to playing. Um, um, freaking what's it called? Um. Elden Ring at some point. Uh, but unfortunately, I never played Bloodborne. I'd dearly love to. I mean, you're going to no PS4. But uh, one day, folks, one day, I'm sure. Uh... Yeah, Old Mecca, that's weird, isn't it? If they've got like, a, a digital version on the PS3, you'd hope they'd have it on the PS4. I don't know. PlayStation could be a bit weird like that. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, Sleep Mick. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm not good at the Souls games, old Mecca, but I'm I'm like good enough to get through them, mostly. Um, and I have I've played and completed the Dark Souls trilogy like several times. Um, so I reckon I could, if I had Bloodborne, I could get through it. But yeah, it wouldn't be a pretty. You would not be seeing like game of good action. I mean, would not be seeing elite gameplay if I. <laughs> where to ever stream it <laughs> but I'd, I'd immensely enjoy it um yeah just removing the the store altogether it's kind of bullshit isn't it um it's weird anyway 
But just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right. We can, yeah, we'll, okay, we'll do that. Uh, bless him. Um, so yeah, we just got basically extra slots on the, uh, on our M16. Anyway, we want to, uh, head out, don't we? Oh, hang on. Can we just get free ammo here every time we come through? And medicine. Seems like it. Okay, we want to store extra medicine. So with, although we've not used them yet, with um, Aya's like uh, parasite energy abilities. So she's got um, slow and scan and a heal for, you know, uh, two thirds of one medicine. Um, I think you're better off saving your points for the slow debuff and the scan. I think that makes far more sense. So maybe on the next boss we get to actually use those. But anyway, right, we've got to head over to um, the Central Park now. Let's go. So yeah, I think if you still have them on your console, Olmeca, you still have them. But if you delete them off your hard drive on your on your console, then you can't re-download them. I think that, I guess that's what Red Mage is getting at. Yay! Slight of game. Here's a good idea. Use the lose the full space, bud. Uh, you, you certainly don't have to get tattoos. I need to get more tattoos. That's a, that's a thing, uh, Slight. If you have tattoos, you just need to get more. If you don't, you don't need to worry about it. Um, yeah, I thought so. Look at the freaking cutscene. I do doing, Slight? Are you alright, bro? These are stonkingly good PS1 graphics right now. Uh, truly. Oh, well, I'm a bit of a graphical glitch there. That's fine. What the hell does Melissa, uh, no, Eve, want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. To burn them. <laughs> Damn! That thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. <laughs> it's not personal, Daniel. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. Yeah, hell yeah, bud. It's uh, it's a hot. I guess it's a horror game. There's monsters and mi mysterious things. I wouldn't call it. It's definitely not spooky. I don't think it's spooky. I'm running around New York City, so. I feel the map. This is like. It's like stunking good. Um. Good choice, old Mecca. Yeah. Why not? Sethroth, iconic character. Hard not to like him. God, I'll get my back finished one day. That's my day. <laughs> ben! Happy birthday! That's right. Oh, that's not appropriate. Um, yeah, my God. Yeah, that would... Um, I haven't played the uh, the first one, uh, Ryan, but I've played uh, at, uh, Madness Returned. That would it's ripe for it. Get on it, buddy. Um, if you, I'll help you track down an artist if you need. Um, Blood Sin from Vagrant Story. There you go. That's that's Red Mage demonstrating his Vagrant Story love there. Tattoo Legion Cage is like what? <laughs> Um, oh my god. I don't want to think about it. Be a bit of bit of a reunion going on, I expect. Daniel, stop! I gotta get my boy, rookie! Uh, whoa! 
get you, you're not gonna get your boy if you burn alive. Sometimes you got to look before you leap, old timer. <laughs> I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Yeah. So again, this is uh, adding into the area of effect theory. It's literally as soon as he tried to step through that threshold there, his hand caught on fire. Then he backed off and he was all right. Interesting. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Damn it. I can't do anything. Leave it to me. Well, but... But... I'll get them out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. All right. I'm carrying on you, Aya. I know. Right, okay, well. Uh, are we... Yeah, we're equipped. I just want to make sure we've... <laughs> got our stuff uh, sorted out. Uh, oh my god, okay. There's gonna, clearly going to be fights now. Yeah, someone just said a minute ago that the uh, the combat... Yeah, it was uh, Phoenix said the combat in this is pretty much identical to Vagrant Story. You have a full guide walking you through. That's fair enough. Yeah, I'll make a turn-based combat. is not for... It takes me out in many forms, doesn't it? It's not for everyone. But we... I'm definitely a fan, and we definitely do love it here. On this channel. Um... Aya! Benz! Don't worry, I'll find him. I won't come back until I do. What if he's... Very optimistic. What if he's already... Post... I'm saying. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I thought I got a little stuck there. Okay. Um. Well, here we go. We're heading in. What's everyone else as well? Oh. Hey, I save progress. I'll do a safe state as well, just in case of uh, unforeseen consequences. There we go. Okay, well, I'm not seeing anybody at the minute. Monsters, though. <gasps> Here we go. Oh, what is that? Some kind of snack. Oh, multiple snacks. Oh, no. Been ganged up on here. Oh, we've been poisoned, have we? Okay, well, our new gun is fantastic. Are we still poisoned? That's the question. Doesn't look like it. So it seems like the poison only exists over the course of uh, of the battle you're in. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, Ryan's playing out at the minute. Oh, Marco. Uh, okay, do you think the pistols are better? I just, uh, I just went with what seemed to be the better gun, like stats-wise, but I don't know. Took a minute to like pull it up, maybe. I don't know. I right, head into the zoo. Oh, okay. An another new gun. Interesting.
Oh my god. Burbs. Seems uh, a little slower to attack. The damage is significantly better. Oh, level up. Nice. Excellent. Oh, stat increases. Junk. Right, so this is the items that I've got to collect. Right, Ryan. That I'll give to uh, Wayne. No, so there's various places we can go. More ammo, nice. Okay, let's have a look. Um, this direction. I'm not seeing any. Okay, it's concerning that we're not seeing any people around, but it's good that we're not seeing charred corpses either. A door there. Not one that I can seemingly get through. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, we're going to use um, heal ability there. Okay, that rinses it. Right, okay, so I wonder if that recharges on its own over time. Oh, is that medicine level two? Or yes, okay. 90 hit points. Okay, nice. Very nice. Um, right, okay. Fair enough, Ryan. So, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely save other stuff. Oh, yeah, I need to... Get in the habit of uh, reloading, don't I? I'm silly me. So just running around there, it didn't come back at all, so... Two hundred junk, my god. That's quite a lot, isn't it? No, one percent of the way there. <laughs> a little bit. I don't say stupid. Cool. Hey, level up. Nice. Right, got you. So we're already at four junk, but obviously each piece of junk takes up one inventory slot, doesn't it? So you could easily... <sighs> I 
easily get yourself in a situation where you got far you just run out of stuff right so there's a gate there well that might be the uh i don't know let me try down this way first Okay, it started to uh, come back slowly. Ah, detox. We've learned. Okay, that's subtle. It just kind of appears out of nowhere like that. Nice. More ammo. Oh, what's that thing? Kind of disturbing. Oh my god. What was that? Okay, let me nip the birds in the bud. There we go. That's a freaky thing. Oh, ow! Right, oh my god, I better... Uh, watch my freaking hit points right about now. get behind the, the bastard okay cool my god all right i've got to watch out for those oh right yeah the game's starting to get a little bit tougher now just testing me a little bit right i've got to be careful folks basically Okay, and that brings us back over here. Okay. Need the key. Okay. Need the key to get in there. Seems like it might be, but it's not uh not letting me use it. Oh. Okay, yeah, so I had to just get in the area first. I might use a different slot just in case uh I could have uh, done this a bit better. I don't know. I think we'll be fine. Light and very durable armor. Okay. We uh, have a look on the other side there. I think so. Let's have a look. Damn. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, Mecca. I, I love that, buddy. That's what I want this stream to be. It's like people getting inspired to, to do stuff. Uh, we played Red Dead. Um, one of our producers, Jack, he was like, you know, I'm going to play this game for like the fourth time. I was like, you can get on it, bud. <laughs> I respect it. Um, inventory, isn't it? Just to reload. Eve was here. Yeah, indeed. No doubt. That's good. Consider we've. That's the first uh, 
That's the first dead body we've found. I don't think there's anything else in here. It's essentially just that armor. So that was uh, well worth it. Yeah, Red Mage, it'd be pretty amazing, wouldn't it? I'm sure. I right, can't go that way. Okay, let's head down this way. I think this is get linking back up to where we start, maybe. Yeah, this is where we entered the area. Oh, that door's locked. Just need to backtrack a little bit, I feel. So I guess that's where we got ahead. We just got to find a key to get in there. Right, let's try this way. Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to go for the big boy first, I think. Ugh. Oh, unfortunate. I don't... It's so difficult to... Uh, avoid his uh, attack there. Oh, for me, it is anyway. Yeah, these birds, if you keep moving... That seems to be too much of an issue. Nice. Level up. Excellent. Alright, still got space for this. At the moment. <laughs> okay, so it does seem like you are... Uh Your uh, P energy comes back uh, fairly quickly, relatively speaking. Right, almost at capacity now. Right, I don't know if we went down this way. Okay, yeah, I think we've been, we've come from here, haven't we? Oh, what have we got here? Nothing that looks good. Oh, okay, I'll see. Oh, we're poisoned now. Oh my god. Oh my god, I better be careful. Oh, oh damn, we're about to die. We are, we're dead. Oh shit. Oh, the revive got used. That's a pain in the ass. And not desired at all. Fuck! Okay, that's not a thing that I wanted to happen. I'm not going to undo it, though. I'm just going to accept it, I feel. Bowls. It went in on Jill. <laughs> oh. The correct answer is Lulu. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm kind of a Lulu fan. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I I don't discriminate. You know, I'm just. I, uh, I'm not in position to take sides. Let's put it that way. Ugh, okay, this is, um, not ideal, is it? I'm going to use that medicine. That looks like a door. I guess maybe it's not. 
Now, did I, um... I think I already went down this way, didn't I? Yeah. Right, okay. I think it's up here that I didn't go. Well, actually, having said that, we have been this way. Okay. That, that's where we haven't been yet. This gate right here. Need a key. Okay. <laughs> so we've got two doors that are locked. We need keys for. Okay. That brings us back here. That's where this boomerang fellow again. Blech. Awful. No, so yeah, if you manage to crit. You can uh, take those big boys out. In one uh, turn. Cool, another level up. Oh, Parasite Powers of Evolved. Heal is now level 2. Ooh. Fancy. Although we are probably, uh... Our uh, item capacity. Ooh, yeah. It's, uh... I might start chucking some junk away, unfortunately. really what I want to do, but... Um... Sorry, didn't like Final Fantasy VIII on Mecha. Yeah, a lot of people don't. A lot of people uh, have difficulty getting on with it. Uh, we really enjoyed it. I really enjoy it. The story gets ridiculous, though, by the time we get to the end. It's like... I can't... You can't get to the point where you can't even take it seriously. Um... But overall, it's a good game. Um, oh, nine. Yeah, yeah. You did like nine, though. All the other way around. Um, nine is wonderful, and ten is wonderful, and I like ten too as well. A lot of people don't, though. For various reasons, I don't. I feel that's definitely a door. Or an entrance, but it's just... I'm not getting anything out of it. Now I feel like we're just going around in circles. Oh no, I got you. Yeah, you love Final Fantasy VIII, but you don't. You're not a fan of Final Fantasy IX. That's um, Olmeca. Um, yeah, it's usually a controversial opinion. Many, many people I've met say that nine is their favourite. It's not mine, but my God, it's. I really, really like it. But I feel for a lot of people, it's just like the the setting. Maybe they're, they're not vibing with it's very different from 7 and 8 right, are you from uh, a bit of an idiot here folks or uh, I'm feeling like we've uh, run out of places to go junk can i leave and turn that junk in no probably i guess i can't because we're like we're trying to save ben uh <laughs> oh we can uh upgrade item capacity though with our uh, 
bonus points. Hmm. Uh, Gapple back. Can I sit here? Of course you can sit here. Thank you for the follow there, my friend. Welcome on in. My name's Isnib. You can call me Is. Everyone does. Uh, I'll figure out where we're supposed to be going in a minute. Yeah, bless you, Ryan. Yeah. So I, th I feel that this game rules. So, uh, Gapple, I've um, I've, this is my first time playing it. I know essentially nothing about it. I've been playing it a couple of hours, uh, but it was chosen by my friend Ryan there to uh, for us to cover on the channel. And yeah, it's really rather freaking good, isn't it? I can't believe I never played it back in the day. Definitely enjoying it. So what if I, I feel like I must have missed something, folks. Feel free to tell me, Ryan. So I found two locked doors, which we need keys for, and a, uh, a what appears to be a door to me, but I can't click on it for shizzle. So I don't know if it's just me being a, a bit weird. Oh, we can move this, can we? This gurney here. Just gonna get in the right position. I'll just walk into it. Oh, there we go. Hang on. I oh, know she's uh, just looking at that dead guy. Oh, it's um. Again, I'm being an idiot or something. <laughs> the other, the other end. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh my god, that's my only criticism of this game so far. Sometimes you have to be in a, like a pit, maybe not pixel perfect, but close to pixel perfect position to do something. Excellent, thank you, thank you, Ryan. Bless you for being here, buddy. Um. Nah, I need a key for that cabinet. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, one step forward, eh? One step back. Um, yeah, super finicky, Gapple. That's that's the impression I'm getting so far, buddy. Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful game, but um, there's nothing there. I need a key. So now we've found three things that we need keys for. So what that suggests to me, folks, is um, maybe that door that I, I thought was a door and I couldn't seem to click. Maybe I've just got to be in the, the exact spot to click on it. I just want to, I just want to try out. No, not that door. That's the one. Okay, I don't think we can go down this way, can we? Let's do a little heal. And yeah, we're going to get into fight in a second. Oh, two of these motherfuckers. Oh, okay. Just. Oh, my God. I hurt these lads a lot. I don't know how you easily uh, avoid them either. There we go. Two shot them though, both, which is pretty cool. It's quite tense fighting those. There we go. Okay, as long as it's not just me, Gapple, but 
God, these guys will know that sometimes I uh, I can't see the forest for the trees. You know. <laughs> yeah, schlong monsters. Is that, <laughs> is that what you call them, uh, Red Mage? Yeah, just like yeah. Oh my God, these fucking things. Ow. Okay. Let's go watch out for the gas, and you've got to watch out for freaking tentacles like that. There we go. Yeah, if you get those crits, I don't know why. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, this definitely looks like a freaking door, right, folks? It's, uh... Definitely does look like a door. Um... Okay, that's cool. That's cool, Red Mage. I appreciate it. Um... And isn't it, Gapple? Yeah. It really is. Um, I'm wasting my time here, fellas. I feel this is... Uh, it's got to be a door, right? I'm just... I'm stood in the exact right spot. I don't know. Um... Or not. And that way is down to where the lion statues are. In a roundabout way. Let me check back this way. It sort us of over this way. Nothing. Okay, so that's a dead end there. What about down this way? Did I... I must have gone this way, right? Yeah, that brings us back here. Which is like the beginning of the whole area. Oh my god, old Becca. Yeah, that's, um... That's, uh... That's not fun. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, I don't know. It's not going to be... Tentacles again. <laughs> oh god. No... Oh, I've been freaking poisoned. I need to um probably get rid of that. You know what I'm saying? Problem is, um kinda get boxed in a little bit in this little area. Moving around these things. I don't know how I avoided that. Never mind though. There we go. My God. Get decent XP. We are getting decent XP from them. They're very, uh, very dangerous, though. <sighs> right. And it does seem that your pee energy does kind of... Uh, it does replenish itself after a little bit. Gradually, slowly. We have not shot the ghost child yet. No, Seven. Um, <laughs> evil piles of shizzle. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. They're about as pleasant. The slick Mick. Yeah, if anybody knows, feel free to tell me right now. I feel like this is a door, but the game is just not letting me have it. Yeah, Penergy. It's like Denergy. 
for more uh, technical term. Uh, <laughs> nice. Let's, um, let's have a look around. Maybe we'd go down there. And fall down there. No. Down there. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? Uh, uh. Okay, nothing beyond that lion statue, as far as I can tell. the bird first yeah so one thing i'll say is it's not like um a typical uh jrpg where the enemies have their turn and they are definitely attacking you the enemies in this some of them kind of like wander around a little bit as you saw there they don't always attack you there we go level up nice i've got another bonus point to spend Yeah, and it seems to come back quite quickly, which is uh, not a uh, not a bad thing. All right, so yeah, we know we can't get up there because we need a key. Um, that's the um, that's the only problem with this is like uh, beautifully rendered backgrounds is that. You uh, you can never, it's never, it's, you can, can never quite tell where you can go and where you cannot go. It can be a bit of a problem. <laughs> Is that right? I'll make a yeah, X's a, a. Go on, what they like. Right, so I'm just going around in a circle up here, aren't I? Liz? All right there, Liz. How you doing, my dear? How on earth are you doing? Are you well? How's Jamie? What's going on? How's your nana? Seven, my God. Uh, yeah. Take a break, my oh dear. Oh, God. The, sh the schlong dudes. Ow! Ow! Nice. Alright, let's reload the gun. Legion Cage. I'm looking forward to it, buddy. And it's Sunday we're doing. I couldn't not remember. I think more people are available Sunday. Um. No, yeah, you, you do it, Olmeca. We're. Pl I'm planning to go for a little over another two and a half hours. Finish at nine my time, uh, which is uh, four p.m. Eastern. Um. That's the plan. It's definitely not a door red mage. <laughs> um, you're working weekends at the minute, I Liz. My God. 
But yeah, no, as long as you are out there kicking ass, I'm glad everyone's doing well, Liz. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, Seven, I'm trying. Um, geez. Yeah, old Mecca, yeah. So, <laughs> but that's the thing, even uh, if we don't have too much longer today, I will definitely be back tomorrow. I'm not just not finding the key, I'm just like supposed to be looking in these trash cans and things. Fair, we um you know, I fully looked around out here. Moving to Alaska. But, uh, I hear Texas is awesome, though. Um, but, the, yeah, of course, the heat. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. Um, um, Everett, 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 uh, can recommend stuff. Um, what do you what do you want recommended? I will certainly try and recommend things. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, but I've I've also heard Alaska is awesome. Uh, the seven. So it's like you know, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh my god, all the snacks. Cheese the weeds. Ow. So considerate for snacks to uh carry uh bullets and medicine isn't it what's my opinion on communism wow that's <laughs> Everett not not putting any punches there buddy uh... <laughs> um, but you know important asking important questions um, I admire the spirit of con communism I just feel it's not as Seven says there, it's not... It's, that's, a, that's a very good way of putting it, Seven. It's humanly impossible. Because it uh, requires... Uh, it would require... Would, to, to be successful, it would require... Us to step out of our humanity. Human beings are flawed. Communism, to, for it to be successful, requires us to not be flawed. Yet we are. Therefore, it's not going to work. Um, so, you know... In a nutshell, um, that is <laughs> that is my uh, opinion. Um, <laughs> we got money. Money uh, is not the root of all evil, but uh, it's understandable, you know, why people. It's um, it's a control mechanism though, which is not necessarily uh, a good thing but it's what it is anyway i was uh re sorry i was reloading my gun or something there we go um so i'm backtracking now and i don't know that i didn't can i sit here i didn't just uh ever <laughs> there you go uh so coming out with that i assume you either have strong opinions one way or another um and that was that's kind of like your litmus test there <laughs> that's the thing i um I do have a lot of opinions on everything. 
you only ever gonna get truth here even if it's not the popular opinion i'll tell you that um excellent well thank you everett i appreciate that i will i will say there's a lot of um it feels like there's a lot of people around in 2022 in the western world who at least from the outside seem to not either just choose not to or find it difficult to think for themselves and be critical thinkers there's a lot of people who i feel they hear uh, somebody else's opinion and then they just choose to subscribe to it or they hear a political opinion or you know they just get on a bandwagon you know that's definitely the worst thing you could possibly do you have to decide for yourself with your own life experience and your own your own evidence of your senses what is correct always understanding there is no definitive ultimate truth that we can grasp uh and and compassion be compassionate i'm totally against people who say oh the, i'm on this team and the other team's scum you're like nah you're an individual the minute you start subscribing to a team you've lost your individuality haven't you don't do that anyway but yes thank you for the follow uh everett i appreciate that <laughs> um <laughs> she makes you wear thongs i mean you know the things you do for love uh i'll make her uh <laughs> <laughs> And and that's fair and the bots are getting uh, a little bit smarter, aren't they? They're not just trying to sell big follows now. I don't know, folks. I don't know. I guess we'll save. We did lose our revive, but we have um, killed a bunch of stuff and leveled up a couple times. Akuma! Because we are Legion. <laughs> some people... Some people... Desire that, Akuma. 88 people said Mario was not thick. And 112 said he was. Um... I guess he's... I guess Mario's not thick in the way that I think of what i think of when i think of the the word thick um but i suppose you're not skinny lad either is mario is he, he like he eats that pasta well doesn't he uh right okay he's dead uh what's going on here warner's turned up they went up in flames what's going on in there Harry rushed in there without listening to Daniel and... and that's what's left of him. Ah, yeah, Ben's. Don't worry, I'll find him. I won't come back until I do. Except we did. We did come back. We did come back until we did. Right, I, I think I'm supposed to be here. Oh. Oh, hang on. Oh, we can travel back i assume this is going to break the game right i collide to uh daniel let's go turn some junk in i guess that's a good point he does i guess he does doesn't he he's certainly not overweight That's Wikipedia's definition of this limit. <laughs> yeah, it's hard not to like Mario. No, I don't know him personally. Yeah, I don't. I don't know Gapple. I. Uh, I feel it's. I feel on some level it's just kind of like two different. Um, words for the same thing 
but I think you could have somebody who's thick without being pudgy. Like you see some girls, and I'm saying I'm looking for anything like this of the sort. Uh, you know, they have um really chonky thighs, and it's not because they've been eating a lot of cake. It's because they've been doing a crazy amount of squats, and they got that you know they got that thick booty, and it's because again they're they're not overweight. They've just been working out like in in some craziness uh and that's like um the, you know kind of a popular look nowadays a lot, a lot of people are into it i'm not against it i don't have any i'm not specifically into it either um so yeah you can definitely be th i don't know i don't know slim thick yeah red mage he's all over it uh Yeah, both, yeah, they're both kind of, they're all from the shorter side, though. Let's stick, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's, it is, isn't it, Gapple? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I certainly don't, I certainly don't judge. But uh, obviously, you know, I feel that the term thick has positive connotations and pudgy. Well, I guess it's not negative, but it's it's not positive either. Um, inventory's full. No, I don't need to exchange anything. That's giving us medicine. Anyway, so, um... I do discard junk, right? Let me take your junk. It's actually really good for parts. All right. I'm going to count. We're just going to keep giving it to them, I guess. I guess each one of those noises is... So you need to give him 200 to get the ultimate weapon. I'm not too concerned, but... Uh, let's uh, stash these medicines. Did I use that one by accident? I think I'll use one. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, uh, can we store the club? Yeah, we can. He said hang on to it, but... No, it won't let us. Okay, okay, that's fine. We'll store our other armor, though. Um, The handgun. I feel like I'm probably not going to need it. Now, handgun's actually better because they like fire a little bit quicker. Is that the idea? Even though the rifle clearly does more damage. You know, I'll... Uh... I'll uh, store it for now, but we'll we'll see how we go. Okay, we've cleared out the inventory a little bit. Yeah, Everett, that's true, isn't it? Nobody think thinks that big fat dudes are sexy, do they? Typically. Six levels of fat seven. I do not know this. No, I do not watch TV. Big, healthy, husky, fluffy. <laughs> um, yeah. Fluffy. I've never <laughs> I've heard the, the term fluffy. Um, you proud owner of your dad bod. Uh, sleep me. Me too. I guess I can't claim to have a dad bod because I'm not a dad. But, uh, you know. I'm trying to get back on it again. I actually had a decent, a fairly decent workout the other day, but I'm down to Saturdays now. That's all I can manage. The key's not going to be outside of Central Park, is it? We've got to get back here. <laughs> Gabriel Inglacius. Is that, uh... Is that right, Af? Yeah, don't know about these things. Uh, what are we going to do, Seven? Here we go. Uh, that's about that save point, basically. I'll, um... I don't mind doing another little, uh... One of these. Right, yeah. If anyone knows where any of these keys are, or what I should be looking for... 
Oh, we can run straight across here, can we? That's kind of cool. Oh my god. Oh, I think you can see that case there. Medicine, though. Thank you. It seems like the random encounters are always in like the same locations as well. Wow, little snake. And lots of big snakes. My god. I think it's the big ones that are more of a concern. They can uh, poison you like it has. Try and kill him first. The poison's not that strong. Ugh. I say as I constantly take terrible amounts of damage. Let's get back in here, see if we can figure this out with fresh eyes. Yeah, Everett, do you know what I mean? That's the thing, you have to take care of real life first. It's tricky, but doing a little bit of uh, something occasionally. Like I say, I'm down to once a week, which for me, I feel like twice a week would be better. Um, but yeah, at least just stuff like, you know, going for a walk or, you know... In fresh air. Oh, hang on. Oh, a case I didn't see. <laughs> I was like, hang on. I found something exciting. Nope. I'm not no. You know, medicine is good. Uh, Faithu. Oh, right there, Faye. <laughs> um, yes. Well, thank you. Thank you for dropping that lurk, Faye. I do appreciate it, my dear. I hope you're well. I expect you are uh, working, aren't you? Um, yeah, we are. We are. It's um, it's uh. I understand the love of the game. I'm uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. It's, it's fairly like simple and uh, excellent. Red Mage, thank you for the look. Um, get an allergy shot, sorry, Everett. Yeah, don't let don't push yourself. Ah, uh, very nice, half. There you go, a four-mile bike ride. That is that's perfect. That's it. That's all you need. That is infinitely better than, you know, doing nothing. But I'm not It's a judge. I'm just concerned about people's well-being. All right, a couple of burbs. Ow. Peck to the face. Okay. And done. More junk. Seen that's sort of very obvious. I mean, I like to be an optimist, Everett, but I understand why we'd you would say that. Um, uh, good for you, so politely. It takes no practice, Seven. It doesn't take any practice when you mean it. Uh, <laughs> oh. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. In this life, you've got to save yourself. Uh, but there's things you can do, uh, you know, to encourage others. It doesn't really take too much effort. And so I'll try and do as much of that as I can. Right, this is weird-ass door that's not a door. It's definitely not a door. Red Mage says it's not a door. It looks like a freaking door, doesn't it? This game. <laughs> hmm. Right, okay, we can't go that way, so that is essentially a dead end there. Definitely looks like a door.
Everett, I'll, I'll say this, buddy. If nothing else, it'd be uh, it'd be interesting. All right, got some snacks. Nice. Cool. Actually killed some snacks without uh taking any damage, huh? And level up. Nice. Give me those stats. Oh. What the hell am I getting here? Cures and prevents poison. Okay, nice. That's cool. If you're in like a boss fight that's using poison, that could be handy. Um and we learned a new power, apparently. Barrier. Ah, okay. Use your uh, P energy to uh, absorb uh, damage, eh? to figure this out I guess we <laughs> I'm kind of like grinding levels without even really meaning to I'm just trying to just trying to get through the game <laughs> so I guess uh, maybe that will help us out as we uh, progress Yeah, Seven's just a little uh, way north of here, uh, Everett. Yeah, I've got I've got friends in California as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're all fooked. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of one consolation is we're all we're all gonna, you know, we're all <laughs> none of us are ever gonna have a good time of it. Might be worse for some others, but. Need the key, yeah. That's us, we need the key. What's the key, folks? We don't know yet. Right, that brings us here. I got some strong guys. Yeah, a strong guy and some burbs. takes you right back to the beginning which i think that's probably where we want to be actually <laughs> um takes us there to the door that's not a door and there's no reason for us to be there Back at the uh, beginning. Okay. All I can imagine is I must have missed something in that room with the, with the bed. Oh, moved out of the way. Right. We need the key for there. We've got a gate with the key. That door with the key. And then the cabinet in here that needs a key. 
I think I've been around the whole bloody area now. So maybe I'm just not... There's a key in here as well. And I've just not clicked in exactly the right spot yet. Yeah, that's... <laughs> this game is fantastic. That's my only criticism. Needing to be in the exact place at the exact right time. There we go. Found a zoo key. Now, is it for that? It is. Oh, wow. M203. Now, is it also for something else? Because that's just... This is the same key for everywhere. Let's have a look at this. Um... So what is that upgrade? Is uh, it's a grenade? Oh, it's a freaking grenade launcher. Why well, does less damage though? But it still uses the same bullets. I feel like um. I feel like that should be more powerful, but um. Um, yeah, Everett, yeah, it's, I mean, it's got various monsters and things, like, those, I guess you've just seen us fight those birds there. Explosive rounds. Now, can you hurt yourself with it, Ryan? Or more important, well, not more important, that's more important. Can you hit multiple enemies? It's got area of effect. That's why it's technically superior. Um, Vampire Masquerade. Yeah, the name rings a bell, Everett. Yeah, the name rings a bell. I don't know anything about it, though. I don't know if I should be, uh... Should we give it a gun? Just to find out what it's like. I would say that's a concern of mine, but, um... The fact that... All the all the weapons use the same rounds. I guess it streamlines things a little bit, but did you Aphelene? What is it? Pretty uh, very old, uh, good vampire game. Okay, Everett, cool. I'll uh, I'll put that in uh, the back of my mind certainly. Oh, there's an actual game of it. Seven. Okay, interesting. Now. Right, okay, so this key is for everything, presumably. Oh, here we go. What we got? Snacks, snacks everywhere. Okay, so, uh... Grenade launcher kind of sucks, eh? It seems like it. That's what it feels like, anyway. <laughs> yeah, never mind. This uh, needs, like, certain upgrades to make it uh, more viable. Right. Okay, originally it was... Uh... Okay, so was it just... Um, was it its own game? No, I'm uh, sus suspicious of that, but um, to me, like tabletop RPGs, are, are, are twofold. You've got the setting, and you've got the rule set. Now, anyone that comes up with a brand new imaginative setting, I think that's great. And then they go, and here is a completely brand new rule set. I feel that they shouldn't be like intrinsically linked, if that makes sense. Um, I feel you know what I mean. They should just be adapted. I'm not to say that modern, what fifth edition? I don't know. I've been so long since I played Dungeons and Dragons. Is a good system. I don't. I literally don't know. Um, but it's like sometimes you can have a good setting that has 
and they're like, and here's the rules of this game. And then you're like, these rules are jank and not very good. Uh, <laughs> which uh, can definitely be a concern. Right, okay. What we got here? Hey, cure P. Excellent. Oh, plus defense, eh? I mean... Let's see, why not? Extra point of defense. Let's do it. But then again, it's not to say it wasn't good. Um... Okay. Oh, another case there, I didn't see. All right, medicine level two. Um, okay, so is, do we just literally come in here just to get some uh, supplies? Maybe now we've got to get to where the uh, the gate is. Possibly. Let's survive on again. Uh, there are many types of rainforest snakes. Some are poisonous, but most are not. Indeed. Uh, look for the brown monkey, one of our many playful rainforest friends. No, is that the schlong monster? <laughs> the giant worms of South America are very important to the rainforest ecosystem. Okay. If you say so. I mean, it must be true, but... We've got other things to worry about right at this moment. Okay, so third edition D&D went D20 for everything. Um, and did they change that by the time they got to fourth edition? Yeah, I, I, I like the idea of them being percentile. Just 2D10. That's all you need. That appeals to me. Freaking D4. We've seen what they've done to D4s nowadays. Not that D4s are any good. They look freaky now. They're like a little thing you've got. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a D6 with a freaking uh, capstone on it. What is? What even is that? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Uh, <laughs> gold seal. All right there, bro. How you doing? Welcome in, sir. Um... Gold. This is uh, a game called Parasite Eve. It was originally released on the uh, PS1, 98. And it's quite old, quite retro. I've never played it before. Um, it was chosen by uh, one of our producers, Ryan. Uh, and it's, it's on that I've been meaning to play for a good long while. And uh, it's really, really good. It's like a Red Resident Evil style horror game. But it's like a turn-based combat. It's uh, yeah, it's rather interesting. But yeah, welcome in gold. Yeah, I do. I, I, I think of myself primarily as retro. When you caught us playing Red Dead Two, I don't I don't stay away from modern. It's just that's not the main thing. If that makes sense. Let me remember this gate is. Is it about this way. Yes. Here we go. We're on track now. Oh, right, we got more snacks yeah yeah so as you see there you got random encounters and you move around your bar fills up and then you put your commands in there we go. let's put the snake down oh didn't reload idiot never mind we're fine Remember to reload after every fight. It's not the end of the world, is it? She just means she takes a turn to reload in combat, but it's definitely in your in your best interest, aren't you, to reload every time? Um, right, there we go. So we'll do a level one heal, I think, for now. There we go. Yeah, it feels like it when you think of like not the late nineties. Af, you're like, oh, yeah, I wasn't too long ago, and then you like suddenly you realise you're like, what? What? Oh, when the noughties came around, I was like, oh my, year 2000? What is this futuristic shizzle? Uh, 
And now we're like, what? You like ketchup is? Jesus. <laughs> um, and you go sort out that dryer. I hope you enjoyed your lunch there, Seven. Yeah, no, I, saw, I got your end mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, I mean, Everett, um, just answer your question there, sir. Uh, I am British. I'm an Englishman. Um, my accent is unlike anybody else's. Uh, <laughs> so I uh, was originally born in South Yorkshire, which if you don't know the UK, it's like halfway up the body of land, the land mass. Um, I left there when I was like only eight years old. I moved down to the south coast, about 250 miles distance, which I guess in American terms is not a long distance, really. In British terms, that's a fair chunk of distance. Um, so I technically have an, a weird amalgamation of a northern and a southern accent. I don't sound like either. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, some people find it annoying. Some people don't. Some people like it. So, <laughs> it, you know... Uh, it is what it is, isn't it? Um, no, nah, nah, it wasn't London. Nah, for it. Not, not from London, mate. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's just its own weird thing. Right, here we go. So we're making some progress now, folks. Uh, <laughs> a nice leave voice. Nah. Uh, of the animals have escaped. This is not good, is it? Ah, yeah. Because if they've gone turned into monsters, now it's fair enough fighting monster rats, monster snakes. What are we gonna do with like, you know, monster lions and tigers and bears? Oh my! You know what I'm saying? Um. You know, okay, we've got another dead person here. And uh, is that blocked off? Can we not get around in that direction? Cannot, okay. Right, okay, so this is where the concert is. Yeah, yeah, here we go. We just had to get through the zoo to get there. Oh, gold. I didn't realise that, buddy. You're from Scotland. Excellent. No, this is true. This is true. Um, I've, uh, I have did visit Scotland when I was uh, a youngster, uh, gold, and um, it's a pretty damn cool place, uh, apart from the freaking midges. We were camping. That was not fun. But <laughs> I guess you get midges everywhere, don't you? Um, but yeah, when I first moved down to the south coast from Yorkshire Gold, I had kids going... Cause they, they couldn't fathom my accent. You know, I wasn't bullied for it, but I was definitely... Uh, definitely kind of... Uh, stood me out from the crowd, so to speak. Um, I remember one time when some kid was like... Are you from Scotland? And I'm like, I'm like, obviously you've never heard anyone from Scotland in your life, have you? Stupid little kid. It's never. I don't think I ever want to slap an eight-year-old so much. And it's like, yeah, you know, is that disrespectful to me? That's different, disrespectful from people from Scotland. You stupid eight-year-old, jog on out of here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Because that's the thing with these Southerners, uh, Gold. They've got they're clueless, you know. Yeah, you, you and I know the absolute difference between a Scottish accent, a strong Scottish accent, and a, a strong uh, Yorkshire accent. Com two completely different things. But, you know, to the uneducated, to be fair, this was just a little kid. But I was just a little kid as well, so I'm like, you're trying to start on me, aren't you? Um, just the ignorance. The, the ignorant, you know, are in bliss. Um... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying, Gold. Anyway, yeah, moving on. So I think we're on track here, folks. Let's go. We don't know. We've got some decent level ups. Now, before we head in there, let me check around the outside. Okay, so there can possibly be another entrance there. We shall see. Oh! Oh, God. Eve's running the show. The holiday season brings joy to us all. 
have a roasting good time of it, I believe. Oh dear. And this Christmas will be the most special of all. Ah! Is that, was that the peeps or was that... Uh... <laughs> special because I will no longer be under the control of a host. As I have since the dawn of time. Oh jeez. Humans are weak mitochondria, can self-evolve. Mitochondria must now take over the nucleus. Oh my god. Doesn't sound good. Uh, 8-bit cleavage. <laughs> FMV cleavage there for your effort. Um, I'm certainly no expert, but I am an old geezer, so... Oh my god. So I definitely try and offer advice where I can. You do get wisdom with age relative to yourself. This is this is a fact. But you know, that's not to say all old people are wise. There's plenty of I've met plenty of old people who are freaking stupid. They're just wiser than they were when they were younger. Uh well, she's melted everyone. I have to get backstage to stop her. Yeah. Oh my god. That's a different uh, entrance there. Oh! Hello! Yeah, backstage, okay. Here we go. That's the little ghost girl. Alright, here we go. Um, are you, Eve? Why? Why are you doing this? you again but you are too late you will not ruin my plans as you did last night stop okay it's just i guess we're just following up no point in checking every nook and cranny <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's that's some good wisdom there from gold. That's uh, that's all, something we can all st uh, abide by. Has uh, she just run away then? I'm supposed to just be backtracking. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, here's the thing: if uh, Ben and his mum were in the middle of that, they've been liquefied, haven't they? Basically. So I guess um, Eva's just fled. Essentially, we just got to head back the way we came. I'd say even if, regardless of how the yellow snow is made, uh, Slick Mick, that's what I would say, but... Oh, I couldn't... I didn't think I could go this way before. I Maybe mean, we can, okay. Maybe I'll just spin an idiot. Surprise, surprise. Oh, we're revive, excellent. Drop an item here, nope. Drop an item. Really? Oh. How did I? That's a bit weird. I thought there was uh, another case there. I thought I saw it on the other screen. Let me try this way first. Yeah, so there's something up there. Let me try down this path before we uh, head that way. Getting a bit mazy up in here now, aren't we? Okay. I guess we're supposed to follow the little ghost girl, but just to be contrary, we're gonna go the other way. I didn't ever it, no.
go this way. It's all over town. Yeah, it seems appropriate. <laughs> uh, your inventory is full, full. Would you like to exchange your items? Probably. Oh, wait, is this... It's not showing us what we could potentially pick up, though. That. Um... In fact, before I do that, let me... Have we got, um... No, we don't have enough bonus points to get more inventory. If we go... Junk. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put some stuff in there. Oh, okay, we got a little fight. Here we go. Oh, shiz, what is that? Let's nip that bird in the bud. Oh my god. Is that maybe like a polar bear that's been turned? Oh my god, that was uh, kind of horrifying. Metro, yeah, I've played the Metro series. They're pretty damn good games. Not the whole series, the the latest one, I've not played. Oh, oh, that little snake there, take us for zero. That's cool. Um. God, we've got too much stuff now, haven't we? Inventory's full. My God. <laughs> Not ideal here, folks, but, uh... What are we gonna do? I've got that new armour. Let me check that. Ah, uh, nah, that's not. Oh, it gets you plus one inventory. Eh. I, think, I think that's going to be the deciding factor at the minute. It's got an extra pocket on it. <laughs> La di da. God, I'm way off track now, folks. Shall I just be following up? Is that the best thing to do? I feel maybe it is. Like there's stuff up there, but I can't carry any more stuff, so it's like, eh. Damn, just loads of birds. Okay. Didn't deal with those. They're relatively easy to avoid, and uh, even if um, even if you do get tagged, they do very minimal damage. junk wasted I suppose I would like to get the uber ultra amazing gun but I think heals are probably more important at this point yeah gold no I've I, you know what I've never actually played uh, total war at all I've heard they're freaking fantastic though I'm typically not very uh, knowledgeable or skilled at uh, 
real-time strategy, but um, they do look fantastic. I'm trying to think of anything similar I've played. I guess I've played a bit of um, Age of Empires, Civilization, but they're not they're certainly not my forte. Oh, right, here we go. More snacks. Nice right, one done. Oof. Electric polar bear, eh? Not, not anything too uh, severe. Level up, though. Nice. And uh, bonus points to spend. Almost two. Oh, my God. Um. <sighs> I just got too much stuff. I feel, I feel like we've just got to leave the junk, haven't we? I have to commit to not worrying about getting that special weapon or whatever it is which is kind of a shame <laughs> yeah they um are they favorites of yours gold Yeah, it's a bit, uh, and, and yeah, Everett, although I've played the first two, uh, metros, it's been, uh, it's been a hot minute. Ow. 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 Oh, dear. Okay, they're not doing, these, uh, Shlong guys are not doing as much damage as they used to, though. That's uh, something. Yeah, definitely feeling the benefit of leveling up and getting our new armor and, and such. Right, okay, so we've got stuff down there or stairs going up on either side. That's um, maybe one thing I would say that maybe the Resident Evil games have over this. And that's just that they're, those games like have um, have maps. There doesn't seem to be anything resembling... Oh my god, three of these things. There doesn't seem to be anything really resembling a, a map uh, ow, in, uh, in this game. Apart from the main map, of course. That's uh, kind of different though. Okay, so it looks like three shots will have do one of these. Or two, if you get a crit. Oh! Kitty! Kitty Moonlight! Is that you, Kitty? Change your name again. How you doing? And Wolf! Oh, sorry, Wolf. I just saw you come in there, buddy. How you doing? It is you! I thought it was Kitty. You went back to... You were Kitty, then you changed your name, and you went back to Kitty. Either way, <laughs> you like Kitty much better. I feel like it suits you better, Kitty. I feel like it suits you better. How you doing? Thank you for that uh, shout out there, Sleepy Mink. Oh, room Factory. Frontier. Is that... It's a room Factory 5, you... want? God's oh, Kitty. You love your Room Factory, don't you? <laughs> uh, Kitty Flip Flopper. Kitty. How do... How's the saying go? Um, uh, Self-awareness is a beautiful thing. It doesn't matter that you're a flip-flopper if you recognise that you are. Embrace it. Lean into it. Don't worry about it. But hey, it's been a minute, Key. How you doing? Are you looking after yourself? Yeah, I know. Ugh. You got that's what you're doing this life, Key. You've got to You gotta do the thing that you love. Whatever the thing is that you love, that's the thing you've got to do. 
and if it's Rune Factory, I, w I know one of the bits I've seen you play of it. I would love Rune Factory. It's just um, it's fun of the time, isn't it? Yeah, Katie, let me ask you this: Have you played Parasite Eve before? Do you know anything about it? Um, uh, <laughs> some wise words to say. I don't know about that. I just uh, I've just been um, just been alive a long time. That's literally it. <laughs> but welcome in, folks. Anyone who doesn't uh. Who's coming with Kitty there? Don't know, if you don't know me, my name is Isnib. You can call me Is. We do a little bit of everything. We do retro. We do modern. We do. If you can, if you can think of it, we probably do it. We don't do Call of Duty or Fortnite. Uh, otherwise, anything uh, anything is on the table. We've just started Parasite Eve. This is a super retro. Uh, I think it was released in '98. Uh, Turn-based combat survival horror game. Very inspired by Resident Evil. But it's Square's offering, hence the turn-based combat. It's a lot of fun. Uh, really, really enjoying it. I've never played it before. So here we are. Uh, Key. It's because you've got good taste, isn't it? But yes, thank you so much for the raid, Key. I do greatly appreciate that. Um, but Wolf, how are you doing as well? I hope you're, I hope you're well, buddy. Welcome on in. How's, um, how's your Monday going, my friend? Uh... There you go. Sorry, I just want to check something there. Uh, God, this, the stream has flown by today. We've got about an hour and 45 minutes left, guys. Hmm. So tell me, Key, I do have access to Parasite Eve 2. Not sure about the third birthday, but um, how does it compare? Do you think the first, the first to the second? Should we play the second as well? Um, lack of sleep. Damn, you got to do something about that, Wolf. Uh, Sleep is very important. Um, me saying that doesn't help, but <laughs> uh, boom, excellent. Um, but yeah, you're right otherwise, buddy. Did you just have a rough evening? There we go. Nice, nice XP there. And plenty of ammo. Uh, I'm sleeping a lot at the minute. I, I, in fact, I didn't sleep the best last night. I will, I will be honest, but I'm feeling pretty good anyway, regardless. Um, but yeah, I'm very well, Cage Wolf. Uh, it's um, I really can't complain, honestly. I mean, really enjoying streaming on Mondays. I will say that. Now, is there actually anything under here, or is it just a different way to go? Oh, okay, we've got a couple of cases. Probably have stuff we cannot carry. Oh, defense plus. Oh, do we have a do we have a space for that? Hell yeah. Now should I be uh I guess we should buff up what we've already got. Rather than uh it's only plus one in inventory item, isn't it? So it's like, eh. I think it'd be better if I just have more defense, I feel. Um. Oh, wow. Uh, critical evasion by, <laughs> by 1%. Okay, well, <laughs> we shall take it. We shall take it. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I think that was it there. So I feel like we're heading in the right direction. Interesting, Ryan. Um, right, okay. The, the third one, you give it a 5 out of 10. And the second one is an 8 out of 10 for you, Kitty. Okay. Ryan says you feel it's worth a playthrough. Okay, so you, so you both generally agree on that assessment. That's a shame. You think that the... Cause the I believe the sequel to this was released not too long after this. And the uh, the PSP one obviously was released like 10 years after. And you'd hope that with, you know, improved graphics, you know, technology, it'd be superior. But I'm assuming that's not the case. Right, let's try and get Poisony Tentacle Boy out of the way first. There we go. 
Oh, we need to, uh... Get rid of this poison. I'll do that first. Do a little heal. There you go. I seem to have enough like hit points and um, P energy to uh, kind of like maintain heals a little bit. It was a little not rocky, but like an hour ago, I was, the fights were kind of tough, but now they've kind of um, leveled out a little bit. I seem to be a little bit more self-sustaining. So, uh, I mean, the, the plan wouldn't be to instantly move on to the... In fact, we've already got plans in the works, but we certainly could look at the uh, the second game if it is so desired by the uh, producers. It's entirely up to them. But um, And even the PSP one, potentially, but... Obviously, if it's not very good, then... Probably not, eh? I feel like we're in the, heading in the right direction. Yeah, this is sus. Oh. Oh! Oh, no. oh my god! Oh no, oh no, okay. Oh, this is a thing, folks. What am I doing with this thing? Is this a boss, or... Uh... Oh my god. I'm scared. Okay, I think I've killed one of them. I'm guessing there's four total. Oh, let's try and keep an eye on my uh, hit points here. That's two. Oh, it seems to be getting bigger. Oh my god. Each one I kill makes the others bigger. Ow. Oh, I probably won't do a heal unless we're sat on uh, the full uh, the energy there. So. There we go. Nice. Oh, big boy. Oh, my God. Oh my God, this is <laughs> crazy. Oh, jeez. Jeez, Louise. Oh, there we go. Damn. I level up. Nice. Oh, parasite powers have evolved into energy shot. Channel energy into bullets. Wow. Oh, God. I can always bonus points as well. Right. I've got some armor upgrades here. I'm going to have to switch these around, I feel. Yeah, let's get rid of some of these pure peas, actually, I feel. Uh having uh, like one of them or two could be good but otherwise right that's, I feel like it's kind of like a mini boss that's pretty freaking cool I like that okay um let's do a heal though yeah yeah energy shot okay I guess if you've got 
extra PNG hanging around. I should have, uh, I don't know if I needed to scan all the slow necessarily, but, um, where it kept popping in and out of the ground. Probably need to, um, make more use of a barrier. If, if you sat on full energy, because otherwise you're just wasting it, aren't you? <laughs> it's long boss. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> we've seen the schlong guys now there's the schlong boss definitely uh i'm smelling my uh bonus points yeah i'm just gonna go item capacity until i feel we don't need it i know I'll, having more active time is definitely not a bad thing but i feel that's more the priority still uh and i'm gonna reload that gun and i want to use these armor upgrades Excellent. Moving on. That was fun. Or kind of very unexpected. But yeah, I enjoyed that. Alright, heading this way. Oh, here she is. Riding on a horse carriage. Who do you think she is? Your jeans are stronger than I thought. Come, my dear. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> I mean... Okay... I don't know... <laughs> I don't know that would do that, but... Oh my god! She just set the horse on fire. That's kind of dark. Twigsy? Sir Twigsy? Oh, Twigsy, how you doing, bro? Are you all right, sir? Oh my God, Twigsy, it's been a minute. Are you, are you keeping well? I am freaking fantastic, buddy. I'm really rather good. How are you, Twigsy? Are you, do tell me you're doing well, sir. Are you being, just being busy? Um, not, uh, you know, not, uh, I don't, I never expect you or anyone else to be here. Just, um, we've been missing you, bud. How you doing, Twigsy? Anybody here who doesn't know Twigsy, let me tell you, he's a bloody little legend. He's, a, he's a good guy. You've been doing a lot, yeah, that's the thing. I don't check who, who's like the, you know, who's in chat. So you could have been doing a, a super hard lurk, and I've just not known about it, bud. Um, lots going on, but you're well. Sir, that's all that matters to me. Uh, if you're well. And if you're ever not well, Twigsy, you know I am just a Discord call away. You you get at me anytime, sir. Twigsy. Oh, my God. He's a good guy, folks. Um, big big supporter of the Isnib show. Um, he's just a bit busy with real life stuff. As long as you're well, Twigsy, that's all that matters to me, buddy. Have you... Twigsy, we've... Um, I'm trying to yes, yeah, so you know what you know what we've been up to. We're currently uh doing our first playthrough of Parasite Eve. It's a very intriguing game. You know what? I don't think I've ever played anything quite like it, honestly. But um the counselor, I I don't know. I I'm always I'm always there for uh I try and be there for everyone, not always possible. I'm always there for uh my friends, definitely. But yeah, gold. Let me tell you, Twigsy's he's a he's a he's a good one. I've I've got all the time in the world for Twigsy. Massive supporter of the channel when we were um, going through our uh, Final Fantasy uh, series. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, I won't I won't keep waxing lyrical about it, Twigsy. <laughs> I'll just uh, I'll just. Uh, I'm playing with the game. I'm just saying, I'm so pleased to see your name in chat, buddy. Um, you never played it, but yeah, no, it's, it's interesting. It's a, a good um, counterbalance to the two. Could we have two games that are completely different? I don't know. But that's what we do on this new show. We're not doing one thing or two things. We're doing everything anyway. 
I won't try and explain the story to Xe. It's just um, this weird entity called Eve seems to set things on fire. We're trying to stop her, and and also work out what, how, and why. Um. Why? Why be on the human side? Because she, because I is human. Let's make some music as well. Why not? I am. Hu I'm a human. Why are you going with them and not me? Um. What? Indeed. Oh. We're in combat, are we? We're kind of, uh... Let's do it, then. I haven't got much space to move around here, folks. Not much space at all. But, uh, I guess I'm getting some good shots in. Oh! 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 Deary me. Okay, that's, um... That was a thing. Let's, um... Quickly do a heal, I guess. Yeah, kind of hard to uh, necessarily avoid her, but um, I'll do what I can. Okay, so for a melee, you're just trying to stay as away from her as possible. Not like that. Right, okay, and that you get... Um, you get uh okay chill enough um or not yeah okay not too difficult i guess it's a bit more scripted here but, i mean basically might as well be twixie uh <laughs> um yeah gapple this is cool isn't it apart from ponyto something around there um still not know who she is what what eve oh yeah <laughs> i don't know yeah uh they're somehow related it's gonna be like her mother or something isn't it it's gonna be it might be like a jo J uh, Genova uh, Sephiroth kind of situation. I don't know. It seems you still don't know who I am. Tell me then. Tell us. Well, if you don't know, your mitochondria will. That's why you were drawn to the opera. Uh, okay. Is it as simple as that? Sorry, let's get out. What are, you, what are you talking about? Me? Uh, let me explain directly. Stop it! If we join forces, all the other mitochondria in the world will... S stop! Okay, they're kind of like sisters, in a way. My god, the graphics, though. A flaming horse. You think that horse would have um, expired since? But oh my god! That will blow me down. This whole thing, isn't it? Here we go. You got some vacation coming up soon, Slate Mick. Bruh. Nice. Yeah, just, yeah, Gapple, just normal, normal even. There we go. So here's the uh, Aya as a little girl, and there's uh Doctor Clamp being like, Meh. he's uh, he somehow manipulated her mitochondria, hasn't he? All right. Aya, Aya, answer me. Daddy. He's fine all along. <laughs> um, Ben. Weren't you going to the concert? I came here with mum, but she... She was all weird. Yeah, mum's can be like that. 
What do you mean, Ben? I came with Mum so the three of us could be together. Nah, Ben, that's not a thing anymore, buddy. So that's why you came to get me. Mum went to the stage, but she freaked out. What do you mean, Mum freaked out? <laughs> she freaked out. She turned into goo. Um, I got near the stage and started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mum wasn't herself, Dad. She left and everyone else went too. Okay, so not everyone turned to goo. The rain. Oh my God. Um. Oh, where are you heading to Disney? Oh yeah, of course you said, mate, didn't you? Or oh, I hope you and the lads have a good time. Yeah. Um, gold. No, Shadow of the Colossus. I have not. No, I've never. I've heard many, many good things about it. Uh, and it, it's. It's probably something if I uh, had time to play it, it would uh, definitely be something I would enjoy from what I understand about it, Gold. Yeah. I assume you're a fan. Casualties were much worse this time. But worse? Okay. Was there more people there? I guess maybe there was. Um, we cannot put the lives of citizens in jeopardy any longer. We have orders to evacuate all citizens out of Manhattan. Oh, damn. Evacuate Manhattan? Jeez. But fortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. What do we do, sir? We will stay and assist in neutralizing Eve. Shouldn't we leave it to the army? We're the ones that are supposed to be protecting the city. Any word from Aya? They were like, no. Damn it! Where could she be? Daniel, I need you to help evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm going to go look for her. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? He's lost the rain. He'll find Aya. You two help with the evacuation. Okay, I don't know how uh, one follows on the other there, but whatever. <laughs> Daddy! Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know. But she's the only one that can fight the thing that hurt your mummy. Kath, look after the kid, will ya? I will, don't worry. Daddy! Come on, sport. You like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best dog in town. <laughs> best police dog, sorry. Um, damn, it's your number one favourite game, is it, Gold? Bruh. Is the original on PS1 or PS2? I might have access to it, I'm not sure. Um, can I show this boy the dog? Sure. Let me open a fence. Hey, you've got a visitor. Oh my god, watch the dog turn into a monster. This is Shiva. Alright. Seems friendly enough. Hey, I think she likes you. <laughs> hey, that tickles. Alright, well, there you go. Ben's gonna be alright. <laughs> Oh yeah, driving your cars into each other. That doesn't help. Oh, almost, bloody hell, that taxi almost took out a police officer. Right, so they're evacuating Manhattan to deal with Eve. Makes sense, under the circumstances. But obviously the evacuation is uh, a little chaotic. They did a re remaster of PS4, did they? But it was originally PS2. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not um, own a PS4. No problem. Cop A. <laughs> How many times are we going to tell you? We've blocked this off. You won't even find a cat on this street. 
<laughs> you sure? Ah, he's the Japanese man. Okay. He's the, uh, the professor who's trying to get hold of... He seemingly knew something about this. Oh, excuse me. Um... I told you, I've already contacted the police about this matter. What? Uh, um... I'm not getting anywhere with my English. Hey, you Chinese? N no, I'm Japanese. <laughs> uh, Nanda Nihon Jin Desk? Oh, yes, can you speak Japanese? Choto Dake Ne. Dai Desk? <laughs> I don't speak Japanese very well, guys. I'll do my best. Um, I am Kuni Hiko Maeda. Uh, Japanese. Uh, uh, Hey, if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. I'm not racist. My God, this cop <laughs> actually, uh, say that to people. My God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's not a cat around here. Cats kind of do their own thing. Uh, 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 yeah. Calm down. Take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. Uh, uh, I'm getting... I'm... I'm... Hot! Help! Ah! That's what you get from your racist, bro. I guess it's now or never. Okay. Is that... My Ada? Done, uh... somehow responsible for that guy. I don't know. Maybe. Spontaneous human combustion. I believe that's correct. Yeah, right, he's running away. Okay. Yeah, you know, yes, racists should probably burn Twixie. You know what I mean? They... Yeah, what an idiot. You don't speak English? Get back to your own country. It's such a bullshit thing, isn't it? You know, uh, language is like a cultural thing. It's not tied to a place. You know, I, I think that's the worst. You know, people should be um, allowed to speak whatever language they want. Make up your own freaking language. Do you know what I mean? Come on out loud. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it, if you're on fire, I think if you're going to be on fire, I suppose in the winter when there's snow around, it's the best place to do it. I guess it's probably not going to help though. But um, yeah, what's going on now? This game gets more mysterious the more it goes on, doesn't it? Where? Where am I? <laughs> it's Nibian, yes. Twixie, you got oh, I got my own language for sure. Uh, that's your language, just like me. <laughs> Peanut butter's great though. I mean, uh, hospital. Hmm. How curious. Right, okay. Oh. My dear. Oh, you're finally awake. Who are you? I'm Kuni Komeda. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. Hey. Where we were, I don't know. Daniel came to our rescue. Daniel! There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Where are they? Where they're in a room and they've got a friggin' barrel fire 
a burner barrel in the middle of the room. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, where's Eve? What happened to the people in Central Park? Ben was okay, but the rest of the audience, well, they just disappeared. They were gooified, weren't they? Disappeared? You mean they weren't ignited? They all melted into slime and became one big mass. That's something new. Nothing like what ha that happened in Japan. Japan? A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan. Although it wasn't as grandiose in scale as this one. What? Hey! Give us the details! Ooh. It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. Okay. The scientist named those cells Eve. Okay. Eve. The liver cells multiplied and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. Okay. After acquiring the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Acquiring his sperm? How does, uh... How did, uh... How did she manage that, I wonder? <laughs> I guess the old-fashioned way. Uh... <laughs> um, right, okay. Interesting ultimate being what kind of being she the being who mutated from the liver cells couldn't maintain her body for long by the way before the car accident occurred the wife had registered to have her organs donated so after the accident her kidneys were transplant transplanted into a young girl Oh. Right, okay, so... If we assume that's Aya... She's the only young girl, right? That would tie her in. Acquiring very carefully, yes. <laughs> and welcome back, Everett. Um, and Eve implanted a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to an ultimate being. Hang on a minute. So the Eve we're dealing with, not that a child should be able to give birth, obviously, but who knows when it comes to, uh, this, this weird mitochondria. We don't know what's possible. I was extremely interested in this and went to his lab so that I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over here. What the hell is going on here? I like that Daniel it doesn't have a clue, so he kind of takes the role of, uh, the, <laughs> of the viewer. Uh... I wish I could explain more. Aya, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. Thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside of me felt like I was being... You felt you were about to be ignited, correct? No, she's... 
but she's the only one that isn't affected. What? I... I... don't understand. I... I think I may be a monster, like her. What? What are you saying, Gaia? I don't know. What if... What if I end up killing you? Ah, oh, shut up. You know that's nuts. Please, Daniel. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Please go away. Just... Just stay away from me. Ah, yeah. Please. Yes, I understand your point. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel. Please. I... I could never forgive myself if I killed you. You're not a monster, are you? It's, um... Because he, if you've got, like, DNA that's in common with uh, Eve, you've got your own mind. You haven't hurt anybody today. There's no reason to think that you would. But, you know, she's not... She's unsure. She's confused. Aya, you're no monster. You're my best partner, Aya Brea. I'll be by your side. Always. Aya. Well, thank you for the vote of confidence, Daniel. I'll be by your side always. But not right now. I'm going to walk out the door. Uh... <laughs> When I touched Eve, that feeling. Was it Maya? But Maya died in the car crash with Mum. Oh. Maya, is this Aya's sister? I guess it should be Maya. It should be Maya, I guess. Maya and Aya. Yeah. Uh, twin sister, maybe? No, it just couldn't be. Right. Yeah, for every um question we get answered, we get two more questions. Right, day three. Selection. Right, this is Boxing Day, as we call it over in the UK. Uh, everyone else is like, Boxing Day? What's that? That's, that's not a thing. Uh, <laughs> How... Very curious. At least they put the fire out. Burn about in the room. <laughs> okay, well. We sort of deal with the situation, haven't we? Alright, oh, some more bullets. Okay, yeah. No uh, bonus points at the minute. Yeah, level 15. Doing well. I'm doing alright. Got some nice stats. Got some nice armor and stuff. Uh... To do with uh, getting back to the police station and dropping off some of these medicines and stuff. Or if, that's, if that's an option. That was a long night. Sleep well? Probably not. You were here all night? I told you to go away. You could have died, you know.
God, it must be freaking cold. Scientists can't believe anything without proof. It's... It's just one of those things. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. I guess it is one of those things. Um... And besides... What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> That's annoying. Oh, and besides... No, never mind. What? <laughs> My Ada. I guess he's a good guy. He's here to help, but... Daniel? No traffic. This is the way it ought to be around here. Uh, Daniel. So what are we sitting around for? We got work to do. Daniel. Thanks. All right. We're going to need some bigger weapons. There's a gun shop over there. Let's stock up. Uh, okay. I believe there's a pharmacy over there. Okay. Over this way. I need to empty out the freaking inventory first. That's what I need to do. Huh. The smell of this place gives me the creeps. Really? The smell of a pharmacy? I guess people tell me they don't like hospitals, do they? So many types of medication, and they all seem strong, too. Right. This is just to get supplies before we move on. The, the door's broken. Okay, yeah. I've got no storage space there. That's uh, kind of a problem. What's up with him? All of a sudden, he's a happy camper. I won't ever understand those scientist types. <laughs> Don't stress it, Daniel. Just keep being, doing your police officer in. Revive? Okay, cool. I guess it's worth coming here just for that, wasn't it? Yes, yes. I wish I could take all of these back to Japan. Uh, I'm sure you have the equivalent in Japan, buddy. Oh, level 2 medicine. Oh, uh, here we go. There's a back room. Oh, uh, critical evasion for armor. I guess we use that. I guess it's just like little bonuses, aren't they? It's just um, be ashamed to. Uh... You upgrade all this armor, and then you just find one better armor. Oh, okay. Another tool, eh? And then we need a second tool, do we? tool to move stuff around um, yeah I don't think it's got anything on it though does it ah uh, so you move the stat bonuses from that so that's what tool does I guess we'll do that Ah, uh, no, I want to use that one. SV less best will be lost. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, okay, so you literally break it down to uh, add it on. Got you, got you, okay. I guess we don't need the 
do we need the grenade launcher or something? I, no, we're gonna. I'm gonna wait on that before we get back to uh, town. At least I kind of understand how that works a bit better now. Welcome back, Key. It's going good. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm still getting a bit. You taking a bit to get used to it. Um. Oh, oh my god, a reboot would be fantastic, wouldn't it? But I think that might be everything in here. Oh, apart from a place to save your game. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? I, we can but hope. I think the problem, Kitty, is however well regarded this game is, it's um it's it's still very it's a cult classic, isn't it? It's like ni very niche. So you need more people on top of it to for them to, to feel like it's worth doing. But I reckon even if, if they did it anyway, it would like you know, it would They'd have enough clout that people who have not played the original would get into it, I reckon. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I think that's everything in here. Have to go through there to get out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've, recent, I've, I've changed it up a couple of weeks ago, Kitty. We, I now do Monday th to, uh, to through Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, and take weekends off. Um... Yeah, your time, six. Yeah, I'll start a lot earlier now, basically. Um, so I do, I, I aim to start at 2 p.m. and go for seven hours until nine, my time. So I guess Eastern, that's like 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. But yeah, yeah, I used to do six, six to 11 ish, my time. Yeah. I've, so I start much earlier and I finish a little bit earlier. Good luck with that, Everett. Hopefully it's not too rough. Um, ah, Gapro. I didn't realise that was a, a remake. I know that's been like very... Uh, people have been getting very excited about that. Yeah, it's not impossible, is it? And that's the thing. People get excited about it without realising even realizing it's necessarily a remake right okay so i guess we're looking for the gun store this way of course you are key of course you're one hour after me silly me i knew that yeah so yeah so for your time kitty i'll go from three in the afternoon to uh 10 at night every monday to friday just as a little example i just feel that I'm, I'm a bit more productive on my days off uh if i have two days off together um i'm still available on weekends if people need me for anything um you know and for cl collaborations or whatever or if people need to get a hold of me on discord but for, for my own channel i feel uh monday to friday works a little bit better um, they weren't kidding when they said they sell guns here in America, were they? No, they uh, were not. This is it. We'll help ourselves some ammo. I uh, don't see why we shouldn't. Yeah, let's go. It's it's locked. Out of the way, are you? I'm gonna kick it in. Daniel, no. Sorry, but it's the only way. I was gonna shoot it open. Oh, good, good shot. We could wait for it to get out of the way, maybe. <laughs> I thought he was going to kick the door in. No, he just shoot it. <laughs> uh, um. Okay. Yeah. Check it out, Red Mage. That's a good thing, isn't it, Red Mage? Just you got to be conscious that that could change. Oh, well. Kitty. I can't guarantee what we're going to be doing in the future. Um, but you you are always welcome here anytime. <laughs> um. uh, are you really a cop? Uh, we think so. We don't have scientific proof, if that's what you're asking. Uh, <laughs> lol. Lol. 
If you can't get in, just shoot your way in. Oh, we got. Go ahead and pick your favorite accessories, ladies. All right. Let's. Oh, plus range. Oh, an M11, eh? Oh, what's... Oh, hang on. What's this gun? Well, that looks interesting. Let me uh, sort the inventory out a bit. There we go. A machine gun. Might be better than a rifle. We do have a lot of bullets, don't we? I feel that might run out quickly, sooner or later. Um... What's someone looking to re... There we go. Change weapon. Here we go. Wow. Okay. So, a slightly larger magazine, which is obviously is a, a machine gun. That's very important. Um, not... <laughs> only slightly less attack than the M M16. Obviously, it suffers re by range greatly. I didn't feel the range was that amazing on the M16 anyway. So I guess range, the, the numerical values of range are very granular. Um, I think we might try it out, honestly. Might be superior. Uh, Coptimus Crime. How you doing, bro? You right there, sir? Uh, cop, let me ask you this. Have you, um... Yeah, Resident Parasite Evil. Yeah. <laughs> Have you played this at all, cop? It's very... It's a very curious game. I'm enjoying it immensely. Um... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's curious that it would have... The, the, the second one, but not the first one. Weird. I wonder if it's just licensing issues, or... Sometimes it's just seems to be like lack of interest i don't know i don't know i never never can tell um i'm gonna try this machine gun out yeah ps1 game cop yeah it's uh it's very curious uh, <laughs> uh. let me use the uh the range in increase on it. Block plus one. Doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> um, maybe I should uh, use the tool on it. Move all of our... Uh... Right, then we click on the one we're dismantling, don't we? Or should I... Um... I should probably test it out first, shouldn't I? Let's should dismantle the grenade launcher. I'm not going to dismantle anything. I'll wait back until we get back to the police station. Um, no worries, cop. You loved it, did you? Yeah, I, thank you. Thank you, cop. I, I'm glad. I'm just glad I did a good job uh, on it. You know, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I just wing it. Good enough for Scotty. Good enough for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's a bit like that, isn't it? Red Mage. You kind of Enix changed things up a little bit, didn't they? And Enix made good games on their own, on their own terms. But I think it's just a product of the time, Red Mage. Um, yeah, Kitty. What they need is a full remake of all three games put into one package. Um. Oh, uh, level two club. Okay, cool. I don't know if they're necessarily going to use it, but and some ammo. Dragon King slice. Oh, Optimus cutting it up there. Thank you, cop. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hundred bitties, cop. Bless you, sir. Not necessary, but I will gladly take that Dragon King slice right there. Um, no, Kitty. This is just on a retro pie. I do not. I own the 
I do own the uh, official game of this. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. But it's back to when the uh, the attic. I have Square want to come over and, and have a look for it. Make sure I'm not playing a pirated version of uh, the, their, their beloved game. They're more than welcome to, and I'll show it to them. Um... This is just too much. Too much for what? My God, I mean they've got a lot of guns in here, haven't they? Oh, and there's another tool. Excellent. Not gonna drop any items, no. I think we'll go for them. So we've got a machine gun, which I want to try out. Um, we've got a couple of tools to dismantle some of our older guns. And so I think we've got everything, maybe. So if you have enough tools, you can... Inventory's full. Yeah, let's use up one of those tools then. Oh, we can probably junk our club as well, can't we? Um, right, anyway, so... I'm just going to go for it, and if it... Turns out not to be a good idea. Is it going to stop us completing the game? I don't know. I would hope not. Um, so let's uh, dismantle our grenade launcher. Um, yes, parameters will be removed. And the grenade launcher we lost. This is okay. Uh, it seemed pretty terrible. Um, oh, bless you, Coptimus. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I just really love being here, cop. Um, and if anyone gets anything out of that, then I appreciate it. I certainly don't expect anything in return. Streaming no game, that's a lie. Coptimus does stream. <laughs> he usually puts it on, um, unless he's just not been using the category. He usually puts it on just chatting, but he, he does retro and, um, various modern games as well. Coptimus. Um, did anyone uh, see that? Like a month ago, two months ago, there was that like a uh, list of a hundred game series that was going around. Like, hey, which one of these have you played? I think Coptimus scored higher than anybody I, I, else I know. Um, yeah, look, Red Mage, it's, it's Twigsy. It's freaking Twigsy. <laughs> he's uh, he's doing well though. Well, I don't speak for him. Um, I don't know, Kitty. Tell me. 150 dollars. That's a lot of money. But actually, if you consider this game, if the game is in good condition, that's pretty. That's not bad, honestly, Kitty. Now I don't know. Yeah, no console, just the game. Yeah, no, that's that's kind of reasonable. I wouldn't say completely reasonable. I wouldn't buy that. But I could understand anybody paying that much for it. Um. Yeah, no, and there's nothing wrong with that, cop. That's the way to do it, buddy. But yeah, I just uh, I remembered seeing that was the case. Yeah, I'm gonna, just going to do this. The grenade launch didn't seem very good. And um, we might get another one anyway. Um, so yeah, it must fire five bullets at a time then. Yeah, look, so it's already uh, got the increase on the the damage up to the uh, M6 scenario. Uh, ah, bullet capacity by one. I mean, one extra bullet doesn't seem that important, but... Never mind. We'll do it anyway. Yeah, so that's <laughs> uh, 22 magazine rather than 21. Go on, it's... But okay, I think we've got everything in the gun shop now. Let's get out of here I, hope, I guess we're going back to the world map the New York map hopefully I want to get back to um, the uh, police station then we can uh, I don't know if we've got any, any scrap junk to drop off 
but uh, stash some items because we've got the inventory far too full at the minute. We're stocked. Come on, get in the car. Yep, that sounds good. Uh, hey, you're supposed to be up in the front with me. Uh, that's for that as a line of dialogue. That's cool. <laughs> this is true though. This is true, Daniel. Um, we said, are you? Yes. Road rules don't apply here anymore. We can take the shortest route through Manhattan. All right, let's go. A game toucher. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being a game toucher. All right, it's in Soho. We're going back to Carnegie Hall. We've got the museum, Central Park, and uh, back to uh, the uh, police station, which I guess we'll go to first. Uh, maybe we've got to go see Baker. Get a, get a clue from him. So I don't know if we have to return to any of these places, but let's find out. Christmas of all times. What's the matter with this town? Man, I gotta get out of here. Son of a ranch in the quiet countryside. Yeah, if only, buddy. Chance would be a fun thing. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. let's get down to the basement. Well, they might give us an extra weapon mod, might they? Let's go see, yeah, let's go see the boss first. I expect that's what we're supposed to be doing. But he's not here. Okay, I guess they're headed out to help with the evacuation, yeah? Okay. Never mind. Okay, there's uh not in the office here. Yeah, I don't know if we we're going to see the boss and he was going to give us another one of those little uh, things to uh, get an extra upgrade slot on a, a weapon. Hey, if you ever see any gun trading cards around, bring them to me. I'm really into gun trading cards. Trading cards? They're fitting for a simpleton like you. A freaking geezer! Ah. Come on, enough chatting. Back to work. Oh yeah, I'm in the middle of a case. Now go on, out of here and catch the idiots. Idiots. Eve, you idiot. <laughs> Hopefully without using your gun. Random. I want to leave something there. Um, got any junk for you? Yeah, not much. One. Um, let's want to store items. Yeah, we got. Are we limited by a? Uh... Okay, just got a load of medicine. Okay. I guess it's probably good to keep uh, like maybe one level two medicine with us, just in case. Uh, and maybe one revive as like an emergency. Uh, I'm 
going to stash the cool peas for now, just to free up the space. And obviously, we're going to keep the tool. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realise the tool was like a uh, a one use. There we go. Nice and tidy. So we've got a lot of medicine. Uh, store equipment. Um, right, okay, we want to... Get rid of that. Um... I guess I... That's, um... go with our first gun. I'm sure I'll put a few couple of upgrades on that. And let's just use the tool on that. Right, yeah. Okay, you didn't even need to take it out of storage. Okay, so we're gonna go uh that. Yeah, it's got extra it's got extra damage on it. Yeah. It seems weird that you're clicking on the one you want to destroy. But, uh... There we go. Nice. Very nice. Um... So, I think we're, uh... Good to go. Well, I guess the only issue is you, uh... Not just an issue. You're going to have far more weapons you don't and armors you don't need that you would like to have tools for to disassemble to improve your actual stuff you're using but of course that's probably not it's not going to be the case um never mind day eh? is what it is there we go on there do a little reload 23 we're up to now not that it really matters but we've got some uh freebies in now excellent and probably got another freebie over here. Medicine one. <laughs> it's nice of them to keep replacing it, isn't it? There we go. Store item. Okay, I guess you do have a limit of what you can store, but my god, it's quite a lot. Um, right, Torres. Equipment modification permit. We do not go away. Okay. We shall go away. <laughs> Right, okay, well, um, nothing down there. Right, unless we're supposed to go back to the, uh, museum, maybe, to confront Dr. Clamp with, uh, my Ada with us. Because obviously he knows a little bit about things, doesn't he? <laughs> Chief, are you tickling me? Alright, Ben's just chilling with the doggo. Eh? This should be a while, I guess. But there's uh, no reason to be in here. What happened to the other dog? I don't know. Guys, I cannot even believe how... We didn't even hang around doing a, a massive just chatting, did we? We just got right on with this game. Not upset about it or something. Weapon, ah, the weapons department. Okay. Right, okay. I'll make sure we've not... I guess we can get upstairs, maybe in the conference room. Maybe we can see what's going on upstairs, I don't know. Nope. I guess they're out in the city somewhere. Guys, I'm like, nah, you can't come for here. That's the rule, ma'am. Sorry. Oh, hi. 
have to be, I've got to be able to go in there later, right? Otherwise, uh, what does that area even exist? Just for, for, you yeah, know, thematic purposes. Right, okay. I guess we're going to randomly go out into the city. Yeah, my first instinct is uh, the museum to go back to Dr. Clamp and be like, you're wet. You yeah. know, what's what? But um, who knows? Let's find out. Yeah, back to Central Park. I suppose there was technically possibly areas I hadn't gone back to there. No point in going back to Soho. Uh, and I would imagine there's no point in going back to Carnegie Hall. So let's try the museum. So, where to? Is there any place with a research facility? Oh, sorry, that's as I that. Is there any place with a research facility? Research facility? I was made of my idea, wasn't it? Um, I'd like to conduct an experiment and test something. It might be relevant. How about the facility in the museum where Clamp, Cl Clamp is at? It's really extensive equipment there. No way, man! Anywhere but there! <laughs> he should have been evacuated by now. It should be okay. Uh, yes, that sounds good. Daniel, is that okay? I'm expecting a big tip for this. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Uh. Daniel's funny. Right, so he should have been evacuated, but... Oh, we actually have been, and he seemed... Uh, Dr. Clamp seemed very much... He was happy that Eve was kicking off and killing everyone, didn't he? Essentially, reading between the lines. So this is the American Museum of Natural History. It's just as I imagined. I can find a research facility in this building. Oh, second. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Hopefully, we won't run into the jerk who runs it. Since he's been evacuated, it should be empty. Eh. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it's that simple, eh? Hmm. But for a lab in a museum, it does have fairly extensive equipment. So, what do you want to test? Yes, yes, of course. Let me see. I was able to extract a gel-like substance from Aya's clothing. Gel? Is it from Eve? Yes, it appears to be a remnant of Eve's cells. Okay. At the cellular level, her power cannot be as strong as Aya said previously. Ow! Hey, what are you doing? I just want to conduct this experiment to see whether or not... Hmm. Yes, yes, this is exactly as I... It's just as I thought. Go ahead and take a look. Okay. What is it? Oh. That's some freaky looking DNA right there, folks. Oh, that doesn't look good. Your cells are completely surrounded by them. 
as you can see, the mitochondria, uh, Eve, has taken over the nucleus. In a similar manner, the beasts that attacked you probably experienced the same thing. Does the mitochondria really have the power to control the nucleus? No, the normal mitochondria never has such power. But Eve's mitochondria has gone through tremendous evolutionary changes. This is what I think happened to Eve's mitochondria. Normally, mitochondria require oxygen when they generate energy called ATP. So at this time, the mitochondria requests oxygen from the nucleus. Without the energy supply from the mitochondria, the nucleus cannot function. So in essence, the two organelles, organelles? The two organelles constantly rely on each other. But in this case, it seems that Eve developed the power to reverse this symbiotic relationship. Evolution, or even mutation, seems likely in this case. Reverse the cycle? Look at this. Even with a limited number of cells, her cells have this much power. Can you imagine how much power Eve has within her whole body? Maeda. Uh, yes? Could you test my cells? Yes, of course, but... I want to know. I want to know why I have the power to fight her. I want to know where I stand with her. I... Please, Maeda. I need to know why. Yes, of course. Thanks, Maeda. Could you step over here, please? I guess you need to do a drop of blood. Ah, Aphelene. Dropping the knowledge. An organelle is an organ of a cell. Got ya. As opposed to an organ, which is an organ of the whole body. Um... I'll need your arm. Like this. Here. Yes, yes. Shank. Ow! <laughs> Let me just set, it, set this up here. It's, uh, it's only a little prick. <laughs> I think you'd better see it for yourself. What is it? Is something wrong? So I guess it's similar, just not as quite as powerful. It's the idea. Oh, that's the same so far. Oh. oh okay. I as uh nuclei has the uh ability to fight it off do you realize what is happening your mitochondria are supplying more energy to the nuclei of your cells it's almost as if they are protecting the nuclei from eve's mitochondria why does Zaya's mitochondria have that kind of power i don't know i just are you familiar with richard dawkins theory of the selfish gene somewhat uh, in simple terms, it states that genes act in a manner to preserve and ensure survival of the species. Hey, man, I don't re read those scientific journals. What are you trying to say? Depending on how you look at it, you can say that Eve is trying to destroy all mitochondria except her own. In response to that, Aya's mitochondria has developed the power to rebel. Why only Ayers? Shouldn't be the same for us as well? We should also have that power based on... That seems to follow the natural order of things. But I'm sorry, I don't know why. Oh. Besser? Here he is. What are you doing in my lab? This is breaking and entering! Why haven't you evacuated the city yet? I'm asking why you people are in my lab. 
We will just... We've received orders to evacuate the cis this city. Professor, you really should. I tell you, cops are the ones corrupting this fine city. Uh, I'm... I'm sorry. It was my fault, you see. I asked them to bring me here. Who the hell are you? Scum. <laughs> Oh, I... I'm Kunie Komaeda, and I'm a scientist from Japan. You were using my electronic microscope. What? What is this? Where did you get this... specimen? You! Where did you get these... cells? Uh, the... Those are... I... I... I don't know. Oh, he covered... He covered fire. Do you take me for a fool? With cells like these, they must affect the body's natural state. Hmm, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. Red Mage appreciates this specimen. <laughs> uh, um... Uh... Oh, shut up. I'll just ask... Officer Brea. Detective, to you, sir. Uh, <laughs> your cells contain a tremendous amount of energy. Do you feel any bodily changes? I... You should feel somewhat hot. No? What do you reckon, Red Maid? Do you, re do you reckon she's hot? Sorry. <laughs> Speak up, officer. I can't hear you. Have you lost consciousness at all? Hey! What the hell is this? Why is my boy's name here? Oh. The rain! The rain's on here too! Clamp! You tell me! You... You tell me what this list is for! Tell me, you hear? Let go of me. I don't have to tell you anything. What? Daniel, calm down. Daniel. Damn. <laughs> what is going on? Um. Get out of here. Uh. <laughs> Daniel's about to pop off. Sorry to disturb you. Uh, it should give us an explanation, though, why uh, Ben and Lorraine's name is in his research. We do have to officially warn you of the evacuation. Please remember that. Officer Brea, do you enjoy having that barbarian for a partner? <laughs> Oh, uh, no, thank you, uh, bye. Hmm. It's too late now. It's too late to do anything now. Hmm. That's a bit of pessimistic attitude there, sir. Well, I mean... That's not giving us any leads, really, has it? Apart from... Yes, uh, led us to believe that um, Aya is the one, only one who can actually fight against Eve. We kind of knew that already. Back to the police station? Maybe? I don't know. Let's find out. Damn him! One of these days. <laughs> what was that list? It wasn't... HLA type listing. It's a list to see whether organs will be rejected when transplanted. Well, the hell of Ben and L Lorraine on that list. The list of people with matching HLA types, so. Damn, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm going back to the station and getting the. the thing to get him. Uh. 
yeah i think that would be true uh red mage i think it would be true i feel that these uh modern uh, remakes they kind of make a point of making the uh the female protagonists you know they don't they they try and make them good looking don't they uh, you know not that i've played it but you've obviously got jill from uh you know um resident evil 3 you got claire and ada from uh resident evil 2 um obviously tifa i think you know he's like you know number one fan favorite of <laughs> uh resident e of uh, final fantasy 7 remake uh i guess a Aerith as well uh from what i understand um yeah the the wife is <laughs> um yeah so i'm sure if they ever were to make a, a remake of this game they would they would do uh i Freya justice i'm sure they would um right okay let's have the police station's been wrecked or at least the front desk has. What the hell happens here? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Eve. Sh she's here. I'll go look around. You two stay here. Hell no. I'm not going to sit around and wait for this thing to kill my family. Daniel. All the missing polygons. <laughs> it might even be too much for you, Red Mage. I'll have to shield your innocent eyes. Um. What? Wait, Aya. Here, take this. What's this? It's a good luck charm from Japan. It's the best I can do. Ah. A mayor. Good luck charm. Okay. Uh. uh Thank you, I'll take it. What does it actually do, though? Is it going to tell us? No, special good luck charm. Okay. Give it a go, I guess. <laughs> but please be careful. I'll wait for you here. Okay, let's go. Well, someone's been here. I mean, Eve doesn't strike me as a type who would, like, like, wreck a place and, like, look for stuff. But, oh, God. Dead bodies, though. I'm getting help. Hang on. This is uh, not good. Oh. Oh, your enemies in here. Oh, I got rats. That's unfortunate. Ah! Random. This is the machine gun, is it? Wow, okay. Pretty cool, though. Didn't seem to miss. Ah, so you can't really pick your targets. I guess if you've only got one target in the area, all your bullets get a shot at them. So you could argue that's a tactical drawback. But I don't see it as a bad thing at all. Honestly. That seems like a good thing to me. I mean, it's not technically a good thing because you want to shoot, you want to pick your targets, but it could be a lot worse. Okay, it doesn't. Oh. Okay, got random police officer. Are you okay? Where's the captain? He went to look for Ben. No, hold on, please. Blah. 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 That's, that's the noise he made as he died. Right, okay, so the captain went to look for Ben. Uh, ben was last seen down. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do Um down in the kennel wasn't he god we're, we're swiftly run out of time folks this is um unfortunate 
I, I kind of don't want to stop playing the game, but no, it's Warner. Warner! I, uh, man, Eve really caught us off guard. Most of our men were out. I'm getting help. Hang on. No worries. I'll be all right. You go after Ben. All right. I want to just uh, do a little save. Now, we'll, once we're ready to finish, I'll, if we're not near a save point, I'll, um... I'll do a safe state, but I would also obviously like to uh, get a, a hard save, if at all possible. Oh wait, are we uh, slightly, yeah, we're slightly injured, of course we are, idiot. Um, let's uh, do a little heal. Might as well. Oh, can we not? Can't go around that way. Never mind. Okay, I guess we'll just head straight downstairs first. Oh my god, what the f in hell? So that's the only drawback, of course, is uh you um you could blast a bunch of uh, have a whole round of attack and not kill anything. But uh I don't even know what else is like almost like a werewolf kind of looking thing. I've got a gun upgrade there. Nice. Just heading here briefly. Just check on uh, Wayne and Torres. Wayne, it's me. Ah, oh, yeah. this. Oh, okay. Didn't want to tell that. Hey, I uh, guess I screwed up, eh? Why? Why don't you shoot, man? Haven't used a gun since... Since your daughter was shot. Torres, you can't blame guns for that. I suppose you're right. Wayne, you take good care of this place now. Oh, damn. Torres. Torres. No! God, they didn't get along, but they really were actually friends, kind of. Respected each other. Uh, is he just giving us a random gun, there? This gun, it's... It's Torres's gun. Hasn't used it in ages, but he always kept it in shape. Torres wasn't just a good at gun tune-ups. He was a real good shot, too. Ever since the day his daughter was killed by a gun, accidentally going off... He stopped shooting altogether, and he came back to this department to keep guns in check. Aya, I know you can handle this gun. Take it. I nail that monster for Torres. Uh, I'm more inclined to use the machine gun, but thank you. Um. <laughs> oh, level 2 medicine. Nice. Okay, we don't have any... Junk to discard. I guess we're going to keep the, uh... The, uh... Amaya. Um, I don't think there's anything else for us to do. Um, let's have a look at this gun. Okay, I mean, it might be the best handgun we've uh, got so far. But I'm inclined to stick with the uh, machine gun. Yeah.
so I guess we'll just store it for now. Um, it's defaulted to not uh have links. You, you can uh get in um you can get in the Discord if you want key. You certainly don't have to, or uh or if you don't want to do that, you can um message it to Red Mage. Yeah, I I just kind of pain to disable to enable links and then disable it again. Um, and I'm not sure if you can allow specific people to do it but uh yeah weird he didn't find it but um it's all right he'll see that in a second and go have a look for it oh oh damn oh yeah oh kathy i i'm sorry ben's gone where I don't know. Shiva went berserk and Ben went after her. What? Oh, okay. As in through there. Oh, we've got a little fight first. Oh my god. These freaky werewolf looking things. So that's the only problem, isn't it, of course? Nice, level up. I assume through here, no? Yeah. Is this... Shiva. Okay. Okay, I guess. I just ran off. This is that. Okay, that's just a shadow. Okay. I don't actually know where they went. Okay. I didn't know that key. Where well, yeah, it's not in um Is that in the uh the stream dashboard? Stream manager. What's it under? I don't know. I'll have to look that up later. Um, okay. Right, interesting. Oh, a Shiva. Shiva! Yeah, okay, so I guess... Stop, come back here! Yeah, no, yeah, please, please do, Kitty. So that's the thing, I don't... Oh! King Udon Noodles? All right there, bro. How's it going? Thank you for the raid. We are, f we are finishing stream very shortly, but I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Man of... Some of the best emotes. Check out Chocobo King there, folks. Uh, Welcome in, folks. How you doing, bro? Are you all right? Uh, I didn't do the whole spiel. Uh, Right, Grumpy. <laughs> Yeah, good name there, sir. I went through the whole spiel. Yo, Bio! How you doing, Bio? You're good, buddy. Um, anybody who's coming there with uh, King Udon? Um, uh, my name is Isnib. You can call me Is. Everybody does. Uh, I play a bit of everything. Uh, Monday to Friday. Doing a little everything, we, everything, anything. We are currently, we've just started today, my very first playthrough of Parasite Eve. 
and it is very curious and superb game. I've really never played anything else like it before, not exactly. Um, yeah, it is, it is good. It is. It's uh, a little bit finicky in places, um, King Gudon, but um, it's, uh, it's basically imagine Resident Evil, old Resident Evils, but the combat is turn-based. I don't think, what the hell? It's weird. It's weird, but in the best possible way. Um, thank you, uh, Slick Mick, for the shout out there. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, basically, take Res Resident Evil, cross it with Final, Fa uh, Fa Final Fantasy. It's, um, it's weird. Like I say, we're going to be finished up very shortly, but I do appreciate the raid there, sir. Um, but yeah, I'll try and show you a little bit of it before we, uh, do. It's, it's pretty wild as well. Um, as you can see, graphically, it looks very much like a, uh, uh, Resident Evil game. So, um, it looked like Ben was running through the main hallway there. Oh, bless you. Yeah. I just feel bad, like, raiding out as soon as you've come in there. But, uh, it's a scheduled time. But, yeah, I'll see if we can get into, like, maybe a fight just to show you. Nix, right. Oh, yeah. You've got to go after Ben. He went upstairs chasing Shiva. Come on. We need to take care of that wound. I'm all right. Just go after Ben. All right. Give us some bullets. Okay. I guess we're going to do that. All right. I'm coming for you, Ben. Yeah, guys. Check out um, King Gudon's uh, emotes. They're uh, all made by himself and all rather excellent. Um, yeah. Not about bio. How are you doing, bro? How's your new job been? Um, I think you just started the last time i spoke to you by um the heat has been freaking ridiculous uh but it's not too bad at the minute actually um it's, it's been a little bit too much for me honestly um it's um how are you doing so you hanging in there hold on C can't make it got me pr pretty good take this Ben's upstairs. Blah, blah, blah. That's good. All these, all these cops dying everywhere. Right, Ben's up here, is he? What's he doing up here? Just chasing after Shiva, isn't he? Oh. Shiva, don't go that way. Now, Shiva's going to turn into a monster. This is the problem, isn't it? Shiva, what's happened to you? Shiva, wait! Oh my god. Go at these, on these rats. Ben's not going to be able to fight them, is he? He's going to get murdered. Uh. Ah! Bio! Well done, bro. I love, oh, I love that. You're loving it. And they love you. Yeah, that... <laughs> Hey, look, it's better to have a, a job you love with crappy weather than, you know, other way around, <laughs> I'd say. Um, I'm just going to have a look around in here. Has we not been up here before? Oh, right, is this an interrogation room? Oh, my God, that's straight out of Resident Evil. All right, so you wait till your little bar fills up at the uh, top... Um, ATB gauge basically and then uh then you can put a command in so the good thing about this machine gun is it seems that nice um it seems that as you shoot in your ATB gauge is chonking up the next that's the next part there the next uh, attack which I don't think the uh, M16 did that. So that's pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna have to leave it here in a second, though, but, um... It's Medicine 3! Okay. I mean, the items don't have the best, uh, names. Medicine 2, Medicine 3. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, it, 
indeed right indeed uh <laughs> that would be pretty impressive uh i don't know if she's gonna pull that off exactly but um yeah no it seems what little i've seen gackle it seems uh similar i know for a fact that i, I don't know if I know enough about vagrant's story but i know my good friend legion cage couldn't get on with it but i know my good friend red mage it's one of his favorite games i know red mage would freak freak out if we played vagrant story on this uh channel but we should uh have to wait and see i need a little heal let me uh use heal two there we go in fact we go heal one as well there we go just rinse our magic points she basically it's not like magic but you basically do have magic spells and magic points in this game all right clearly to get that shiny there get in the right spot storage key okay cool there we go there you go red mage he, he is red he's red mage he's um he's uh oh my god look at these awful little things <laughs> a few hits there right we've got some kind of debuff on us so i'm not really sure what it is but the oh my god these creatures are beating the shizzle out of us there we go thank god for that my god speak about heals i think we might uh, need one so it seems like the only problem the downside of the machine gun is going to aim at all targets even if they're out of effective range hence why we got a few misses there such but <laughs> what are you gonna do eh what are you gonna do how much you can do is this for the, st the storage room maybe we need the that the storage room is further on right okay we've got a save point here we'll probably have to leave it here folks anything else anything? oh we've got a case down here oh critical uh evasion rate excellent let's uh use that there we go let so you get a little time very minor upgrade you can use on your armor and weapons there we go nice And we'll save here i'd like to go longer guys but we've already done uh seven hours so that's where we'll leave it for now i'm getting rather hungry um i'm actually doing like intermittent 24 hour intermittent fasting at the minute i started that on wednesday and it's actually going pretty good so far um although by the time that 24 hours rolls around i can tell you folks i'm uh i'm ready to eat let me tell you uh and now is the time <laughs> um but yeah i've got to definitely feel better during the day rather than like stuffing breakfast in my face and then streaming i feel better you know i've been on that empty stomach just a couple of couple of cups of coffee in me um let me also do a little save state just with doubly saved there we go and we'll just leave it here. Nah, it's not. It's self-inflicted bio. Uh, it's just for... Uh... Yeah, we'll jump over for a minute. Yeah, it's... I mean, roughly 24 hours, Red Mage. It's not that bad. Like, if I stuff my face now... Uh, obviously, by the time I cook something... You know, and, you know, I'll get whatever in me. Um, do you, Twigsy? Do you, and how long have you done that, Twigsy? And do you do it every day? That's where I'm at. I've just started it, bud, the other day. Yeah, I used to, I've, I have done like 18 hours best before uh, in the past. I definitely felt the benefit of them. But um, I just figured with my streaming schedule, I not only could I get to stream on time, but I feel like I'm more alert. 
like i feel like uh, obviously food gives you energy but uh digesting food to give you the energy also takes energy <laughs> so i feel if i've eaten stuff i can uh be like starting to get sleepy after it <laughs> um yeah nice nice red mage and it's not exactly 24 hours because obviously you don't eat instantaneously but um so yeah so I'll, I'll go cook something eat something uh now a reasonable out like a day's worth of food but less overall than having multiple meals then i'll sleep a lot then i'll just wake up and stream the next day and i have coffee when i wake up and coffee during the stream and then by the time we finish stream 24 hour fast there we go bob's your uncle um you do it once a week yeah twigsy it's, i feel like it's good for you i don't i have done longer than that like multiple days before now but um and those potential benefits of that but i don't think that's something you should do too often or for too long in my opinion but i'm feeling the benefit folks like I said, i've only been doing it since wednesday already off of i am sleeping bell uh generally i feel like i've got more energy I'll, yeah i feel like i'm generally more switched on more uh cognitively uh and physically alert um during stream time so um and this is the thing if if it's, if i feel better and we get a better stream out of it then uh it's only a good thing right um no not keep not not keto uh unfortunately uh kitty i have done keto before a couple of years ago and i really really loved it it really worked for me um it does suck not you know eating nice stuff like you know sweets and uh stuff like that um so i kind of feel that mentally you have to break your keto like once every few months and just take a day off and then just get back on it uh but i was in probably the best condition i'd ever been when i was on keto uh but um unfortunately i'm not in a position at the minute kitty to be that selective about what i eat but uh you know i felt just doing a bit of intermittent fasting each day um i've definitely felt the benefit so yeah there we go um twigsy you should, your family used to do a whole week yeah i think that's too long buddy I have done that before, but it's a bit much, I feel. Um, yo, Logan, how you doing, bro? You all right? Welcome on in. We're literally just finishing up, my friend, but uh, thank you for stopping in. Um, no, yeah, yeah, you can stay because we're literally just going to raid out in a second, buddy, but, or, or not. Uh, but yeah, how far are we? We're on day three. Got to day three. I don't want to give any spoilers away because I don't know how far you are through. Um it's going good uh it's a very i'll say guys my first impressions of parasite eve it's really not like anything else i've played it is it definitely has a, a resident evil vibe to it and it even kind of looks like resident evil from a, a distance clearly inspired by clearly square played the original resident evil look like, oh wow we can make our own game like this and they did and that's parasite eve um turn-based combat it's um it's very simple it is very simple but i am uh i'm enjoying it mentally um wow key that's pretty f freaking amazing yeah it really does oh my god that's one way to lose weight if you if you're someone who feels you need to lose weight um go and ketogenic diet if if you have the means to go for that no sugar no carbs within reason but like you know any any carbs or sugar you have should really be like minimal amounts of like fruit for example no refined sugar at all it's tough some people can't do it you know who doesn't like refined sugar um 
but it's an option it worked wonders for me um yeah like we just got back to the police station and the police station is not in a good state of repair let's put it that way that's where we're at um yeah it's kitty i can't believe i never played it this it would have um blown my tiny little mind had i played it when it was released stream it more and spread it well we're gonna be right back on it tomorrow uh i'm not planning on doing multiple playthroughs we are we will just uh you know once we complete it we'll move on to our next game but yeah i'm very i'm um, glad that ryan chose it for us so thank you ryan um yeah now that is that is the thing isn't it key i you do find if you go it became you, you know physical cravings for sweet food that disappears and you're far more satisfied with amounts of food like total calories when you're like on a high protein high fat um but for me kitty it was like psychological i'd literally done like six seven eight months in fact i think it was more i think it's about nine months with no ref not a single speck of refined sugar and i worked in retail in a food store and we asked and came up to christmas and we started having all the um all of the uh like frozen desserts come in all these like you know chocolate gatos cake uh cheesecakes uh you, you any any um roulades any kind of frozen christmas dessert you can think of oh my god and the psychological torture uh got a bit too much for me and i was like i'm gonna take christmas off i'm just gonna go i'm um, screw the keto diet i'm going all in on christmas and i did and it was glorious uh, at first my body was like what is this crap you're putting in my body uh but uh it was uh the satisfaction was um extreme and then i just got right back on the diet after christmas so that's but who knows who knows kitty if i hadn't had uh been there um you know in working in that place with all those desserts and things i might have just i might have been fine i might have just kept a gun um yes that guy ryan getting it done casual happy birthday casual how you doing young sir are you all right how's uh how's your birthday going so far is it good have you had a nice day sir are you having a nice day because obviously you're uh, a little bit behind me in the time zone you still got your evening ahead of you yeah ca casual gaming guys his birthday today folks um uh yeah i did i did you know uh so you know i can understand but it's it's here's the thing isn't it kitty i feel and this is not just in diet this is a lifestyle this is all things in a human being's life you we all have to make sacrifice and you we get to choose the sacrifice you know you can and if we talk as something as simple as diet you can choose the sacrifice of the sacrifice is not getting to eat nice things but the benefit the payoff is you'll be physically healthy and you probably live longer the flip side of that is the sacrifice you know is you are not physically healthy but you get to eat loads of lovely yummy things that are terrible for you I feel that balance is the key in all of these things. But that's what it, you, you got to say. You can start life in so many different things. You know, sacrifice. You have to sacrifice whether you want to or not. You have, you get to choose your own sacrifice. It's the decision. It's the decision. Uh, okay, so far. Uh, excellent. Excellent, casual. Well, you probably like me casual where you know i don't know i want to speak for you buddy but um you know you get to like uh, i think you're just uh a little bit younger than me bud um you know you got our birthdays whatever but still it's nice to be recognized and appreciated isn't it um and that's the thing red mage you say it's choice isn't the problem as such it's um it's better to have the choice and have too much choice so you're living you're living and dying on your own 
standard on your own by your own flag by your own design what are you going to do with your life folks what are you going to do with it because it's your life i can't tell you what to do nobody else can tell you what to do you have to choose and yes we all die one day but um for myself i just um god damn life is not perfect but for any of us even us privileged folks in you know in the first world but god damn i like being alive i i really do like being alive i'm not scared of death but because i know it's inevitable i i just want to delay it because we don't know what we get after death it may be nothing or not anything very good it may be less interesting than being alive so I just want to live for as long as I possibly can. That's that's my desire. That's my greatest desire. Especially with what the future has to offer. I feel uh, the future's going to... You know, some people feel it's going to get crazy. Things Society may get worse than it is now before it gets better. But uh, I don't know. I want to see it so badly. Um, Yeah, balance and moderation, Twixie. That is the true key. Like, don't... You know, if you, if you were fully healthy physically... But you're psychologically tortured uh that's no good on the flip side if you are um, psychologically satisfied in every possible facet but your body is suffering for it that's also no good um kitty that's kind of uh you go on the stevia or or berries my god kitty you're putting me to shame good on you my friend um Choose the consequences. The live stream awaits. My God, Red Mage, yeah. <laughs> Got away with words, sir. Um, yeah, you do, Key. I respect that. And like I say, if I had been in that situation like you, where I hadn't been working in a retail store that had all... And I'm surrounded by people every day and they're indulging, I'd have, like, a colleague come up to me and be like, yo, do you want to... I bought some cake. Do you want some cake, Is? And I'd be like... Yeah, I remember what that tastes like. And yes, I do. But I'm not going to. I'm going to refuse. And then they'd be like, oh, it's, it'd be fine. Have some. And I'm like, what? why are you doing Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> you know. And I was mostly very strong, Kitty. Uh, but it's... um, There's only so much of that kind of psychological... And they didn't mean anything by it. But it's... There's only so much of that psychological assault that you can take before you uh, buckle under the pressure. And yeah, cheesecake, Red Mage. Um, so who knows? But I I feel, in my experience anyway, to go in full keto, it's, it, it, it takes a bit more preparation and time and effort, which I don't necessarily have nowadays. But anyway, Logan, thank you for the hydration. Let me chug this. That's what it's like. Mm. Everett, yeah, I've I've been a smoker. Um, I'm gonna do occasionally smoke the occasional cigarette, a, a smoker of various substances, should we say? Uh, and I haven't been a massive drinker, consumer of alcohol in my in my past, but I've done a fair share of it. And other uh, things, I can say that I person, and this is just maybe me personally, I'm definitely f more have more of a food addiction food has been my voice throughout my life more so than anything else um uh uh eat keto eat keto for 10 years you get type 1 diabetes i don't know if that's true i'm pretty sure there's people who've uh been in strict keto for more than that and I think it's kind of the opposite. You don't get that. But I mean... Um, it, keto acidosis. I don't I don't know what that is, buddy. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, again, King Gudon. Thank you for the uh, raid, sir. I need to send you all out somewhere. Um, I'm going to go through the, thank, the rest of the thank yous for the stream. Hmm. Thank you, uh, King Udon. I appreciate that, sir. I will be back. Um, I will be back tomorrow, but obviously it depends. You know, with your own stream time or uh, you know your own real life, it might not be possible. But um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm not saying you're wrong, Gavra. I'm just saying I've not, I've never heard anything about that. Uh, I, I don't think there's any long-term uh, detrimental effects that have been observed from long-term ketosis. I don't, not that I've heard of. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just haven't heard about it. Aphelene. Ugh, be still my beating heart. Thank you, Mark, for being here, my dear. Um, literally just got in there, Logan. We've just seen Kathy. And she's uh, said, oh, you better go upstairs and uh, rescue Ben. We've left it in the office there. Um, that's exactly where we are. Um, Red Mage, yeah, sorry. So, uh, yes, the rest of the thank yous for the stream. Apolline, thank you for that resub, my dear. You don't need to do that. She's one of our executive producers. That's more than enough. But she chooses to sub as well. She's bloody amazing, and I don't deserve her. But I've got her now. Ha! Ah, escaped me. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, old Mecha Dark Rose, thank you for the follow. Uh, Gapplebock, uh, back, Bock, uh, Gapple, thank you for the follow. Uh, Everett, thank you for the, your follow, buddy. Uh, Kitty Moonlight, Kitty. <laughs> you, you, you're rather awesome, Kitty. Uh, thank you for the raid. Uh, Coptimus Crime, thank you for the 100 bitties at Dragon King Slice. Cut it up there. And King Udon Noodles for the raid. Thank you guys for all the support. Uh, you got that fatigue, Red Mage. Uh, no, uh, thank you, Gapple. Thank you for popping in and hanging out with us. Uh, I need to find someone to raid, folks. Unless somebody's got the channel points and they want to um, choose where we go. You're more than welcome to do that. Um, oh, freaking Twitch sending me a message here. Oh, reminder. The ads incentive program pays you 55% ad revenue split. And it's available to you, Isnib. Go to your ads manager to see your offer. Ow. How about you fuck off, Twitch? I ain't playing fucking automated ads on my channel. You can fucking jog right the fuck on. Not doing. Oh, Kitty. Is Metapod on? Oh, bless you, Kitty. You're too... <sighs> You're such a gem. Metapod's lovely. And he's definitely... I always keep an eye out for him. Um, that is for sure. Uh, oh, Tower of Fantasy. What is that? And try to find out. I love Metapod. You love Metapod, don't you, Kitty? Um, how can you not love Metapod? He would definitely be an option that I would uh, lean towards. But you've set it in stone, uh, Kitty. So let's go raid Metapod. He's... Oh, he's such a gem. Um... But uh, thank you. Um, yeah, no, sorry. Switch pissing me off there. Anybody doesn't know about the ads revenue thing, I won't get into it now because we've got raid. Me we're going to raid Metapod. Um, but um, ask me about it sometime. It's basically Twitch is giving you um, a greater rev ad revenue split. But, but here, oh, that's nice. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Twitch. It's like goes up from 15% to 55%. It's quite a big deal. Not that you get much from ads anyway. But rather than getting a few pennies, you get several few pennies. <laughs> but the problem with it is this, folks. You have to run, like, five minutes of ads every hour. And you don't get... I, as the streamer, don't get to choose where they are. They just pop up randomly in the middle of the stream. Fuck off. Sorry, language, language, folks. But it really it annoys me. That tw that, you know, and if you're a streamer, and if you know streamers who want to do that, that's fine. But... I consider what we have on the show, on the Isnib show, every moment, every minute is important. I don't want you guys to miss it just because you're not subbed. And if people are like, oh, yeah, it's fine. It's just a few ads. Then you're kind of diminishing your channel, aren't you? You're saying, oh, it doesn't matter if people miss a few minutes. Well, it's not important then. So why even why even freaking streaming then? Sorry, getting, getting ranting. Anyway, Metapod. Anybody, we'll be back tomorrow, same time, for more Parasite Eve. I'm looking forward to it. I hope to see you there. If anybody needs me between now and tomorrow, get at me on Discord. Off skis. Thank you all for being here. You're bloody wonderful. Take care. Potato.